That Pajussi got me acting unwise. Eat the mashed potatoes, Wagey. Mm. Eat the mashed potatoes. You gotta eat the mashed potatoes. Got me acting unwise. Eat the mashed potatoes, mm. Wagey. Mm. Eat the mashed potatoes. There you go. You got a double deuce of that. Mm. Keep eating the fucking mashed potatoes. Mm -mm. You're not done yet. The writer strike can't end until you eat all the mashed potatoes. He's not done yet. We're not going to get any more movies till he finishes the mashed potatoes. Did you know your eyeball has a texture of a grape? <laughs> Grapes are pretty sweet, but they can't be sour. <laughs> like the juices that cover your brain. <laughs> that was the chicken. It was good. It was Popeye's. It was Popeye's. It was okay. I'm really here for the mashed potatoes and the biscuits. Yeah. It was food.
Get the mashed potatoes, Shinji. I'll fucking cut your mouth open, you whore. Uh, Major Void for a dollar. Geek Squad's fucking worthless. They refuse to do any data recovery unless the drive is in your computer. Yeah. Plus, if you want to do the more advanced methods, they require you to send your PC away for up to a month. Waste two and a half hour trip on this. Waste two hour and a half trips on this. Oh, wow, that sucks. Yeah. When in doubt, just go to, like, a local computer store. They're usually a lot more agreeable. They'll steal your shit. They'll steal your shit, but you know. They'll absolutely steal your shit. They always steal your shit. Media goes for two twenty-seven. Hey, Masher Bashers, when can we do the twenty-four hour Fortnite stream? Twenty-four hour Fortnite stream. I've played Fortnite before. I'm pretty good at it, actually. Eat the Popeye's biscuit without water. No. I did. What do you get? Any red beans and rice? The shit's superior than the taters. Absolutely not. The rice. Disgusting. The the rice at ours isn't really that good. It's very yes. grainy. I was gonna say their rice is trash. Trash. Damn. Garbage. Ass. Uh, there's no need to fear. Underdog is here. Underdog. Eat the mashed potatoes, underdog. That's on Tom Holland getting buck broken in 4K. It's really weird that every Spider-Man has to immediately go do a gay, a gay fucking uh, a gay sex scene immediately after. Did Andrew Garfield do one? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, I had no idea. Yeah, every Spider-Man has gotten fucked up the ass. That is weird. Tobey Maguire got fucked by uh, Robert Downey Jr. Actually. Yeah. <laughs> Huh. Weird, huh? It's it's cyclical. It's disgusting. Is it because they want to play Spider-Man, or does Spider-Man cause it? Spider-Man would have to cause it because it's post-Spider-Man. That is true. It's always post-Spider-Man. Mm. Do you feel the ex about the existence of liquid soda? I prefer solid. Thank you very much. Are you and Lolly seeing uh, Rolf stealing your core audience of retards? Many such cases. Rolf, uh, Rolf will never have Pippa. Uh, he broke down uh, immensely. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tom Holland dr danced in drag once. Huh. <laughs> we had Popeyes and Maka, it was, uh... but it was struck by lightning and the whole place went down. Goddamn. Yeah, goddamn. God hates Popeyes. <laughs> that's why. That's why I eat it. Uh, go up in the stream and hear Tom Holland is in a gay sex scene. What the fuck? Yep. Yeah. I forget that... the name of the show, but I think it's the same one that had the weekend jerk off and then nut in his hand, and he's like. <laughs> I'm so fucked up. Yeah, uh, he, something like that. He nuts and he's and, he, uh, and he's just like he's describing semen. Yeah. Uh, Daddy, chill for four ninety nine. Hey boys, I bought I just bought a PSP and now I'm playing uh playing the mod. Uh, any games you recommend? Um, I remember liking Death Junior, the Shin Budokai games. Um, blah, 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 blah. I don't remember what was specifically for the PSP. Uh, Deadhead Fred. Uh, I remember really, really, really liking Deadhead Fred. Okay. Spider-Man has to be fucking cursed, man. Both the combo character and the actors who play him. They just can't get a fucking break. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the idol? Uh, maybe. Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah, yeah. Because he... It, it was that show where he has, like, the weird perm. And that's literally all I know about the show. Yeah. It's like, he has a weird perm, and then I heard he got fucked up the ass. It's like, that might be the, it. The only still that I saw, I, I, I was like, man, it looks like Tom Holland's getting raped here. And Weed Bro was like... It uh, was like, oh no, I actually uh, hunted down the clip to watch the entire thing. And he's like, don't worry, Tom Holland liked it. And I was like, but did he get raped though? <laughs> and he was like, don't worry, he liked it. And I was like, that doesn't that doesn't make rape okay. I think he was implying it was not rape and it was consensual. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, so the FTC screwed the pooch on stopping Microsoft mm -hmm. from buying Activision Blizzard. All they had to do was not simp for Sony <laughs> and PlayStation. I think... Uh... <laughs> From buying, um, I, 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 to my knowledge, they lost the injunction, which means yeah. everything can go through as it is until we get to the actual court case, and then they have to like split again. Uh, Johnny Depp's daughter's in it, and she's in a lot of proactive shit. Uh, not watching it, the man is suffering enough. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it doesn't look like it'd be my fucking cup of tea, anyways. Yeah, it looks like, like a tween thing. It, it's fucking funny as shit. Yeah. Uh, Miguel really wants to know. Uh, wants us to know the FTC screwed the pooch. Yeah, many such cases. I mean, it is a big deal. I mean, it, you are seeing that, massive global uh, corporate conglomeration. Yeah, that's that, that's how that's how that's how the world works. Uh, did you not see? Uh, did you not see whenever uh, <clears throat> the IRS went after Microsoft and then Microsoft proceeded to get the IRS fucking defunded? Yeah. You think you think you think Microsoft can't pay off some judges? Yeah, it's like it. It actually is a big deal. So you can't even blame them. 
I think that Xbox have increased the price of Game Pass now that they have Activision. Halo is 100% fucked. But they're going to do it regardless of the outcome. Oh, yeah. Because that's what they do. The the thing is to get everybody on board with it and then uh, start increasing the price. Yeah. Uh, like, the, quite the, ideal, the ideal is you don't want people to own the physical media anymore because, A, yeah. it's cheaper, and, B, you have full control over it. You can literally do anything you want. Yeah, and they have been doing everything they want. Yeah. Defunded the IRS. Uh, yeah, got got their uh, got their budget massively cut. Yeah, uh, pushed a bunch of lobbyists who got in and then quite literally punished the IRS. Yeah, that is they literally what happened. They didn't win that, by the way. The IRS didn't like win win their their thing against Microsoft and get all the money Microsoft owed them. They 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 fucking lobbied the case and was like, hey, we need to get our money from uh from Microsoft. Microsoft said, oh, bet, yeah, real shit. What if you don't have enough people working for you that you can audit us, you fucking cunts? Yeah. And then they proceeded to to no longer have as much money. Yeah. Fucking uh, accursed farms. Ross Scott. He did a whole mm-hmm. video where he talked about it. Yeah. He didn't talk about it specifically, but it was a major part of, of forget, what he was talking about. I forget about. which video it was. I remember the game being played in the background. It was like yeah. that Camp Lake game. Yeah. <laughs> like that two D one where you hide from I, a serial killer. Yeah, I think I think he was talking about why he doesn't like Microsoft. And he was explaining all that. They are not good people. Yeah. No, no, no massive mega yeah. conglomeration is good. And and what literally, I, I think I remember it now. Yeah. The context was, uh, he was talking about how the it, it was like a little two D pixel game where you had to ride, hide from a serial killer and all that. Yeah. And he played the PC port because he plays PC, and it told him to play with a game pad. Yeah. You know, like a controller, and he fucking hates that. And he was mm-hmm. explaining, he's like, specifically, I hate the Xbox controller, and then went on and ran about how Microsoft sucks. Get with the times, old man. Uh, Mark99 for two dollars. How's it going, bros? I'm just raging at ready or not. How was your week? Uh, I went to go see Dwight Yoakam with mm-hmm. family on Friday. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot, a lot of fun. A lot of drunk old people. Yeah. And one guy was token the fuck up. Everyone smelled it. Like, that motherfucker stank like an old hippie. Yeah. Are, corp- are corpos going to become people? Uh, well, no. Oh, uh, it was on a follow-up Game Dungeon episode, I believe. I, I yeah, it was one that. of those. Uh, <laughs> Major Boy... Major Void for a dollar. Uh, on the upside, I saw a delightful cat on delivery this week. Old yeah. orange cat that was lying under a tree on a hot day. Let me nice. pet it for a while. Makes me happy whenever I think about it. That's yeah. awesome. Uh, so about that Mudahar situation. Mudahar digs himself a deeper grave every time he opens his mouth. Now, that's a sad part. I'm starting to think it wasn't even a grave dig. Like, Because apparently that same day he signed up for the monetization thing mm-hmm. on Twitter. And to do that, you have to have like 5 million impressions on your account. Something like that. So I think he literally kicked the whole thing off just to get enough engagement so he can monetize. And it's mm-hmm. like... That's even fucking sleazier, man. Like, fuck that. Uh, was that an episode of Community where Subway dated Britta? I, wh- what? Well, Mike, you use, what? it is a blue Yeti. It's a blue Yeti. Yeah. It, uh, it's the workhorse of microphones. Yeah. Everyone has it until they get, like, super professional stuff. Yeah. What happened with Muda? It is a long story. Basically, uh, there was a guy who was sponsored by Opera uh, for a video. And he did, like... He did a Blue Archive character ranking video. Yeah. And I think he literally called it the lolly tier list as, like, a joke. Mm-hmm. Uh, that caused Muda to spurk out and go, anyone that likes this should be investigated, what the fuck, and basically joined the bandwagon where they're trying to He played Holier Than Thou, over. which, uh, don't play Holier Than Thou on the internet because then people start digging up your, your skeletons. <laughs> yeah, they, they start digging into you. Uh, he also shit-talked Boogie, who just recently got a new Girlfriend. girlfriend. <laughs> She's 100% escort. Like, 100%. 100%. Man has a history of it. 100%. But uh, the thing is, Muna got really uppity with the fact of, like, well, why'd you have to say she was an adult? It's super fucking weird you have to, you know, establish that. It's like, because she's fucking 20 and he's in his 50s. Like, okay. why does it fucking matter? Mm-hmm. Why, why is that the detail and not the fact of, like, yeah, she's probably, you know, filing a 1099 mm-hmm. in this relationship. But, you know, it's... The Muda and McGoobus crossover this week are funny. Uh, yeah. McGoobus that, is that green thing, right? Yeah, he, he went like a whole tirade about how much he doesn't like the Confederacy scene. It's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> What's his content? Doesn't he make like animation reviews or something? Yeah, he makes like animations, like little goofy <laughs> things. And did a whole thing about like why the Confederacy was bad and they were traitors. And it's like... I, I, I love it when people get up on a high horse and act like they're, they're you know, uh, talking, you know, speaking the gospel to everyone around them and everyone's just like... This is kind of like the common thing that most people believe. What's uh, what's your yeah, deal, like, bud? It's like who the fuck cares? <laughs> who who are you ta- who are you talking to? Yeah, you're in the, you're in a town square full of people that believe in everything that you believe. Who the fuck are you talking to? It's like okay, yeah, civil war happened. Who gives a shit? <laughs> Two hundred years ago, asshole. Uh, finished uh, FS16 yet? Not yet. 
I got past He's, Bahamut. He got the Bahamut, yeah. And that was fucking cool. You're in the you're in the home stretch. There's like yeah, I'm clearing two, a lot of side quests right now. Two or three bosses left. Yeah. Uh oh, you wanna so Final Fantasy sixteen continues the the great trend of Final Fantasy games having uh all the side quests uh, kept until the very end of the game at the most inappropriate time. So don't worry, you'll have plenty of fucking side quests to do at the, at the tail end of the game where it, when I promise you it is the least impro- uh, appropriate it could ever be. Alright. Uh, Goobas got bullied by internet lefties for making a trans joke. <laughs> weird ever since. So yeah, it's a, it's another it's, really yeah. cynical, like, oh, I'm just doing this to up my social clout. Meanwhile, I'm just shitting over people for no reason. I need to up, uh, I need to up my, uh, my personal credit score. Um... So we got that going on. Um, EA got in an argument with FIFA, and FIFA said, hey, you need to pay us $1 billion to use the FIFA license for your game. And EA said, oh, real shit, bet. We'll just drop the FIFA name and make the same game that we've been making. And uh, I'm predicting that to be very successful. Yeah. Um, I genuinely want to see how that'll end. That'll be really, really interesting. Yeah. Um, We have another... Oh, yeah. Uh, So Adobe is going to the fucking government... With their AI licensing shit, and what they want to do is they want to they want to get uh, an AI implemented that will uh, be able to detect whenever an art style has been copied, which means yeah. they want art styles to be copyrightable, which is the worst possible fucking thing that could ever happen, and is the main reason myself and everyone else said, "Hey, stop trying to get the government involved. It's bad." And now the now a, a, a fucking megacorp is trying to push to get the government involved, and everyone is scrambling and panicking. Yeah. Because uh, people dug into this fucking tech, and it is so incredibly fucking invasive to the point where you can you can any time an image is made, it knows who made it. Not a username. It knows the fucking location, the name, everything about the fucking person that made it. And people are like, wow, that's bad. That's awful. That's terrible. And Adobe went like, no, but it's optional, though. No, it's not. <laughs> the invasion of your privacy is optional, though. And people are like, no. It's not. It's never going to be. But it, it's like what everyone kept saying. Like, the people spurging about AI are going to be a million times worse than the AI itself. Because AI is bad, but mm-hmm. pushing for shit like this because you're angry is like, oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I told you, I told you too. It's, it's you get people riled up so they bitch enough, and then they... they they get people to take action uh, on their part, and it's just so that a company can implement some like terrible, ca- catastrophic thing that will hurt society as a oh, whole. Yeah. Uh, but they make money off of it, so fuck you. Yeah. Uh, Junebug for Dollar, I like the Titan fight over Bahamut. Titan wasn't bad, Bahamut oh, like, was just better. Bahamut was just better. I like the spectacle of it, and like... The Titan fight has, a, it has its two distinct fights, but that second fight sucks. I don't like it. It is boring. <laughs> It, yeah. it is. It is like it is uh, running in. The, it is auto running in a straight line, and then attacking a hand that sometimes pulls back, and then you have to just wait to be able to damage again. I don't like it. Uh, it's not art. That's not art style tracking. That's literally the corporate patriot act. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, one hundred percent. There's that. Um, Tiny build games. Their CEO, I want to say, um, was talking about using AI in the workplace. And he was talking about uh, the potential to make it where you can use AI to track everything that your employees do, and you can feed it into ChatGPT and have ChatGPT tell you whether or not someone has the potential to be a problem employee and uh, preemptively discipline people based on that. And I was like, wow, why are you guys trying to, to accelerate the dystopia? Stop it. Stop yeah, it. Uh, wait until my kids are born. Fuck you. Stop it. Uh, Junebug for $2. I cracked my phone yesterday. Aw. Yeah. Uh, Eco for a dollar. Uh, welcome back, Figit. What's in store? Figit. Uh, sadness. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Eremitaro Ariola for 10 buckaroos. Hey, Lolly and Shota. Sorry to hear about the Muda situation. On an unrelated note, I started going to the gym. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Still need to actually explain that because uh, we didn't even get to the funny part. So, like, as stated, he, he goes on a big crusade and is like, if, if you like Lolly, you need to be investigated. If you like... Uh, you know, pictures of, of anime girls you need you need to get yeah. arrested. You know, shit like that. People but, started digging. Yeah, basic basic you know spurg shit like that. Uh, accused everybody who who talked shit about him as, of being a lollicon, uh, and then people you know found the clip where he's openly admitting, "Hey, yeah, I like to watch like execution videos and like gore videos and send them to my friends." It's like, 
Okay, so that's like actual legitimate human death. Yeah. Like, people are actually dying in those videos you like to watch. Yeah. That's somehow worse than anime shit. Yeah. What the fuck? On top of that, uh, he had a clip of a stream where he was watching a, a hentai called Dropout. Yeah. And he only watched five minutes, yet knew the entirety of the first episode and apparently a little bit of the second episode. Uh, and told his fans about it. Mm -hmm. And was like, guys, it was so fucked up, I had to watch it. It's like, you consider this shit to be the same level as child porn, but yeah. you had to watch it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, uh, people would point out the fact he is buddies with Nuxtaku, who literally used Ed and Lolly porn clips for thumbnails. Yeah. So, and then when confronted on he's like, well, I don't think it's as serious as, as child porn, but it's still fucking weird. It's like, but you literally said people should be arrested. Yeah. You literally said they should be investigated and arrested. <laughs> Mudahar looks like a Pajit that would rape a 13-year-old British girl. Thank you, chat. Very nice. Uh, what is Dropout? It's a hentai. Yeah, it's a hentai. Uh, mm -hmm. A hentai involving human sex slavery. Yeah. Uh, underage human sex slavery. Let's yeah, mind you. If we want to play technicals like yeah. Mudahar likes to, uh, the girls are underage. They are underage. And the funniest part about it is people point out, like, Dude, you did a series going through the deep web, and you had to put multiple disclaimers about potential child porn sites. Yeah. You have run into actual child porn sites on the deep web. Yeah. Shouldn't you be fucking investigated for that? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, so fucking earlier on, tw talking about child porn, sadly, uh, I was on Twitter earlier, and, uh, something that kept getting retweeted was, um, like, I, and I guess it was someone that was talking about another person that was, uh, uh essentially sending CP to people. Uh, I, I guess it was I guess. like a, I guess it was like an own uh, like an I owned you guys type. Of yeah, thing. I saw that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, but what the guy was doing was he was finding CP on Twitter and retweeting it at people uh, as like a fuck as like a fuck you type thing. And uh, yeah, that was very unpleasant to see. Uh, you're not the good guy if you're you're actively looking up uh, child porn. Yeah. Yeah. You're not the good guy, bud. Uh, Mark 99 for dollar. Wait, that uh, sounds like Minority Report showed up. Please say psych right now. I was really hoping to be long dead by the time it happens. <laughs> no, like that, that's straight up what, uh, what he's talking about. Um, now, I do need to clarify this because news sites didn't clarify it. Um, he was talking about the possible applications. News yeah. sites, if you look it up, news sites are going to label it as he's actively implementing this program at his company, which is not the case. No. That would be 10 times worse. Uh, Spaceman last two dollars. I agree. Arrest Nux Taku and put him in solitary. Well, that's the thing. It's like, I don't give two fists of a fuck about the lolly thing. Yeah. Uh, and once again, it, it makes it funny where whenever you speak up and go, hey, none of you people even believe in the shit you're talking about. Ooh. You're saying it to be fucking popular. They always accuse you of liking it. Yeah. Uh, and it's a thing of like... I'm starting to think you're projecting. Here's the thing. Yeah, lolly porn can get really fucking weird. It is very obviously appealing to a very certain demographic of people who... Let's be perfectly honest here. Do end up dipping into some dark shit. Yeah. Let's just be honest. Uh, it never stays reasonable. When people get that uppity and that fire and brimstone and they go, no, we need to ban this. We need to get rid of it. You know what it always turns into? They're fucking hiding CP, bro. That. And it always, always, always dips into, oh, you like the witch from Dragon's Crown? Oh. Clearly you're a pedophile. Yeah. That's what it always fucking turns into. You know, the, the mindset of, like, well, we just need to get rid of this specific thing. Mm -hmm. Then it turns into, well, if you like Uzaki from Uzaki-chan, you're a pedophile, mm -hmm. who's a fucking 20-year-old in college. Yeah. You know, it's like, no, it never fucking stays reasonable. Fuck off. You're not going to start this goddamn bandwagon and ruin everything. So then you can look back on and go, man, everyone was sure stupid for falling for that when you were the motherfucker who, star who started it in the first place. Yeah. Sure, to show us your hard drive. It's just, it's just, uh, it's just stream songs. And then a bunch of a bunch of sound clips of Gage screaming from Borderlands 2. Yeah, there you go. Uh, that's it, don't don't ask why it's sound clips of Gage. All right, it just it, it's there. Okay, it's funny. It's for the memes. All right. Uh, you like short chicks? Fucking chomo. Exactly. <laughs> like, it never stays reasonable. There are cosplayers. Chomo. There's cosplayers who are like short women that straight up say, "Yeah, people accuse me mm -hmm. of being a pedophile for some of the characters I play." It's like, like, really? We're gonna we're okay. We're not gonna fucking pretend that's an issue. Okay. Yeah. No, nah, it's 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 people projecting. Like these, these are oh, 100%. these are bad people with uh, fetishes that they themselves can can't properly process. Sometimes it's purely out uh, of financial motivation too. Uh, I, I honestly, I just one hundred percent think it's people with shit in their closet. One hundred percent of the time. Oh yeah. Even that fucking dude I was just talking about that was retweeting literal fucking child pornography. 
and f- I hope the motherfucker got banned. Like, I, it's one of the very few times I actually reported any- someone. I was like, yeah, that's fucked up. Well, I mean, that uh, is that just directly breaking it. a rule. Uh, yeah, it's incredibly a fucked rule up. and a I fucking law. I was gonna say, I hope he got fucking arrested, but uh, yeah, the the guy was doing it like partially to to own fucking like lollicons and shit. It's like, dude, I don't care what the fuck you think, dude. You're literally looking up actual fucking children. Yeah. What the fuck, bro? Like, actually, like, are you not fucking thinking about the shit you're fucking saying? Mm-mm. And a lot of time, no, they're not. Yeah. I wouldn't even be surprised if the shit that he was retweeting was from fucking alt accounts. Yeah, like, seriously. If, it was, if he was posting his own fucking CP. If he had access to it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll spend... Uh, you, you don't just fucking stumble upon child pornography, bro. No, you don't. You, don't. you look for it. Yeah. Uh, Wolf's Pain for $5. Mudahar sounds like a gook who disavowed fan service for a virtual sign despite partaking it for uh, partaking it for years and his G- GF wife is a hentai YouTuber. Oh, okay, gook. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know who the fuck um, Mudahar's wife is, but he posted a picture of her recently. Uh, Spaceman less for $5. Remember these people are the ones who say they are on the right side of history with zero self-awareness. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, it's worse than that because Mudahar was all about like, oh, pro-privacy, pro-free speech and anti-censorship and then he immediately oh, yeah. was like no you should go to jail and you know you're a piece of but shit censorship though and people point out like you are an old fag on new chan uh, on on uh, 4chan who liked gore videos and shit like that and browsing the deep web every fucking thing you say can come back to haunt you mm-hmm. a million fucking ways to sunday do you want to play that yeah. and then everyone remembered all right you're canadian yeah. you're physically incapable of not doing that yeah uh what'd you get from the steam cell i got judgment uh final fantasy 15 king of fighters 15 uh, and the remaining mainline Cinderon Kagura games, Burst Renewal is deceptively fun so far, particularly bosses. Uh, I didn't get anything. You get anything? Uh, I got Chivalry 2 and a few other things. I don't remember. I'm sorry for your loss. I like Chivalry 2. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, Tay for a dollar. Some people believe Berserk, kind of like Devilman, uh, kind of like Devilman due to apostles being demonic as shapeshifting as humans as well. As I was like, how are they not the same, bro? Well, uh, Berserk is, like, unironically inspired by Devilman. Uh, Kentaro Miro was a massive Gona Guy fan. Uh, he basically mixed uh, Devil Man with like a shoujo manga mm-hmm. and Fist of the North Star. That that is the inspirations of Berserk. Illinois uh, uh, for five dollars. These people tend to have bad relations with their dads. It's a fact. Many such cases. Yeah. All Canadians are, are orphans, don't you know, Chat? Yeah. Uh, so Sound of Freedom, huh? Isn't even true. The event, the events of the movie is based on is made up, or certain suspects just coping. It's real. Like yeah, the yeah. end of the movie, they show footage of the raid. Yeah. Now, a lot of it is dramatized, but that dips into, okay, well, this movie's bad for doing that, yet this other movie's not okay for doing that. You know, that it is a legitimate criticism to go, hey, you exaggerate a lot of stuff and played up certain aspects way too much. But the idea of the entire thing is fake is like, right. no, they show literal footage. Yep. Uh, Captain Mark Fielders, why are Canadians like this? They're bad. All Canadians are but We need to ban Canada, chat. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. I, I was just looking for cute pictures of Uzaki, and I, I accidentally found all this CP. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Yeah, seriously. Thank you, chat member. Uh, Jamushi for 10 bucks. Uh, I followed that one cosplayer on Twitter who dressed as uh, Tatsumi, uh, Tatsumaki and Fubuki. Yeah, her, the one that called the telephone. Yeah, and she still has to defend herself as being legal every other day. Thankfully, she laughs at it, but it never fucking ends. That's what I mean. Like, that's what I mean by, like, as much as the pro lolly people are fucking annoying and that they will... They will fight anyone that even makes a single joke about it and go, it is a little weird. Like, they, they will get into, like, heated arguments. Like, it's not weird. It's perfectly normal. It's like, nigga, come on. It's your fetish. All fetishes are fucking weird. All fetishes are fucking weird. It's it's okay. Uh, but no. Like, the anti-people can get so, like... If you had your way, you would ruin the internet for years to come. Mm. And then you would cry about it and go, I miss the internet so fucking much. They you, are the, do that. You, you are the exact retard that should stay very, very far away from these discussions. I miss the old internet. I miss the real internet. Yeah. Straight from the roll internet. Mm-hmm. Spazzing the news internet. <laughs> the whole news internet. She's Ozzy, the cosplayer. I guess something like that. Yeah. Marquis, it's good to have Most of the anti lolly people are pedo. Uh, example, Olsen. Yeah, a, a lot of them. Uh, once again, it's a case of like, I don't you know, know Olson is, but yeah, Dan Olson. Still don't know. Uh, yeah, it's it's something that I noticed, and it, it just uh, further further made my uh, my stance uh, staunch. Yeah, it's uh yeah, it's really weird whenever it, there's just a consistent thing of oh I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna be incredibly loud and chest beat about this, and then oh yeah, uh, I'm a pedophile or I got CP or some fucking weird shit like that happens every fucking time. Every time with that, it, it's a joke. It's yeah, a literal joke like, at this yeah. point. Uh, Davis the Game Lord Fred. I recently got six days in Fallujah. It's clearly a ways off from being finished, but honestly, pretty damn good uh, with what they uh, have playing single. Oh, yeah. It's hard as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Right group of the boys. It's fucking awesome. 
Uh, Spaceman Less for dollars. Thoughts on the humble turpentine drinker who denies nukes are even real. Started crusading against Sound of Freedom. Talking about Owen Benjamin FYI. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. He says nukes aren't real? He literally says nukes are not real. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, uh, I did see the thing going around where they're like, oh yeah, if nukes are real, then how do they get footage of it? And people were like, they fucking recorded that shit through a telescope. Yeah, it's a telescope. Uh, Eco for dollar. Another thing I sadly agree with RGE. Uh, RGE, once the pendulum swings to the right, we're going to see these wannabe bread tubers. And those who jumped on the woke trend either go, oh, I was always on your side. I was just pretending to be retarded. Oh, yeah, we absolutely. You see that. Half the people on the right are just fucking, like, bread tubers for the right. Yeah, they, they literally say, like, oh, well, I used to be a liberal, but it just went too far. It's like, no, you you smelled money. Yeah. Uh, even the people in the news, fucking, um, like, Candace Owens and shit like that. Candace Owens outright tried to sue her school for being racist. Actually, I think she won that case. Yeah. Uh, and now she's like, uh, well, you know, racism in America, you know, that's not, that's, that's not really real. Yeah. Uh, you have shit like that, like, fucking, everyone's just gonna go where the money is. I, yeah. I don't understand why, I don't understand why people, you know, put such fucking, you know, faith in internet personalities. And you're like, you know, she, you know what, she on head, she speaks for the people, man. I need to follow her, you know? I don't understand, they just pick random people. Because yep, at the some. end of the day, whenever whenever the fucking the the hat drops, they're gonna swap sides where the money is. I mean, yeah, she already does that regularly. Yep. Got the Mercury two dollars. Minute better not pull a Doctor Pizza. Oh, uh, so a little base for two dollars. So how do we fix Canada? I hear the U.S. has approximately six hundred ways. No, it's like it's like Fargo season two. Strap, <laughs> strap or the buckle. Strap or the buckle. <laughs> I can't have you beating me down in front of the other nations. Now the strap or the buckle. The buckle. The good man. What? <laughs> Lolly Barbenheimer has officially become Shin Barbenheimer because, because oh, Shin Ultraman officially drops on Amazon Prime on the 21st. That's oh cool. I'll finally be able to watch it. Yeah, that would actually be awesome. I don't care about Barbie or, or Oppenheimer. I, I feel so bad for the uh, Killian. I forget his last or his first name. Last name? Last name. Uh, Cillian uh, Murphy. Yeah, Killian Murphy. Uh, I feel so bad for him. Uh, because I think he's an incredible actor. I really liked him in Peaky Blinders, and oh, yeah. he's been in other stuff too. But I really, I really like him as an actor. Uh, I don't see Oppenheimer doing well. I really don't. It's such a specific niche movie, and they're trying to, they're trying to push it as like a big budget Hollywood thing. Yeah. It's fucking uh, what is it, Christopher Nolan directing yeah. it? Uh, so like they want to push it as this, this big old thing, and everything that comes out that is advertised for it is here's Killian Murphy's face, and he just fucking <laughs> he looks like he wants to die. Yeah. Have you Start watched with Toronto? Have you watched Sisu? I have not. Sisu, Sisu. Oh no, that's a that's a German one. I've got yeah. no interest in it. Lolly might like it. Yeah, Captain Mercury Two Hours. I'm hyped for the Napoleon. That does look like that'll be interesting. I'm not particularly hyped for it. Uh, it's Ridley Scott doing it, which is yeah. why I'm not hyped. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Yeah. When you can start recaps of game stories as historical events, uh, which would you have him do? Definitely like one of the Final Fantasy ones. Maybe like. Uh, yeah. I'd I'd yeah. want him to do something that he knows and likes. Yeah, that is true. Uh, Shep Niggeroth, five dollars. Ayo, my fellow Eldritch, uh, what's your thoughts on Dubus Goobus about the Civil War? I don't know why he like. At first, thought it was just like a shit post thing, and they started blocking people that like <laughs> were making fun of him for. It's like, why are you like genuinely invested in this? My my favorite thing was people were like fact checking him on on shit, and like that that's what it was. That uh, that was the drop. It was well, if you let me get on my soapbox, everything's fine. Uh, but then whenever you start bringing up facts against me, that's when I need yeah. to block you. Alien F here for $10. Okay, maybe they have no integrity, but the ones following the money are less cringe than the ones uh, that stay too long in the spotlight and fall. Uh, crowd recording, liberal hive mind. It's all. It's always about the money. Like, end of the day, it is always about the money. A, a, very, a very good majority of those. Like, I, I have no doubt in my mind that if, if, if uh, the quarter pounder was not fucking ostracized from everything, that he would have also just followed the money. Because that's all his YouTube channel is, him him following the money that he has access to right yeah. now. You know, like, if push came to shove and he he didn't get ostracized and kicked out of Magic the Gathering and every fucking yeah. hobby he has and, you know, isn't a fucking pariah to everyone, uh, he probably would have he probably would have followed the money too. Yeah. But he can't. Like, he can't right now. Yeah, he physically can't. Right. You've played Fear and Hunger? I have. I keep hearing it's, it's really good. good. Yeah. Uh, Lolly, play Fear and Hunger too? Uh, right now? Right now? Yeah. It is like five bucks. I might pick it up... Uh... The rats always follow the cheese. There we go. There we go. So, yeah. Yay. Uh, this is... I have only played the demo to Street Fighter Six. Shota has played more of the game itself. Yeah. I've played, a, I've played, a, I've played through the story mode um, and gotten the majority of the trainers up to max. Yeah. Um, 
I don't like this game. I want to be honest with you. I don't like this game. And if I fucking paid full price for this, I'd be I'd be fucking livid. I'd be incredibly upset. Character creation time. Wally, don't do the dumbass character creation thing. Just make someone that looks good. Oh yeah, no. Yeah. I, I know exactly. I know exactly what I'm going to try to do. Because we should have all the parts for it. So it might take us a while to actually get to it. Uh, FNH has good dismemberment mechanics. Yeah, yeah. Can we play with you guys? Uh, we're gonna be going through the story mode for the main, for the actually for just it. Love the music. Ah, You're the one oh, person. Oh, I'm banning them. Fucking lying bitch. I'm banning them. You're the one person that has said they like the music. Fucking everybody has said they despise yeah. the music in this Even game. Even people that like the game go, man, the fucking Street Fighter soundtrack sounds like some garbage fucking elevator music you might hear. Not even in the elevator, it's just down the fucking hallway of a floor you're going past on the elevator. Even people that love this game outright say I had to turn the soundtrack off. <laughs> this, the music fucking sucks, you're goddamn right. Uh, regarding Goobas making that Confederate video, the dude's so clearly buckbroken from what Sonny did to him, he has to try and disavow any right-wing thing. Many such cases. I always hate that. Yeah. Man, last two dollars, y'all download the mod to remove the hip-hop? That's what I mean! Like, <laughs> fucking everybody's like, yeah, I had to get rid of the fucking hip-hop music. It's like, I don't even care about the hip-hop music, it's just that it's not good. Like, there's good hip-hop. This isn't it. Alright. You guys see the new Spice Wolf remake coming up? Thoughts? Mm -hmm. It should be good. It's supposed to follow yeah, the... Because yeah. from what I understand, it's not like... It, it, it's not going to be a new season. Which I thought at first, where it's like, yeah, they, they're going to continue on, where they actually have like a family now. It's like, it's going to be a full-on remake. Mm -hmm. But it's supposed to be closer to the manga, from what I understand. I hope so. I hope we actually get like full on adaptations. God forbid anyone say anything uh, good about anything in chat. Why do you fucking just suck the dick of everything that, that gets put in front of you? Why? Why? Why are you like this? Play Yuri. Yuri's fun. Yuri, Yuri is a little fun. Yuri is a little fun. Light, light novel. In many such cases. Yeah. I kept hearing it was the manga. Uh, it, it started out as a, as a light novel, I believe. Yeah, I, I know there was a difference, yeah. but I thought. I kept hearing it was going to be closer to the manga, and I'm like, okay, okay. Because I, I know the light novel got really popular, mm -hmm. and that's where a lot of the, the sequel stuff came in, because that's just where it was at. Yeah. Tomboy with big taste, Tomboy with big taste. Uh, for a dollar, webs apostles from Berserk in real life, you either survive or sacrifice yourself. Uh, if you sacrifice yourself, you are doomed to hell. Yeah. I mean, there's no winning. Uh, Aramanto Areola, five dollars, but, but I like the soundtrack, lol. You, you should feel bad for liking the soundtrack. Why, why are you like this? I'm sorry, but I have to I have to be violent towards you, otherwise you start getting uppity. I'm sorry. I don't remember a single song. Strap for the finish. buckle! Strap for the buckle! Long! I can't have you! Can't have you getting up in front of the boys! Also, uh, I'll start with the good stuff since since Lone wanted to bring it up. Uh, this game has the, the best turnaround for a character ever. Um, no one liked Luke. I never heard anyone say anything good about Luke in Street Fighter V, uh, other than that he was a top tier character. Fucking, no one had anything good to say about him. Neither do I. I did not like him. Uh, I like him in this. I think he's cool. I like his character. Favorite Clive moment in FF16 so far? That's hard. I actually really like Clive. Clive's, Clive's the a best really part. good protagonist. Yeah, Cl Clive is outright the best part. Hollow Titty. When, when, he, when he's in the ruins and he has to confront what he did, uh, that whole segment. Oh, yeah. I like that a lot. Yeah. Where he actually, like, summons Ifrit willingly, like, for the mm -hmm. first time. That was really cool. Yeah. Okay. Helps this VA is a shit poster. <laughs> uh, the... the yeah, oh yeah, yeah, the the VA for Luke, uh, Yeah. He, he's gone out of his way to voice Luke for like a bunch of shit. Uh, the, guy, the guy seems like a pretty a pretty nice fellow. This game assumes we're black, I'm immediately quitting out. Understandable. Alright, so I'm gonna actually, like, everyone likes to do their, their shit post characters, I'm actually gonna try to make somebody. Uh, but it's gonna be fucking hard. Yeah. <laughs> Final Fantasy 16 is anything like Game of Thrones because a lot of people go, it, it's not like Game of Thrones like at all and it fucking pisses me off that everyone's like, oh, but it's Game of okay. Thrones though. Uh, I'm gonna have to look up a picture real quick. Um, you go to the Reddit, there are people that straight up post their codes. You can like type in a code and copy a character and people are fairly decent about it. Okay. But it is. Okay, Lone, explain to me. Explain to me how you think that. Uh, thoughts hmm. on the whole Hollywood strike? Uh, I mean, uh, I don't I don't care about them. I'm sorry. I don't, yeah. I don't think a lot of them are good people. Still, that kind of hurts it. You, uh, did you see Razor Fist hating FF16? That's the thing. I actually understand people who are like, I don't like FF16 that much. Because it is so drastically different from, from other games. 
And I know that that we were making fun of that. We're like, well, every game's different. It's like it, yeah. it basically is more of an action game. Yeah. So it's like I understand it, especially if you compare it to like seven, eight, or six. I still really fucking like it though. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, it's okay. a fantasy. All fantasies like Game of Thrones. All right, that's understandable. All right. Uh, so. Perma band in chat, by the way. Uh, yeah, no, I like. I, I like that every Final Fantasy game does something different. I like that it keeps reinventing. Uh, I understand wanting J, JRPGs back. Uh, but yeah. Here's the thing. You yourself are ostracizing... Uh, I'm sorry, turn-based JRPGs. Uh, you yourself are ostr ostracizing a ton of it by going... Uh, by going, man... Uh, this this fucking sucks. I want my turn-based RPGs. I saw people go like, oh, well, if you want your turn-based RPGs, go look at Octopath Traveler and Octopath Traveler 2. And they said, um, well, like, I don't like this. Uh, this looks like some indie garbage. And people are like, wow, you're fucking dumb. Don't ever complain about anything. Yeah, seriously. I don't want to hear you fucking mouth off again. Okay. Make a little hill dog. Hmm. Uh... FF16 did have this DMC that was working on. They had a lot of, I had a lot of people fucking working on it. Um, that makes the that makes the combat more disappointing with how simple it is. Because uh, you hear like, oh, it has the people from DMC working on it. It has the people from fucking Kingdom Hearts working on it. You know, it has all this fucking like this incredible blood from the industry working on it. And then like it comes down to it, and it's like, I mean, like it's like two steps above God of War, but like, I don't know. I hate all the mouths. All the mouths are fucking terrible. Oh my god. Uh, the further down you get, the more, uh, yeah. Uh, you can do whatever you want with the sliders down there, and it'll it'll help. All right, this is this is all right. Okay. So, Me Kusanagi. Lolly's making a specific person. I'm making a very specific person. Give your character overly long arms so you're more effective. No. Uh, I don't. I don't get why people say 16 is like Game of Thrones. Uh, it felt. It just felt like a Final Fantasy. Speaking of 16, found more Final Fantasy nods towards the end. Cough the arc. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. There's a lot of nods to other Final Fantasy games. Like I, I literally Everything just else got is just to come down to, to. Okay. Yeah. I, I literally. You might want to change the color of your eyebrows. Oh yeah, that is true. That is true. Um, it literally just came down to like I think people saw it, like literally just saw the demo. Maybe not even all of the demo. Uh, and saw, like, the mom being a raging fucking bitch and was like, oh, so, like, Game of Thrones. So even though it's, it's gonna like, be like game, It's going to be like Game of Thrones and how nobody's likable. <laughs> even though it's like, no, that's not really, yeah. The mom is, like, fucking psycho, but that's not really Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, be... a, lot of the women in, a lot of the women in Game of Thrones are fucking psychos. Uh, it might actually be kind of close to the eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, I want my traditional JRPGs back crowded. The same people who complain that they're either too slow or I too did, difficult. 100%. Yeah. I did fuck up her hair, though. It is a um, bit more orange. Yeah, now, hear me out. Uh, a live action remake of Perfect Blue Bow with Tom Holland. Uh, but not Tom Holland playing a character, just a movie about him traumatized by the gay rape scene and hallucinating his previous roles. I like the part at the end of the movie where he thinks he's Spider Man and he jumps out of a window. Hey, you know, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll keep it how it was. That's at least somewhat close. Okay. Oh, uh, we gotta fix the eyes now, because. Eyes are a bit more round. Do power with a hole in your torso. Many such cases, chat. Many characters. 16 is not like Game of Thrones. 16 stories actually finished. There you go. That is true. Is someone from Dion Crisis? Uh, do you mean Dino Crisis? No. Cause, cause no. There, there is nobody that fucking is getting, is guessing this at all. I don't think. I'm gonna be real with you, man. I don't think that many people watched it. There's a reason it's not getting localized, don't you know? That is true. I had to fucking import the game. Yeah. I had to fucking import the goddamn game. And I'm pissed about that. You can have jump stars. No! <laughs> yes, Jimmy, just like your Game of Thrones. I'll, I'll I'll play the clip if it loads on my phone, chat. All right. And I, and I am... You ask, yes, Jimmy, just like your Game of Thrones. Is that skill up, chat? Chat, was that skill up? Did you just fucking send me skill up? <laughs> Why does everybody have to have the fucking bimbo lips? Those aren't bimbo lips. Those are, that's, those are black woman lips, chat. Uh, Miss Sally Moore for eight bucks. Uh, what in God's name do you think happened to the soundtrack in this game? The only song I remember is Jamie's theme because it sounds like Street Fighter 3. So, uh, the, way I, the way I described it was it's like something you would hear at Evo and that's the fucking problem. The, the, the problem with it is uh, I, I think it does okay. just appeal to like modern... People, like, are, people are now guessing, yes, it's Kagura. <laughs> it is Kagura from, from Gintama. Yeah. Because uh, she is the easiest to actually make in this game because you can just get Kami's outfit and dye it red. Yeah. So we're, we're going with Kagura. Chun-Li. 
Yeah, Chun Li. I just said Cammy by mistake. Yeah, I, I, I was, I was like, uh, that's wrong. Coming for you. Yeah, oh. close enough. Fuck did, it. Did you see that Spiderro made a new cartoon? It's about a Japanese elementary schooler facing off against demons. Uh, with the help of her big sister and her mom, the Emperor of Japan's literally a 2010s fedora wearing neckbeard, and the oldest sister is 100% designed to have porn made of her. I mean, Speed makes porn, but uh, no, I didn't. I, I saw that he made something, but I didn't. I haven't watched it. Pro probably won't, but yeah. Can you use an umbrella? I don't know. Can we? Uh, what do you mean use an umbrella? As in a, as in to fight with? No. Yeah. Alright. No. Uh, I do want to... Uh, you can get an umbrella, I believe. Oh, then, yeah, there we go. You cannot sanitize rap, but this can't... It doesn't look anything like her, bro. This character creator is not really that good. <laughs> It's really good. I just don't. Uh, I don't particularly want to spend uh, the amount of time that people spend on making things accurate. That is true. Fuck it. It's male, for a stream. Male, female, human. Please don't overwrite that top one. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Thank God. We're doing the second one. There we go. Please don't overwrite the second one. <laughs> I was gonna say. Uh, yeah, we know. We don't uh, need that. Here. Kansas, Kazakhstan, Gaddy Tomogara. There we go. Give her big boobs. She doesn't have big boobs in the anime. You can give him big boobs. Should have done this before the stream. I had to delete my fucking character before this, you piece of shit. You better be thankful. It's no illusion game creator. I'm sure the I'm sure the settings are like way more in depth than we think. It's just yeah. the fact of like Everything has like ten sliders to it. It has like ten sliders, but it's also so fucking stylized already. Oh god. You made her look miserable. You I gave, know, right? You gave her no happiness on the slider. I know, right? I was trying to shrink the bimbo lips, and all I did was make her depressed. You did, did you did you even go to the sh to the fucking body slider to make her shredded? You disgust me. Uh, thoughts on Eric July's Ripperverse comics? From what I understand, they're fun. Mm -hmm. Like they're they're just fun, no bullshit superhero shit. Glory to Pakistan. Play the tutorial. Yeah, we may as well. I was gonna say I don't. I don't really think you need to. Uh, Tay for another. Why? Why even Sonya from Berserk is okay with demons? Uh, want Demon Thunderdome and helping Griffith and allowing Griffith to get Casca. I really hope Guts or Skull Knight slaps through reality. Well, she's like psychotic and psychic. So there yeah. you go. She looks like a hag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we did our best. Yeah. Uh, what game is this? Plus, I'm replacing my hard drive from a PS4 with an SSD. We'll give updates. Uh, you can replace it. It's, it's pretty fine. Yeah. Uh, this is Street Fighter 6. Yeah. Uh, yes, it is Street Fighter 6. Uh, well, she is in a new Street Fighter game. This this Street Fighter 6 looks infinitely better than Street Fighter 5 did. Like, hands down. Hands looks, fucking down. She looks like an extra depressed crackhead. From what I understand, you are able to go in and edit them later. You can. So you we... gotta pay like a thousand bucks to do it. Yeah. So we'll, we'll figure it out. Bug character, from pun pun. bug character creator mechanics. Let's go. You should have made a. Uh, you should have made the. I mean, there's no. There's no bugs there. Yeah. Um. You should have made that fucking uh the one whore from uh, uh not one cut of the dead uh, uh mob of the dead. Bucket list. Yeah. Mob of the dead. Oh, uh, I want to tell you what my dad told me. Your bet was not good enough. Your oh. thoughts on uh, Clive's mother's death scene? I like the fact Clive just stands there. <laughs> like, no, no, no. Was... Like, Clive has no fucking love for her, and I was like, thank fucking Christ. Yeah. Joshua's the one that's like, no, you don't have to do that, and Clive's just like, how tragic. Man, I really wish I was the one fucking killing her. <laughs> it's like, as soon as she cuts, he goes, no! Oh, wow! You know, I just uh, couldn't get there in time. Oh, damn, that sucks. Uh, so... It's gonna start you in modern controls, and you're gonna yeah. have to use modern controls until like a little bit after the like tutorial. It sucks. Modern controls are terrible, and I don't like them. All right. So, uh, Rolando A. Ramirez for five dollars. Did you uh, did you finish watching Witch from Mercury? What did you think of it? I liked it. Yeah, I liked it. Uh, not the best, not the worst. Mm -hmm. Very very pretty animation. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Uh, is Bucket List Zombie uh, show good? Uh, it's okay. Yeah, first episode was fun. Complete. That's in a new Witcher season. I'm not watching it. Yeah, I'm but bad about it. Yeah, I ain't watching that shit. I was pissed off after watching season one. Shin Kamen Rider? Uh, I can't wait to see it. I haven't seen it yet. There we go. Complete. Clive. Oh no, anyway, gay dragon. But the dragon's not gay, it's just... Listen, that gay dragon was a fucking Chad. He's he gone. murdered that child so hard. He's like the third best character in the game. 
Should I play Binding of Isaac or Persona 3 FES right now? Uh, I mean, I'm partial to Persona 3. Errol. Yeah, it's the no, automatic no. shit. No. Yeah. It's because triangle is your special move button. That's why you turn it off, because it's uh, terrible. Let's sell you more for 15 bucks. Fake monies. I don't know if it's an unpopular opinion, but I don't like the semi-realistic look they went for this, especially compared to some of the concept art. That's it. it. It makes it fucking weird where, like, you're, you're trying to tinker a character and you don't know how they actually look. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> the the weird thing is they like their height meter is a standout of Luke. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed that. Like it's literally a standout of Luke. Um fucking it's also a matter of you can't really have you can't really give any of the characters the proper personality that they need. Yeah. Um because they're not main characters. No, they're inserts. Yeah. They will always be inserts. Everyone on the street is an insert. <laughs> Uh, get your ass to church for a dollar. What's your favorite episode of Arca Gintama? Mine's the Arc of Gintoki gets hammered, thinks he has sex with all the women in his friend group, and he thinks, oh shit, this series getting canned. Uh, kids, rid, uh, getting canned, rid, uh, kids, rid, show and jump. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just got past the Yoshiwara on Fire Arc. That, that one's still probably my favorite, because that had the right amount of, like, stupid bullshit, and then things got serious. Yeah. Like, Gintoki had to fucking kill somebody, and he had to kill him so fucking hard. Uh, I really like that. Also, Sequoia. Sequoia is just fucking awesome. I love her. She's the best. Uh, I went to G. Witch expecting a more political drama, like halfway based on the first episode. I ended up disappointed. Eh, I, I don't know. I think by the first, like the first three episodes of uh, of season one, I think that would be out of your mind. It it kind of was a mix of like every Gundam, like every every element of a Gundam. You had the school stuff. You had the duels. You had the yep. war crimes. Like it was kind of a mix of all of them. Yep. Uh, I wish being a dominant didn't give you cancer, apparently, since I wanted Clive to give Gab either Ramu or Titan uh, if there was a proper party. Uh, it doesn't give you cancer. It's a, it's like a, it's the nature of the world. If you use magic, it takes a toll on your body. If you use yeah. too much magic, you turn to stone, and that that extends to, uh, that extends to dominance as well. Yeah. When he's Kagura moment, that's hard. There's a lot of good ones. Um, Fuck, I'm actually having trouble thinking of him. I, I mainly love when she banters with Gintoki. Her her and him have a really good dynamic. Like, they, they just always play off him. Chicago Funeral. That, okay, yeah, that yeah. one's funny. That uh, one's funny. Uh, Xander Dawson, $5. Evening Lance, just got a soccer game with the folks. 4 0 win for us. Uh, with the last goal being an own goal by the other team. Good times. Ah, right. This is Bosch. He signed up with the same regiment. This is Bosch. This music is fart no cancer. <laughs> Uh, being a minority is already damn shit's escalating. I know. I like the Neo Armstrong <laughs> Cyclone Jet Cannon. Yeah. Uh, at least Clive gets to kiss Jill a few times in the story. My boy's growing up so fast. I know. I know, right? Uh, so the a majority of the main story takes place in Metro City, which is basically just New York, but yeah. it's Metro City. Um, and they have they have the giant Mayor Hagar statue because I I fucking think I think Hagar died bl like stopping a bomb or some shit. I don't yeah. remember how I don't remember how he got taken out of the picture. But Cody is still the mayor. I'm livid. Cody isn't in the base roster of this fucking game because I fucking loved playing him in Street Fighter Five. He's what brought me back to the game. Uh, Street Fighter Five, you had like at release. I loved Armika. Then she got nerfed into being oh yeah they completely fucked her unusable. so bad. Um, and then there was really no one for me to play, so I kind of I just stopped playing. Yeah. Uh, whenever Cody released, I came back to it, and I liked playing Ed as well. I was talking that earlier. Uh, I liked I liked that Ed was the closest thing we're gonna get to being able to play Dudley again because they fucking I don't know why they fucking hate Dudley. Yeah. I don't know they why. They just don't. They just don't want Dudley back. Yeah. Arcade Scourge two hours. I kind of wanted Tomato Girl go full psycho. Eh, not really. Oh, I, I didn't. I didn't think it was gonna happen, and I didn't really want it to happen. Yeah, that wasn't really the point of her character. Yeah. Sig one sixty five dollars. Hey, Oshi, I fucked your shit. Oh, 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 I can't even pretend to make the accident all mixed up. Exactly. Yeah. Where's my Akuma? He's gonna be the four, third or fourth character released as part of the uh, the season pack one. Yeah. Here's a question and all questions. Your answer will determine uh, your fate in the eyes of chat. Hostess or Little Debbie? Disgusting. Little Debbie. Hostess tastes too much like chemicals. Uh, I like the chemicals actually. I can't sleep, Kagura. Oh, you can't sleep when it was funny as fuck. When she wanted the umbrella and then she went out in the middle of the typhoon, that was also pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, there's, there's a lot of great ones with her. Uh, it sucks how much the better the drawn style is than the actual game. I mean, like, the all the drawing style, uh, they... So whenever you build up your friendship with the masters in the game, uh, you have little art cut-ins to uh, accompany their stories. Uh, to my knowledge, those are all like fan art. Like it's all fan art that they had they had done by like community artists and shit like that. 
Um, so there's no consistent art style. Uh, finished last week's stream today, and with all the, all, all the Berserk talk, I have a new crack theory about Guts' Baelid. Uh, what if when Guts goes to Griffith's Kingdom and it starts to get destroyed with all, uh, all the whatever kind of fight breaks out with the Apostles, uh, the mule fed up with everything and feeling betrayed as, uh, as it uses by sacrificing Sonya and then goes on a rampage killing both human and Apostles. I, you said mule. Excuse me? Uh, that's the knight friend too, ah, Sonya. Ah, that's right. I, 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 don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Which Mercury putting really important stuff in a post credit scene was bullshit. Eh. A lot of anime do that, though. A lot of them do that. Yeah. How bad is the heat wave in Kentucky up here in New Jersey? Uh, humidity was visible. This day was. This day was fucking hot. Yeah. Make Mike Hagar from Marvel vs. Capcom 3? Many such cases. Yeah, it can be close enough to Cammy for her to crush my head between her thighs. That'd be funny. Yes. Uh. They like they they take the they take the chance of the story mode to try and flesh out the personality of, of the characters, which I like well enough, uh, by having them directly talk to you. And Cammy Cammy's like a cat person who's afraid of dogs. Like, <laughs> uh, like she outright runs from a dog at one point. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Wins Marvel. I wish. I love the radio aesthetics Kagura does and everyone joining in. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love that they make a point uh, whenever they're talking about Metro City. They're like, oh, yeah, Metro City used to be a lawless piece of shit area. But now, since Mike, Mike Hagar was uh, was mayor, it's gotten so much better. And there are fucking, there are roving gangs of, yeah. like, 50 people going around fighting shit. And, and they're like, oh, yeah, all the citizens need to know how to fight. Otherwise, they're going to get jumped by gangs. And it's like, I'm sorry, you said this place is better? You, if you go down the fucking, if you go down like that way, uh, you get stopped by police and they go, oh yeah, someone called in a bomb threat. <laughs> this God. place is better? <laughs> I don't have a head, idiot. Dumbass. I'm a girl. I want my Marvel vs. Capcom, or uh, MVSC 2 release, uh, re-release. It's a tragedy that game's not available by legit means, yeah. Be how it is. Uh, it was 88 here in South Carolina, and that's not including the humidity. Oh, yeah, humidity fucking sucks. Gangs are banner than anarchy, I guess. Is it even different? <laughs> yeah, yeah. here comes your fucking tutorial. Yeah. I hate it. The, the minute I saw this, because I did play the demo, the minute I saw this, all I thought was, like, are they trying to rip off, like, Judgment or Yakuza? Like, the tutorial goes on for, like, three chapters, like, something like that. It's too much, and it extends into side missions. Like, you'll do... Yeah. You'll do like 20 side missions where it's like, here's the basic concepts of the game, and you'll be put, you'll like fucking have the gun in your mouth. Oh god, I hate that shit so much. It's confirmed that Cammy doesn't fuck dogs. Cammy doesn't fuck dogs, but what's her face? Uh, DiCaprio, DiCap DiCaprio, uh, her fucking evil twin does fuck dogs. Yeah, yeah. She is the evil version. <laughs> evil Cammy fucks dog dick. Or wait, no. Or is Cammy the evil version? Because she does not. <laughs> I'm just waiting for someone to make this into a dating sim. Just fucking wait. Eh. Alright. Yay. Yeah. Hello, Alice. Why, hello there. Bitch. Can you romance Street Fighter characters? If not, I'm 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 in, I'm not interested in this. You can hit on them. <laughs> they fuck dog YouTube. The fuck you just said? You heard me. You heard yeah. me, they fuck dogs. The frame rate of distant characters in Pokemon Scarlet Tier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's even worse on... It's even worse on... Uh, uh, so we're playing the PS5 version. I have, I have the... I got the PS... Uh, the PlayStation version, and I got the uh, PC version together. Um, the PC version, I actually got the season pass with that. Um, all for a really good deal. Uh, yeah. It, My I, dream date I, with Blanca. Wow. Uh, like I said, I'd be angry if I paid full price for... Get Jerry to step on you. <laughs> About that, uh, canon. It is a canon event that she steps on you. Um, uh, fuck, what was, what was I saying? If you watch the thoughts on the Constantine video I made. It was pretty good. It, it was, it wasn't bussin'. It was pretty good. Uh -huh. Rival looks cool, everyone else looks like an asset flub. Uh, the rival's fucking lame, I hate him. If you try to hit on Cammy, she just says bye and hangs up. <laughs> she can <laughs> Yeah, you can, you can, you can, uh, talk to Cammy. Whenever you talk to her, you, you always call her, uh, master and ma'am. Uh... Uh, I like that. Eh, just, just, just mash. Literally just hold down R, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say, just, just mash. Uh, if you press, an, if you hold R2 and mash square, it'll do an auto combo, and if you mash X, it'll also do an auto combo that does slightly more damage. Yeah. Well, that one literally didn't matter about damage, you just do it over and over again. Mm -hmm. Everyone goes on about step on me, mommy, until it's their cock and balls that are stepped on. <laughs> uh, 
the the funnest part about this is about the story mode is none of the story mode stuff like none of the story mode stuff i found interesting at all until the very end um and that's really it uh but i did enjoy interacting with the the actual street fighter characters uh because they're the only ones with personality fight me yeah uh this gets really old really fast thank you thank you J jazir very nice yeah, I remember that part in Gintama where Kagura was going around beating up black people. Yeah. Uh, is Ken actually divorced? No, so uh, someone set off a bomb and, like, blamed Ken. So uh, Ken is on the run. Yeah. <laughs> is Bison in this game? Sort of, kind of. What game is this? Street Fighter Six. Street Fighter Six. You actually fight in the streets? <gasps> uh, <laughs> Out of my way. So I do like what fight they me. do. If you notice, whenever you pick random people in the street... It does just kind of, it kind of just takes wherever you are, forces it to turn into a stage, and it picks NPCs in the background to watch you fight. That is kind of cool. That's sort of neat. Um, that being said, I use uh, Marissa's level 3, and that breaks every fucking stage in the entire game. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, instead, of, instead of, like, repositioning you where you're supposed to be, it always puts you on top of them, uh, and the fucking camera angles are broken. Okay. Music games are so much fun. I wish Asian people were real. I know. What's next? Final Fantasy 16 becomes the Final Fantasy? Yeah? Ugh. This is canon now, sir. Sir? Sir? Get shit on, Tony. <laughs> Fuck you, Tony. Uh, instead of remaking Silent Hill 2 faithfully, the team decided they wanted to recreate their perfect memory of it. According to Peter Bibino, uh, this also gave them the opportunity to do certain things differently and smuggle in some versions of ours, or some visions of ours. Uh, within the first few months of development, the team replayed Silent Hill 2 to gather as much information as they could and looked to the internet to gauge fan, fan criticism. They found that the plot and world building were the most widely praised elements of the game. Other aspects such as the AI, indoor levels, and combat system were more controversial, which they sought to reimagine. The pre-existing story was adapted into their game with changes to the script, dialogue, new subplots, and alternate endings uh, implemented to bring it closer to their vision. Yeah, Silent Hill 2 is fuck, buddy. Yep. It's gonna die. Yeah, you'll hear about the Long Island serial killer they got caught for 13 years. I did hear they got caught, yeah. Which is weird. You, you don't really think about serial killers in the modern era. Yeah. TLDR blooper fucked it all up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if you answered earlier, but F fuck Mary kill Final Fantasy emo edition Cloud, Squall, and Clive. Uh, kill Cloud. Yeah, kill Cloud. I just don't like Cloud. Uh, fuck Clive, Mary, uh, uh, Squall. Squall. I want to marry Clive. Fuck you. I'm only doing it to be contrarian. I didn't even play that much 8. Uh, Tay uh, for a dollar. I had a question in Last of Us Part 2. Why rattlers to being slavers who slave plantation in the middle, uh, middle post-apocalyptic world? Everything had to be violent and progressive every way. That punch lead meme is funny and hilarious. Are you talking about why there were slavers? It's because, I mean, it's post-apocalypse. You get people to do work for free. Yeah. Uh, Alien Knife here at $5. Why is it when you fight people in the streets you get points, but when I do it, I'm up on hate crime charges? Mm -hmm. how, how good are the new characters they add in this game? Um... Marissa's okay. Uh, Luke's still technically a new character, even though he was introduced in 5. Uh, I like Luke. Um, I do not like Lily. Uh, I fucking loathe Kimberly. God, I fucking hate Kimberly so much. Um, Manon, Manon was kind of unmemorable, honestly. Uh, I don't like... Um, I don't like the Drunken Fist guy. I really don't. Uh, especially since they explain away his drunken fist as no, he's not actually drunk. Uh, it's actually a secret herbal uh, herbal shake that his family has that they make, and it just gives you a bunch of energy. And it was like that, that beats the entire point of it. Yeah. Uh, JP's fun. okay. JP's okay. Long Island serial killer. Yeah. Were they a cop? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, archive the OG while you can, lad. Sell to preserve the meme or the uh, good horror game. Yeah? You can't, you can't really, like... There's no real viable way to, to legally play Silent Hill 2, so... Yeah. Yeah, you gotta sell the Seven Seas. Where's my Yoshi? I'm fucking your Yoshi as we speak! He's the opposite of drunk. Yeah! Manon's kinda hot, though. I did see some pictures. She Man, does look pretty good. Manon's hot. I, her character's kind of meh. Her voice actress is terrible. I'm sorry. I, most of the voice actors in the game are bad. Eat shit, pizza man. That's an RE4 remake. Liked it. Liked it. It was good. 
I saw Stalker the other day. Which Stalker? Which one? I assume the 1971. You would hope. Yeah. You would hope. I was in the Barry finale. It's okay. It was okay. It's okay. Uh, the ending joke, uh, where it's the fake movie trailer, that was genuinely pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Uh, other than that, I had some issues. Yeah. Uh... Started replaying the entire Final Fantasy franchise. I'm on eight, and the junction system is fun. Honestly, it's a good sub to the job class. Yeah, I, I also really like the junction system. People that complain about it, I don't like you. You're bad. Uh, for those who don't don't own it, Alan Wake is out on PlayStation Plus this month. It is. It is. Yep. It's also a good game. It is getting a sequel soon, which may be good. You guys fighting viewers at the end? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't really like the way the game plays. So. Clive, one of your favorite Final Fantasy protagonists? I wouldn't really say favorite uh, at the moment. You gotta give him some time. Because that, that actually is a pretty high bar. Final Fantasy has some pretty good fucking characters. Yeah. You know? I talk shit about Cloud, but he is a genuinely good character. Ain't man in the grappler in a French 2? That's two strikes out of the gate. That's the thing, like, I'm okay with grappler characters. It's just I only like some of them. Like, uh, I like Armika, and she's, she's, she's a grappler character, even though she's bad. Uh, but I've never liked playing Zangief. Um, and I don't particularly like playing Mana either. I watched Sisu yesterday, and it was a fun action movie. Mm. All right. Clive's a major improvement on Noctis. That's because Noctis did nothing but complain. Like, yeah. the entire story, Noctis never stopped complaining. Noctis had moments of being genuinely pretty cool, but yeah, that that's followed up with a lot of, like, eh, he's kind of a pussy. Yeah. Uh, whenever, whenever you have characters going, like, out of character, telling your main character to shut up and stop complaining... Yeah. And and people are instead of people going like, man, that's weird that they do that. You're like, yeah, tell them to shut the fuck up. That's not a good sign. Yeah. Poisoning in this game, I ain't buying this shit. In many such cases. Do, do you really want? Listen, with the with the way people like tried to drag the game into the SJW fucking like culture war bullshit. Do you really want them to put poison in the game? Yeah. Do you really want? Do, poison? do you want a remake of the Bridget fiasco? Like there are already people who are like, man. I fucking hate that they made um, uh, that they have Manon in the game as a tranny, and I was like, "What? The fuck are you talking about?" Yeah, it's like, no, that's not a thing. Uh, there ain't no pie on many such cases. I didn't care for Noctis, but I do like the world of Fifteen. I do as well. I, yeah. I, I find it enjoyable. Yeah. Uh, Manon doesn't really do anything for me when Shermie already exists. I like Manon's outfit. Manon, Manon has like the weird fucking like open cut uh, waistline thing, and I was like, "Ah, oh, that's kind of cool." Get the patty. Yeah. Uh, I hate Lily as well. I do not like Lily. I'll admit, uh, when Noctis finally nuts up in certain moments, is always Kino. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the end of the game is fun. <laughs> but it's the end of the game. <laughs> but it's the end of the game. Uh, Shep Negroth, $2. Lamal Assassin's Creed Red might have a black MC. Yeah, yeah I saw that. Wondering. Like, And people point out, it's the, like... The most annoying thing is, like, they could have done... Like, they could have had you play fucking uh, uh, Yasuke. Yeah, and, Yasuke. Yeah, and it would have worked. Uh, yeah. You know, like every everyone, they always do like the oh hey, uh, you know, black samurai or you know, black character in, in feudal Japan, and it's like you have a historical character that you can use, and you say no, yeah, I don't want to, I want to do his other one. And it's like, come on, man. Well, not just that; it's also the fact of like they they do it because of my diversity. It's like it's yeah. fucking Japan. It's fucking feudal Japan. Yeah. It's like, it's already a completely, like, it, it's not middle America. You're not, yeah. you, don't worry. There's no white people. You don't have to. It's like 98% homogenous in modern day society, bro. You, you don't have to freak out. There's no white people, okay? They're not real. They won't hurt you. Yeah. I don't want to buy the hat. Don't make me buy the hat. Yeah. I hate it. You got to put it on, too. I hate it. This game is literally just made for, like, oh, God. Jennifer was asking for it, yeah. Oh, God, he has a hat, Yeah, too. they make him buy a hat, too. Uh, this game, this game is the worst about the tutorials that go on too long. Yeah, uh, as day, it's cell phone game. Yeah, it's a fucking cell phone game. A million different fucking tutorials for shit. Yeah, speaking of Assassin's Creed, Black Flag is getting a remaster. Ubisoft is desperate, huh? Not a remaster. I think it's getting a remake. Yeah, I like Cecil. He's my favorite Final Fantasy pro tag. He's okay. His relationship with Rosa is my is wholesome. Yeah. Uh, Tofu for three dollars. Yo, Lolly, this is probably uh, discussed earlier in stream. But how did that argument go with Mudahar? Dude, be airing his shit stained laundry for the world to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people called him out on that. Where it's like you literally watch videos where people die. Yeah. Like, the the funniest part is when uh, people are talking about the the fucking uh, hentai thing. Where it's like, hey, you watch this. Doesn't that make you as bad as people you hate? And it's like yeah. we didn't jerk off to it. It's like, it's not about fucking jerking off to it. You yeah. think it's equivalent to child porn? Yeah. 
Uh, thoughts on the 2002 promotional Spidey Berry Pop Tarts? I don't think I ever got to eat them, but they were cool. Yeah. Uh, Junebug for Dollar. The creator of Poison said she is slash was trans. That was a running joke for a while because they they weren't allowed to. Yeah, it's not like, even a joke. It was just it's how they circumvented uh, censorship in the U.S. Yeah. Because uh, in U.S. video games, they wouldn't they didn't want you hitting women, so they were like, all right, well, fucking Poison's trans. Yeah. Yeah. It's a dude. Fuck you. But literally every release since then, it's very blatantly a chick, yeah. and they even like sexualize her. Yeah. So it's like no. I, to me, it's like hearing Yamato is is a guy. It's like no. <laughs> Many such cases. Uh, Big Ball Clutch, $5. Saw Mission Impossible 7. It was good. Also, don't worry about AI. Tom Cruise will save us. <laughs> hey, Tom Cruise will save us. Tom Cruise going to the mainframe mm. and blow it up. Yeah. Uh, picking up twigs. Uh, picking up twigs. Oh, thank you. I just smoked a fucking Dolby. This is my first stream, and it's fucking incredible. Like, goddamn, I wasn't expecting this, but I'm, yeah. I'm glad to see it. So you should smoke more. You should smoke more. Uh, sounds less egregious than the Yamato situation, yeah? Well, that's it. Like, at least there is the argument of, well, in the original game, it, it was it was a uh, fucking double dragon, right? Uh, no, yeah. no, it was, I don't uh, remember it was a streets, lot of that series. Uh, it was streets of streets of yeah, rage. Yeah, I fully admit, I'm not a big streets of rage guy. I never got super into it. I just know where poison came from. But yeah, uh, streets of rage, fucking poison was there. He and was army, he was army. Yeah, he actually he's a fucking PMC. Ugh. I love that part of Luke's character. Him being a fucking PMC is great. Yeah. Also, they're like, hey, you and your level one buddy, go fucking fight Luke, and Luke just fucking dominates you. Oh, God. Final fight. Yeah, that, that was it. Final yeah. fight, that's what it was. Yeah. Like I said, didn't play much Final Fight. That, that they, never really... there's, they have the arcade cabinet in the game. You can play yeah. You can play classic uh, Capcom games uh, in the story mode, and it is in the fucking game, and I could not remember it. Yeah. But, yeah. So it, it's one of those where I know the origins. I've always known Poison as a Street Fighter character because Street Fighter 4. Mm -hmm. So, like, that was kind of what I always based it off of. So it's a thing of, like, super hot chick with the, the fucking riding crop, very sexualized fucking Daisy Dukes, the tank top. It's like, yeah, that's a guy. It's like, yeah, bullshit. <laughs> they don't treat her like one. All right. Tom Cruise is going to reflace refl AI with Scientology. Thank you, chat. Very nice. Uh, how's your new video going to, I fucking hate the goddamn emote thing. It literally get covers up shit I'm trying to fucking read. Yeah. How's your new video going? Uh, do you have a release date? I still need to record fucking audio for it because I couldn't find any fucking chance this week. It was always somebody like barging around the house. Like, God, it was always something. But I do plan on getting it out this week because I'm just going to sit down and, and force it if need be. We hit her like one. Yeah. Why don't you like Kimberly or Lily? I, I don't like their characters. Fucking Kimberly like walks and talks and acts like a massive fucking stereotype and I yeah. do not I no bueno no bueno it was a typo in the US release no, I heard it was I heard it was an intentional thing where it's like it was to get past censorship uh, that's what I was always that's what I was always told yeah uh, Poison being trans comes from concept art for Final Fight where Poison was listed as new half okay new half once again that's the thing of like okay I'm not gonna take that seriously though I was gonna say I've never uh, I've never heard that before in my life yeah you watch Slayers yet yeah shut up asshole I've been going through Gintama. That's that's been my my <laughs> anime expedition, and I am. You know how you can prevent accidental usage of unique attacks? You can just you can just swap off. Yeah. Just fucking swap off. You mean to tell me the hentai of Yamato with a foot and a half long cock clapping balls yeah. on Kami's ass isn't lore accurate? What action game has the most fun stinger to use? Uh, Devil May Cry. I want to get rid of this fucking hat. I don't want the hat. It's covering up the point of the hair. They have a built-in transmog system, so you can you can just whenever we get access. Does to the clothing it, even do anything? They give you stats. No. Gintama is the goat. Yep. That's fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I I just got past where Hijikata and Sogo were in the fucking Saw parody. Yeah. And that was funny. Well, at the very end when he found out the entire thing from the get-go was Sogo fucking with him. Mm -hmm. That was funny. I, I laughed pretty hard. It's like you are a fucking dick. Yeah. And all of it just because he fucked his sister. Yep. So that stats aren't worth good hair. Yeah. Well, you can, like I said, it has a transmog system, so you can yeah. just you can just transmog. If you want your character to run around naked and have all the stats of gear, you can. You, you yeah. It'll let you do it. All fighters gain power from goofy hats. Yeah. Chat, can someone confirm for me? Because I haven't actually played Blanca because uh, he, he bad. <laughs> I don't like him. Um... Is his alternate outfit in this? Is it is it the Blanca Chan outfit? Because that's a, that's a good out. That's a good alt. Yeah. If I recall correctly, they later on said poison gender is meant to be ambiguous, and honestly, I prefer it stay that way. I don't want them to confirm it being one way or the other. To me, it's a chick. Yeah. Like poison's a chick. Yeah. Thank you, Luke. 
broad shoulders, man. Alright. But I just bought the rape hat. Because I want to be able to swap off this outfit for uh, Chun-Li's, because then I'm going to you know, dye it. If it will let you dye it. You can dye it, right? I don't even know if you can get Chun-Li's outfit. Fuck. Well, point is China-style dress, because that's what Kagura wears. <laughs> I don't remember having a Chinese-style dress. Uh, Gintama gives you big laughs to give you big feels. It really does. Yeah. As they, like... Don't shake Blanca players' hands. You're goddamn right. They're not people. Yeah. Like, I just got past the, the fucking uh, oh, Yoshiara arc, and that one is just straight up about sex slavery. Yeah. You can. It's kind of hard, but you, but you can. Really? Uh, I know you can get... Um, she's kind of pale. Yeah, because Lolly didn't choose a fucking skin color. Well, no, that's the point of it. Like, the character is really pale. She's not that pale, Lolly. She's yeah, not she that is. Pale. She's not that pale. She's literally from a race of aliens where they can't go out in the fucking sun. She's not that pale. Uh, don't be like Blanca. He takes Oshis at night. Yeah. You have to woo an Oshi, chat. You gotta woo him. Sensually. Throw off the final boss by stripping your bare ass mid-fight just cause. Uh, Ill enough here, $5. Y'all, y'all know, you know all about the power of goofy hats. You ran over, you ran all over some Goku Japan with a basket on your head. Yeah. That was drip. Drip. Alright. And we are going to swap off from the, uh... Uh, what do you what do you what are you looking for? I don't want the automatic controls. Uh, uh R one, down to Avatar. All right, so it, yeah, it's on classic. Okay, it's on classic. Okay, good. Yeah. All right. I was gonna say I swapped it to classic, but the last time I raced my day, I'm pretty sure it moved it back to, to right. modern. Uh. Oh, I was gonna say yeah. There we go. Okay. You have to learn that. I hate. I fucking hate all these systems. They are garbage. Yeah. Have the con Have you seen the controversy of the friends feminists and that Japanese politicians? Already sounds like a nightmare. Uh, that's, that does sound terrible, and no. She walked around with a damn umbrella. Exactly. Yeah. Her entire race did. Her fucking dad did, too. That should be customized. Oh, and why is, she's darker oh. than Gintama. Yeah, that's what's... <laughs> she's not! God damn it. Check your style. Understand your stats. All right. So that's Luke style. Yeah, Strip cap. Oh, uh, we don't have the transmog system yet. Fuck. No. You know what? I'm just getting rid of the hat, then. Fuck you. Say, you can just take it off, yeah. We're, we're low level enough to where it really doesn't matter. Yeah, you don't have all of his special moves yet either, buddy. Yeah. You gotta, earn, you gotta earn those. So, quarter circle forward, quarter circle yeah. back. Okay. Well, I get me out of this hut. Uh, God damn it. You're this out of this hotel, my Tinder date had a penis. Like I said, the fucking emoji thing is right over where, you know, bottom messages would be. I literally can't read certain parts of it. You know what? Fuck it. I was gonna say I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think you can get rid of it. Here, I'll pop it out. There we go. They're gonna have the same problem, but in pop-out chat. No, it's better. Yeah. Feminist was uh, claiming love Hina career was a pedo and alt-right extremist. Oh, Oof. okay, yeah. Once again, you know, oh, you're Japanese. Oh, how terrible! We have to ruin your life. Yeah. Uh, Junebug for a dollar. Poison creator said she is a pre-op woman, so is packing. I don't listen to that. Yeah. Whether or not poison of the dick is dependent on the country she's in. I'm not joking. Yeah. I mean, that that, that is the philosophy. And I don't take it seriously because it's like, yeah, yeah, has a dick. Meanwhile, in Street Fighter 4, literally fucking skin-tight Daisy Dukes. Like, yeah. no. What is up, my peoples? I get it now. Political activism is just stupid. Yeah. Right on. Adult Kagura got me acting up hard. Oh, my yeah, God. I'm acting unwise. What do you mean, adult? I yearn for the day I get to see progs get thrown off rooftops. You never will. That's the same guy who said Dragon Man was CP and uh, she had her Tumblr full of Shota porn. <laughs> Every fucking time! Many such cases. Oh, did you see we got some new official art from Dragon Maid? Oh, yeah. Uh, everyone's feet are insane. Yeah. Uh, crazy. But, uh, like, it, it it's art that looks it, like it was deliberately made to piss people off. Yeah. Didn't get Tama parody fist in no story. It parodied fucking everything. everything. Every every everything. Um, like just recently, we had an anime night and uh, Dick Bro showed up, and we were actually talking about because I, I I managed to get Irishman to start it if I quote unquote started Bleach, even though I already read through Bleach, but he doesn't have to know that. Uh, and he was like, yeah yeah yeah, I wanted to finish. He wanted to finish some specific series before he started. Uh, I I think it was Roroni. It wasn't Roroni Kenshin, but it was something similar. It was a samurai one. Uh, and he was like, I want to finish that because from what I understand, Gintama is a big parody of that. And I'm like, dude, it makes fun of fucking everything. Mm -hmm. Like, entire arcs can just be parodies. Like, they had an entire parody of Monster Hunter that yeah. went on for like 10 chapters. 
Uh, so we'll base for two. I saw a character look like Carl Weathers. Oh yeah, yeah. You can do a lot. We can do a lot with the character creator. Most people just make ugly characters, but you can make one-to-one -one recreations of, of anything. Uh, what was the last good COD in your opinion about playing the uh, old tile recently? Black Ops 2 currently, which is the last good one. I don't. Know, I never actually played Black Ops 2, so I go with original Black Ops. Uh, last one I had like a ton of fun playing was the original Black Ops, but like. Uh, Cold War was enjoyable. Like, it was what I fun. played of it, it was it was enjoyable. It was all right. Samurai Seven. It might have been Samurai Seven. Mm. Uh, but yeah, he, nah, he was. I doubt it. He was convinced it was like a specific parody of one series, and I'm like, no, dude. It, it like one one of the one of the episodes that I actually laughed pretty hard was like uh, where it was making fun of Bleach, where Orihime like teleport everyone into a dream world to try to give them an ultra technique, and then Shinsengumi tried to arrest her for public nudity. It's like, that was just funny. Uh, Blue Fire, $5. Saw the new Transformers last week. It was surprisingly decent. The ending stinger with the G.I. Joe reveal was even more of a surprise, though. Yeah, you're, you're hitting the fucking Hasbro multiverse. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Black Ops 2 is really good. Definitely check it out. Of course, Black Ops 1 is really good as well. Yeah, I, I remember I remember distinctly just enjoying running around and playing the actual multiplayer of, uh, what is of your Black Ops. What does your version of the game look bad? This is just how it this looks. This is just how the game looks. <laughs> It looks fine whenever you're fighting people, but yeah, when you're running around, it just looks bad. If you think of, like, uh, press X, make sure you press fucking X on that. Uh, if you if you think, like, this looks bad, like, uh, the PS4 version, my character's hair clipped through his head the entire game. Oh my god. The entire time I played through the fucking story mode, his hair was always clipping. Uh, how do I get my bro into kind of super? He's a loser and hates fun and fan service. So I want to trick him into watching him, uh, to watch him suffer. Bullying didn't work. I don't know, cause like, I, I, if someone doesn't like something, I just, I'm not gonna make them watch it, cause I, yeah. I, I hate listening to people bitch. It's yeah. the most annoying thing on earth. And kind of super, it's like pretty fan service heavy. So, like, all you'd hear is him going like, "Man, this is so fucking degenerate. Why do you like this?" And it's like, dude, shut the fuck up. It's funny. Yeah. Uh, fucking. Meow. Uh, Wait, Street Fighter, Street Fighter Six is on PS4. Yeah, PS4, PS5, uh, PC. TBF Transformers and G.I. Joe crossed over in the comics. That was all right. Yeah. No. How's your tech stuff working? I saw you pissed off in the Indian on the dot track. Oh, no, no, no. That had nothing to do with, like, tech things. No. Uh, Aramanto Areola, $5. Slight like correction. That feminist gunning after the Love Hina guy actually defended cuties. Oh, my God. In any such case, you betrayed me, you boy pricker. Slept the stream name. Had nothing to do with Rigatoni. I lied. I, I, I asked Irishman, because we were at work together, I fucking asked him, I was like, hey, what game should we play? I either want to play The Last Remnant or Street Fighter VI. Uh, I've been wanting to play Last Remnant for a while, but it keeps losing the coin toss, so what should I play? And I corrected him several times, and every time he thought I said stream names, so I just gave up and let him think of stream names. Okay. It was, it was fucking hilarious. She beat her up with her tits. <laughs> yeah, I do like this version of Chun-Li. <laughs> She's fine. Hey, look, it's the character that, that is important to Chun-Li's story that isn't a fucking character. Is there something I can help you with? I'm trying to... Mommy. Damn it, camera, I'm trying to look up the Chinese lady's skirt. <laughs> Everyone has spats. You can knock a random lady with a skirt on her ass in the uh, in the overworld, and you, you can see it's just spats. An amorphous blob, even. Dear ass church for a dollar. Uh, Lolly, do you know about the Gintama movies? One of them ha have an adult Kagura, and she's fucking stacked, bro, from front and back. Even got Kentoki acting uh, up straight up saying uh, people might talk about a grown man living with a girl in their 20s. I don't know. I know about some of the movies. Um, they made one of the Benzakora arc, and they did one where I think it's called, like, Gintama the Final. That might be the one you're talking about, where it was supposed to be, like, the final one. No. What do I have to wear? Because I said so. <laughs> Yay. Friends are forged in the fire of competition. Whatever you say, crazy bitch. Chun Li is a cougar. She's in her 50s. And she's Chinese, meaning she's basically going to look like she's in her 30s until she hits 60. Then yeah. she's going to look 90. Yeah. Uh, there's a YouTube series of a 20 something having his parents sit down and watch the entire first season of Attack on Titan. It covers every part of the first season, including the YouTuber's parents accepting that they will never have grandkids. <laughs> Great. Uh, what would you do if you had to make a Street Fighter character? Uh. No. I'd make a good one. <laughs> Wait, Lolly, you never wa uh, watched the Gintama finale? Uh, not the movie. Like, I haven't seen the movie. I don't know if it's any different from the manga. Parker, give me photos of the Chinese girl's skirts! 
All right, Joe and I got you. <laughs> Little Spam 2 hours Chun Li, the thigh mommy of at least three generations. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's okay. Or for the DLC, we for the DLC show. They always have the DLC. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Whom are you talking about? Keep Also, I finally started watching it. Currently on season one, episode twelve. Liking it so far. First season's okay. Yeah, and I'm sure, I'm sure going in knowing about the Titan shifting, you'll be a lot happier with it. Uh, we were watching it as it came out, so when Titan shifting was revealed, I was kind of pissed, I and I've, I've resented it ever since. I was fine with Titan shifting because I never expected it to, to. I never expected what you what you wanted out of it because I, yeah. I know better with Japanese media. Uh, I, I expected basically exactly what I got. Uh, theme in for dollar. Spent my entire week playing uh, El Steel Bra Revision, and for the first time, uh, first thing I hear is the Dutch have fallen. Anyways, how was your week? The Dutch have fallen. <laughs> Many such cases. Uh, Asians age slowly until their 60s. Yeah, yeah, just about. Yeah, here's uh, Chun Li's fighting style. How can I get my friend of the Dora Hidoro manga? Make him read it. Yeah, Dora Hidoro is fucking awesome. Charge characters are nightmares in this. They're fucking nightmares. So we're not gonna play charge characters. No, you swap back to Luke's fighting style right now. Like, I don't know what it is. Charge characters seem to play fine in every other Street Fighter. You have to hold a direction for like a full second to get a charge attack to come out in this. This dude straight up says, oh yeah, you joined the school because you thought Chun Li was hot. Yeah, no judgment. Yeah. So did everyone else. Damn. Should be under status, right? Yeah. Alright, it kept you as Luke. It didn't automatically uh, swap yeah, yeah. over. Yeah, Chun Li's is this. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Every time you swap a style, it will reassign all your skills, so... Yeah. Be careful. Because there are times where, like, whenever I first swapped to, to reuse uh, style, I was like, okay, it's going to keep all the all the, the moves that I, I saved. Uh, and then it was like, ha, that's cute. Here's reuse style with only two super moves. And I was like, I feel like I'm dying. Uh, so the main character is basically rogue. No, no, no. Uh, there are actual huh? techniques that anyone can learn, like... Yeah. Chun Li runs a school. Yeah, yeah. Every anyone can learn anything. Uh, it's just, a, it's just, you know, people dedicate themselves to a, sp a specific style. Yeah, some styles work better than others. Is Dan in the game? Uh, he has a restaurant in the game. Hello. Uh, do you think MK1 will be better than this? I, I don't know, man. I don't know. It's I'm not like, say. I'm not like crazy excited for any fighting game that's coming. Our man's taking uh, photos of Chinese girl skirts. He's, he's a menace to society. Um, but Jonah, you, you, you asked me to get the, these pictures for you, Jonah. I, I, don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Uh, jeez. Uh, I, I don't know, Mr. Uh, Jonah. Are you sure we should uh, unleash the rhino and have Spider-Man fight him? Uh, do do the back throw. Do Luke's back throw because it's the best one in the entire game. Okay. If I can get him to... <laughs> if I can get him to... Hey, you my head. Oh, my fucking God. There we go. There's another back. Yeah, I know. There you go. Here we go. There you go. It's just it's just two kicks to the to two knees to the face. Everyone else is kind of lame. Going redhead. Nice choice. It's a King Gon it's a King Gon Ashura character actually. It's Kagura from Gintama. At least my attempt. Yeah. Uh, whenever you beat a character of a certain style, you get experience for it, and whenever you use a style, you get experience for that style. No. Every character has two things that you need to level up. Uh, you're gonna have to, yeah. You're gonna have to say yes. We, but we already, we already kicked his ass. Yeah, you're gonna have to say yes, bitch. Thank you, switch Chun Li's. We did not. Uh. Okay, now it's gonna make you switch to Chun Li. I'm uh, sorry so we, for your loss. We have to fight him as Chun Li. Okay. Yeah. It's gonna suck. Okay. Hello. Whatever you say, Makima. <laughs> you just beat my ass. Want to do a little sparring? You just beat my ass. All right. You just beat my ass. Use a different fighting style. What? Use a different fighting style, bitch. Bing, bing. It's like, you, you just beat my ass, but no, you didn't. Okay. I'm gonna ask if y'all made the redhead from Gintana. Yep, yep. Yep. Ugh. At, least, at least they didn't turn the redhead black. I'm, I'm sorry for your loss, my brother. Oh, God. Tekken 8 does look pretty great. Eh. Should have you got Oberon FGO? He's one of the uh, Buster supports. Uh, you can also uh, Black Braille Luke 
with him. Uh, also, he's got a pretty badass third ascension, but you need to beat Lost Belt 6 for it. Yeah, I, I, I pulled Oberon, uh, Oberon. I've got his third skill to 10. Um, Holy shit, you're right. There is so much fucking charge. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking awful. It's a, it's a full second of fucking charge. I don't know why. I don't like that at all. I don't know why. It made charge characters unplayable, in my opinion. I haven't even tried to play Guile. Yeah. Kogurik has turned into Kanaga. Well. Like, like, I feel like charge characters in every other Street Fighter game have just been normal characters that playing the charge style makes them better. Yeah, I know, right? All you need is a large umbrella and a panda slave. We can have a Doughboy slave. Panda? No, it's a dog. We can have a Doughboy slave. Yeah, it's Sadahari. Sadahari! Fuck you, Shota. I never got Oberon, only three Morgans. Hey, at least you have three Morgans. Alright, I'm gonna fight you. Yeah. I'm gonna fight this child. They don't let you fight kids, so therefore she's 18, chat. Yeah. Uh, nice and breedable. Oh, you can actually make out what's on her laptop on the on this version of the game. Okay, she's level 12. She might beat her ass. No, she'll fucking stomp you into the ground. <laughs> Let's hold off her right now. Levels only matter when enemies are a higher level than you. I got two Morgans in my GSSR role. I just want fucking uh, Merlin. I don't need him, but I want Merlin. And I've gotten fucked on every, everything. Every time he's come back, every GSSR banner, fucking goddamn. Listen, lady, I don't give a shit about your fighting style. I just want your clothes. Yeah, she's 18, bitter ass. Yeah. Okay, DSP. <laughs> uh, Soul Calibur 7 would be cool. Yeah. I'm gonna fight this small Chinese child. No, it's I'm it's I'm not about to fuck with this small Chinese child. Yeah. You consider switching to a good character like Blanca is Jolly Green Giant. Blanca also sucks. I don't like playing a like at least in the other Street Fighter games, I could play a character and I'm like, wow, this isn't for me. But it, it I felt okay playing them. When you pick up a character that you don't like in this game, it just feels bad. Yeah. It just feels like whoever made the character didn't know what the fuck they were doing. And I'm sure it's on a person-by-person -person basis, but I've never had that that problem with another fighting game, right? Like, the only characters I have, I've, I've had that with before have been trap characters, and even then, there's like a, two or three trap characters that I know I've liked playing. Fucking, picking up a character that I don't like in this is just cancer. It's just awful. I've played... I played like 600 matches using Luke's fighting style because I, I, I ain't fucking with no one else. Yeah. Luke, Ryu, Ken. The basic I, bitches. I'll, I'll dabble with some other people. And even even then, fucking playing Ryu feels like he's a neutered version of Ryu from every other stri uh, Street Fighter game. Yeah. Yeah, they fucked up Ryu. How do you fuck up Ryu? They fucked up Ryu. Yuri's okay. Yuri's fun. Kami's fun. DSP will outlive this channel, I'm afraid. Many such cases. I mean, more than likely, dude survives fucking everything else. Classic fighting game player scared of a child fighting back, yeah? So do I, do I need to inject anything to my side, to my thighs to use Chun-Li's moveset? Yeah. Jeez, show the 600 matches do you actually work? Okay, uh, when I say 600 matches, I don't mean 600 online matches. I mean 600 matches in the fucking story mode. Yeah. So can I get her clothes now? That's literally all. I, that's been. That's my goal. Someone said you could, and they said it's really hard. So you're probably not capable of it. Yeah, you can do that. And I, thought, I thought he was talking about like dying, like dying clothes. Oh yeah, I mean yeah, you can't die them. That's super easy to die clothes. Ryu has been perfected since Street Fighter 2. How can they fuck them up? He feels limited. Uh, June bug for two dollars. I finally Valor Benedicta. Oh, perfected. Yeah. Benedicta was the easiest one to perfect. I'm sorry. Start playing uh, Idol, Man uh, Idol Manager. If people saw my song names, I'd be on a watch list and I named the rival Big Titty Milf. Many such cases. The only solution is to rip the clothes off or do it. Yeah. Well, How's Guile in this game? I, Bro, the way they did charge characters, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Oh, God. I hate Ryu's stupid not to doke Yeah. Imagine walking the streets and getting attacked by a dude with a box for his head. Yeah. Uh... I, I do like that Ryu has that little power where you, uh, you it's down down punch, but you can it, what it does is it powers up your hado, and I like I like that I thought that was cool. Damn you showed you damn red skin, everyone else just has some like dumb fucking some random attack that fucks you over. 
That's the problem. White woman assaults Chinese man. Many such cases. Stop Asian hate. Stop Asian hate. Hey, there's a, there's a Yang Tao motherfucker right there. Whoop his ass. Beat him in front of his daughter. Oh. Respect redheads. Yeah. I had a monkey based band in Idol Master, ran out of different variations of monkey business and going bananas. <laughs> Many such cases, chat. They released two albums, and then the producer came out and said, I forgot how to make monkey puns. We have to go out of business. Uh, so, so as I understand it, um, every, every character has their thing where it's like, uh, I think it's every match you play with a character style in, in story mode gives you, like, one kudos. One single kudos okay. for a character. And by the time I finished story mode, I had, like, 600 fucking kudos from okay. Luke. And, like, I'm, like, crying in my hands, and I was like, oh, God. All right. She beat Shia LaBeouf. Amen, brother. Make Le uh, Lee Finn playable already. Also, uh, fight the child, you cowards. Uh, Lee, Lee Finn literally just has um, fucking. I was gonna say, yeah, you can see all the all the outfits that I yeah, have for like, everyone else. Yeah, it's like So the ones where the ones that don't have their outfits are characters I still need to max out. Yeah. Everyone else, everyone else, I've got them. All right. Cause let me see here. Cause I I am just googling how to get the clothes as fast as possible. We we gotta do this. No, uh, these aren't uh, for avatars, by the way. Yeah. Stop Asian hate motherfuckers got got real quiet when people realized who was committing the hate crimes. Exactly, Chad. All right. White men in their thirties who beat women on a regular basis are those are the ones that that are that are white, beating the Asians in the streets. White men in their thirties who shit up every single Popeye's bathroom they can get their hands on. They will fire out ass blasting rage. I I promise you when I when I turn thirty the day I turn thirty. All right, I'm gonna start acting like a ratchet fucking white girl from the hood. All right, I'm gonna fucking press my ass cheeks against bathroom walls. I'm gonna write messages with my shit. All right, chat. I swear to God, I'm gonna be the world's biggest nightmare. You know, hashtag gaslight girl boss. Shit up the bathroom. Shit up the bathroom. All right. Uh, I never really get into fighting games outside of DBZ Budokai. Is this game a good starting point? It might be a good starting point. I don't enjoy this as a fighting game. I think it's too too simple. It really is. Um, Lolly hasn't gained access to it. Parry, parry is a dedicated button. It what? functions as a block button. Um, it, it literally functions as a block button. It, it refills it refills your, your stamina meter. And then, excuse me, um, perfect parries are like normal, like what a parry was before. Um... But like yeah, the the back forth, uh, the back forth, you know, away towards oh. at, like in timing with your opponent's moves is no longer no longer parry. That's fucking weird. It is. It it is. It is. All right. I'm still trying to figure out where where the hell we even are. Okay. Showed it to showed it to Stamper Pipeline Foreshadow. Chat isn't Stamper a pedophile? Chat. I know he's a drunk. <laughs> you can't do this to me. I think Armiko and Yamato Yamato fuck. I fucking slam Armika's ass cheeks, so I know she fucks. You're already a living nightmare. Yeah, yeah that's right. Why he say ass like that? Ass. ass. I did like Did I tell you the new Cyberfrog was pretty good? All right. All I right. think you. I think you've said that before. Yeah. No, he's just a messed up druggie. Ah. I mean, it's not impossible. He's a drunk. Oh fuck. <laughs> Kick their ass! Use the Chun Li kicks to hit enemies. Do it. This fucking redneck Yakuza combat. They just turned every. They turned uh, the fucking basic, uh, basic mechanic of the game into a uh, just straight up. Uh, uh, Fatal Fury. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Do it. Also, uh. yes, the, the Mad Mad Gear is still around. They are still a game. Uh. There we go. And then just come out of nowhere and punch you in the uterus? What would happen if the Lightbringer saw Mark from Invincible getting Baduga? Are you talking about when he gets raped? He might be talking about when Mark gets raped. Because if that's the case, you know exactly what Linkara would do. Yeah, yeah. He'd, he'd run away. Don't fight me yet! I don't have my drip! 
Chat, chat, here's the real question. Do you think if another... I can fight a fucking claim yeah, robot? Yeah, fight it. Go fucking hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Don't let it hit you. Don't let it... <laughs> you're good. I'm sorry. The fuck okay. is this thing? I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah. Yeah. The hell is this thing? It's a fucking Roomba. Don't let it get angry. When it gets angry, it'll beat your shit. Run away, like always. You're, the, you're in the ghetto part of Metro City. The, all of Metro City is the ghetto. Yeah, open it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Open it up. There we go. Yeah, you got an energy drink. You can heal now. We don't really need it. If Mad Gear's a thing, is there a chance we steal Abigail again? Uh, look at the sign right here that's changing. No, no, no. Turn around. Yeah. This one? Keep looking at that for a second. Um, we'll see Abigail here. That is not that is not Andre the Giant. All right, that is lie. That is a creative character. There he is. There's Abigail. Uh, are you excited for Godzilla minus one? I think it would be cool. Uh, I like the trailer. Oh yeah. Uh, so a plot synopsis leaked for it, and it's really fucking weird because the plot synopsis is like uh, Japan still reeling from reeling from the war uh, is attacked by God, by Godzilla and they must adapt. And is your is your first thought the same thing that mine was? And I, I went, wait, what fucking war? Yeah, it's like what war? Like World War Two? I was like. Are we going back to World War II? Is this ancient spirit of our fucking evil ancestors, fucking Godzilla? It might be evil. It might be evil spirits. Yeah, you see the Wonka trailer? I've seen parts of it. I don't. <laughs> Guys, Wonka didn't need a prequel. It really didn't. Like <laughs> Willy Wonka didn't need a prequel. The minute I heard the the idea, it was like, oh, they're gonna give like a backstory to Willy Wonka. It's like that sounds fucking stupid. Yeah. Marshmallow Steelers, bro, is that Makima? No. It's not Makima. It's not Makima. That's why I'm trying to get the fucking outfit, but it might not yeah. let us have it. Yeah, oh no, yeah, no. You like, like I said, I, I beat the game and I found a lot of stuff. I did not see a Chun Li outfit. No leotard. <laughs> can you buy a military military style jacket? You can once you get to um, Guile. He can. Yeah. Godzilla minus one, so it could be Godzilla getting smacked by radiation and becoming Godzilla. Mm -hmm. No, no. Uh. Ronald McDonald looking ass. <laughs> Everyone's so mean to me. Clap, 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 clap. <laughs> Wonka looks absolutely, absolutely embarrassing. Yeah. yeah. The book was about Charlie. The book was about Charlie. Yeah, you're not supposed to know who Wonka is. He's just the eccentric candy man. Yeah. So as we have to maximize our friendship with Chun-Li, we might just have to bite the bullet. I, I maximized my friendship with her and I didn't get it. Um... Also, it, it takes hours upon hours, so we can't do that in the stream. Yeah. Um, yeah, you walk up, walk, you go up there, uh, or go back to where you climbed that ladder before. Not yeah. That one. Yeah. Yeah, or up here. Yeah. I know where I'm supposed to go. I was looking around at other stuff, because yeah. uh, there's another shop that's uh, over here, and I was trying to get to that, uh, but it looks like police. You don't have access to it yet, yeah. Yeah, police cordon that off. Because uh, I, think, I think that's super fucking weird. That, you know, like, the, the amount of outfits it's giving us is like office clothes. Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't want to be a regular person doing Street Fighter stuff. Mm -hmm. The whole point is eccentric outfits. Uh, Yoshi P really thought he could steal the, uh, steal the twist from Tales of Vesperia for Final Fantasy 16 and get away with it. Many such cases, chat. Yeah. Uh, Godzilla Minus One looks pretty good. I'm assuming World War II, the city didn't look uh, modern, I think. Yeah, could be. I mean, all I saw was fucking rubble. Mm. Gave Chun Li a dump truck ass. You remember when they nerfed her jiggle physics? Uh, June bug for dollar. This city is what happens when you take away the guns and the niggers. Have you not looked on the streets? You just reminded me of the removed Family Guy skit where Charlie has to blow Willy Wonka. Yeah. I always felt Willy Wonka was missing a black female sidekick who was the real reason he became successful. I, I you know what? I think you're right. I want more racial stereotypes in my street fighter. Kimberly has every racial stereotype you could ever want. Pink, 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 uh, pink. Uh. pink. Uh, if you just press triangle four times, that's that's his that's his uh, Luke's unique combo. Yeah. Thank you. Don't you have to hold down like R two or L two? Yeah, there you no, go. no, you just you just press it. Oh, okay. That, that's his. That's just his built-in like baked combo. Okay. Uh, General Stoke for five dollars. Uh, just a reminder. Just a friendly reminder. This video essay on what capitalism bad is brought to you by Rage, Rage Shadow, Shadow Legends. Get out of my head! Chat. Did you know that Rage Shadow Legends developer is is uh, based in Israel? Yeah. Israeli game. We were getting a, we were getting America's money back with that fucking advertisement chat. Mm -hmm. uh, street uh, and street it's Street Fighter. Everyone's a racial stereotype, though. 
Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Except for they downplay everyone else's uh, racial stereotypes. Ugh. E. Honda offended Japanese humor wrestlers for God's sakes. I don't think he did. I, I don't think he did. There I think I know the video that you're talking about, and I'm pretty sure that, that video is clickbait because it gets dunked on a lot. Uh, genuine question, how the fuck did YouTube not get nuked for, uh, not nuked you for saying nigger and faggot? Are you somebody shovel glee in Google? No, nah, it's, whenever there's like the million to one case, these streams get monetized, you know, they, they copyright bots and ignore shit or something like that, uh, they get demonetized. Yeah. They detect the words you say. What racial stereotype is Ken? He's a rich white boy. Literally. Yeah, literally. The fact he's as healthy as he is is honestly a miracle. Oh, I am ashamed. Yeah, yeah, bitch. Why don't you fucking come in here with that fake shit? I'll kill you. Ugh. Uh, Junebug for a dollar, you didn't read and trains the niggers. And trains? You didn't put and trains. And trains. Because it doesn't make any fucking sense. You goddamn idiot. Dude. You're gonna fucking be racist, make it make sense, you stupid fuck. You, you screwed You're it up. You screwed up You're your bit. Useless. You screwed up your bit, stinky. I fucking- I can't fucking wait until your wife is getting fucked by some fucking big black bull. You fucking deserve it, you piece of shit. You failed. You failed. Phone- phone company. Sorry, we need to send a verification to your phone number directly. <laughs> Which is worse, Metro City or Night City? Metro City, people Metro City fucking bad! Metro City at least seems like people are having fun. Yeah. Night City, you're not having fun. Okay. <laughs> Pharaoh, please let my people go. Not without a duel, Moses. God tries to send down the plagues, and Pharaoh just activates the trap card. It, it's wall of revealing yeah. light. <laughs> that gives me three years without your plagues, God. I now put blue eyes, white dragon <laughs> to attack position. Dark magician, sacrifice the virgin. Since the writer strike is still uh, still going on, I'm thinking about pitching my script to Hollywood. It's 007, but instead of uh, his name being James Bond, it's Nick Gurr. Uh, my name is Gurr. Nick. Nick Gurr. I think it, yeah, I think it could take off, Jack. Yeah. I can't wait to, to you know, uh, pitch my script to Hollywood, and it just says, fuck you, 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 for like 20 pages straight. Yeah. So racism is, is the worst because no one is laughing. Yeah. You gotta make funny racism, chat. It has to be funny. All right, no one likes non-funny racism. That's just racist. Junebug for dollar. I might never have or get a wife. Show, can you uh, make a gaming channel or something? I'll fuck you in your fucking ass. I knew an Asian frat bro with a brother named Blue Balls White Dragon. <laughs> Many such cases. I think I, I think I knew a guy with that tattooed on his like left thigh. <laughs> Blue Balls White Dragon. Blue Balls White Dragon. How the dragon. fuck do you explain that to people? Like... Like, do you just own it, or... Because, I mean, past a certain point, you you are not able to own it. People will just look at you regardless. The fuck, yeah, you own it. I think I care what other people think. Would my name be Blue Balls White Dragon if I cared what people fucking thought? So, Lolly, have you tried the Chaos Dwarfs yet? I'm banning them. I'm uh, talking about 40k again, I'm banning them. I have not played enough Warhammer 3 yet. Yeah. Because they, they nerfed my vampires, I got really mad, and then I threw a tantrum, and I deleted the game, and I set my computer on fire. Uh, since the combat and world are kind of underwhelming, do you think the dev time for 16 went to just the cutscenes and icon fights? Starting to think they lied about uh, not uh, not being in dev hell. I'm pretty sure it was in dev hell. Yeah. All Final Fantasy games are in dev hell. Yeah, every uh, single Final Fantasy game at some point enters dev hell. Yeah. There's no choice. Yeah, uh, budget 100% went towards the icon fights and stuff. Uh, yeah. I don't I don't think they're the like world is under like underdeveloped or anything. I think it's developed exactly as much as every other Final Fantasy is. Yeah. And people are just, like, complaining because, I mean, it's a, it's a triple-A game. People, people, even if it was, like, uh, spotless, people would love to complain about it. Uh, Jim Buck for Dollar, I can't be racist. I'm Blacksican. That's the most the racist you could ever stupid be. fuck. You could be the most racist like that, though. My Sharon gun is broken. My Sharon gun broke. Oh, God, he's making fucking Naruto jokes now. He does not even go... I don't even think he's reading Naruto anymore. Uh, should I try to do a backflip? No, uh, never tried one before. You should. You should land on your neck. It's fantasy, not 40k. You fucking ape. It's the same thing. This is. It's made by the same terrible people, and you should feel bad for liking. It. At least fantasy is more fun. Yeah. Uh, 16 is miles better than the 7 remake. Both games are about 90 gigabytes, but at least 16 is a is a complete game and it's fun to play. Yeah. Uh, 
I did not like I didn't like seven very much and it wasn't fun to play at all. I really want to change the outfit. I really don't like the start outfit. Yeah. Uh you got you need monies for that. The faster you go through the story, the more stuff you get access to. Well, uh, I mean it's like, you know, not just story wise, like I also just wanna have more options. I don't want to just wear like fucking office clothes. Yeah. Interact with the, the systems the game has presented you with. Uh, this is the bomb thing. You can talk yeah. to one of them and get the message. Alright, we can talk to the guy on the left and get the message. Yeah, this guy. Sorry, this way's off limits. Nah, it's probably just a prank. Oh yeah, bomb threats, pranks from Yeah. Fantasy is just a more consistent setting since it's dead compared to forty K. Yeah. They don't have enough chances to ruin it. Even though Age of Sigmar does exist. Uh, I have the Schrodinger's in the word pass, yeah. Can we be racist when we love our tomboy, Dami no. Tommy, uh, Chun-Li? She's not even really a tomboy. Not really. She's just she's just Chun-Li. Yeah. I'm going to prank the White House chat. All right, all right chat. All, all, all right. So on, on a scale of, of never before seen and, oh, my God, that's a racial stereotype, where do you rank... Uh, Ma uh, Mary Sue black girl who loves 80s hip hop uh, who likes street art who wants to be a pop star and a ninja uh, let's see fucking what's some more stuff we got got going on there super uh, genius who's, who's a super genius uh, and whose who's smoke grenades are modified spray paint cans where, where do you rank, where do you rank that on that chart uh, I need to know chat for, for science hmm Fact, this is it. It makes me sad. Yeah. Uh, the different different places across the world. Whenever you get to the world map. Yeah, uh, I assume every, they'll have different stuff. Yeah, every every shop has different stuff. Okay. Uh, a ten, a ten. You think that's a ten? All right. So Kimberly, Kimberly is is a disgusting racial stereotype. Is that what I, is that what I'm getting? That's pretty fucking racist, my guy. Is she breedable? In in the ninja outfit, I would raw dog it. Chat, can I get an age check? Uh, in the in the ninja outfit, I would I would raw dog Kimberly. That does not make her less of a stereotype. Damn it. Okay. So here, uh, you know, yeah, here. Kim Kimberly, Kimberly is a ninja. She's a ninja star, actually. We need materials to make dye. Fuck that. Yeah, you go and you go and get in fights and then uh, get dye. Okay. I I will reiterate. Uh, get to the game. Yeah, we are going. We are getting to the game. She's physically 19, but mentally 16. Okay, thank God. So, wait until nightfall. She's 16! Alright, well then I would raw dog the fuck out of her. Thank you very much. 8.5 out of 10, but she needs to like chicken for it to be even more horrifically racist. I don't know if they still give you your, your, uh, your, like, their favorite foods thing. Uh, Jumar Pradal, what's the highest damage you did you reach in FF16? You two, mine is low, two hundred thousand. Yes, who's the character that your character is based mm -hmm. off of? Uh, highest damage. I think my highest damage was like three hundred thousand or something like that. I got to about one hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, I'm still kind of early not, in optimizing. Yeah, not shit, counting, so. not, not counting, but not counting uh, Ifrit mode. Yeah, uh, Icon fights they they <laughs> jump by, everything up. Anyway. By the time you get to by the time you get to the end of the game, your Ifrit fight damage is like you're you're breaking like fucking five million. Yeah, yeah. Also, the character it's based off of is Kagura from Gintama. Mm -hmm. That's why I wanted the Chun Li outfit because then dress her in the China style to where that is what Kagura wears. Yeah. I'm going to recommend you Mash X. Okay. You'll know what I'm talking about when it shows up, but I'm going to recommend you Mash X. Extreme foot tuber? There's no way we're the only people that made that joke. Foot tuber? Well, you're going to be explaining what your character is this entire stream. Yeah, I know. Not enough people watch Gintama. He's the needy fan. Oh, God. He's the needy fan. Can I hurt him? Mm hmm What ninja outfit for Kimberly? Uh, her... I'm pretty sure it's her main outfit, actually, is her ninja outfit. Okay, God of God, Tama. Katsura is the best, though. <laughs> so, Fantasy VI is good as they say. It's, it's, it's probably my favorite, if not outright my favorite. I didn't watch Gintama enough to watch, to watch the whole thing. You can just read it. Yeah. You can also, yeah, just read it. And reading it actually gives you kind of a, like, I don't want to necessarily say better experience because it's just different, but you can get it's to a it more faster. It's a more streamlined experience. You miss some of the jokes that the anime has, but, like, yeah. 
But, you know, if, if you just want to get past it, because it's weird where, like, 95% of it is just a gag manga, where it is just, what joke can we come up with this week? And then it actually dips into arcs and, like, people can die. And that's where that's where you can start paying attention, but that's, like, 200 chapters in. So it's, like, kind of a weird transformation. Dude. I, I, I think you got this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know there might be 10 people whooping your ass right now, uh, but I think you got this. Uh, what's your favorite mecha, uh, mecha aesthetic? Uh, probably Big O. Big O is pretty fucking cool. Big O is like peak. Like I like yeah. I, I like the weird mix of goth, like gothic yeah. mecha. It's pretty cool. Gothic industrial revolution mecha. It's like yeah. that's really fucking cool. Uh, I like my classic Gundams. You know, they, they look slick. Mm -hmm. Vodums has some cool ones. Yeah. Uh, Jim Buck for a dollar. Showed, I think you should make a gaming channel. Uh, uh, also, I don't know what Fuga was, if not for you. P.S. Lolly and Shoda, what are your thoughts on Tower of God and how far are you in the Manwa? I've not started Tower of God yet. Uh, I don't read Manwa. It, it's mainly due to the cuck thing, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, it's weird. It's weird with 16 since Xenoblade 2 and 3 seem to have balanced resources between store, world, and combat uh, pretty well. Uh, Jesus, fuck. Uh, ta uh, tab, target, combat. It just seems to be a deliberate design choice. Yeah. Yeah. And Tom can get serious and sad. Any of Kentucky's past is sad. Oh, yeah. It right. gets exceptionally sad. Uh, thoughts on the Brave series of Super Robots? Uh, you talking about Super Robot Wars? What fuck you talking about? Cuck my life to pieces. Tower of Netterar. Yeah. I, I don't care if the I don't care if the if the Manwa has Netterar in it. It's been tainted by the entire industry. Ugh. Big O with some oak goat art deco shit. Oh, absolutely. Like, like... Big O is fantastic, and, it, and it's nice. It, it has a nice ending. You know? Yeah. It's nice and short. You, it's not going to take you three weeks to get through. Uh, uh. Get shit on, fucking loser. Why, why you out here? Why you out here fucking copying Zangief and shit, loser? Oh, Brave Series Sunrise, not Transformers. Come on. Come on, pussy. Come on, pussy. Walk, in, walk into my foot, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Would you introduce Drexel to your wife? I don't know who that is. Isn't that Rakeda's friend? Uh, I don't know. There you go. What about Kinzen Robo, uh, Daimelder? No. Uh, why ninja? Yeah, yeah, that's her, that's her ninja outfit, yep. That's her ninja outfit. <laughs> and it just posted a picture of Ninja Kinzen. Did you just steal some lady's purse? Uh... No. Found them. Yeah. Watch out. He just stole some lady's purse. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> no, shut up. He's a big cool guy. You meet one guy, talk to him for three minutes, and your character has pack bonded for life. Like I'm not joking. That's what this is. The dude showed up, tried to tried to sucker punch you. You went and had pizza, and now you're friends for life. And the guys the guys pulling the fucking Sasuke. Leave me the fuck alone, you fucking idiot. And you're like, no, I want to have your babies right now. <laughs> Leave me alone. You don't understand my past. You stole that lady's purse, you dick. Tower of conviction. Tower of convictions, but in the Tower of God. I agree. Netherar is a major spoiler from Tower of God. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's how a real friendship starts. You don't even eat real pizza together. You eat fucking green pizza, according to the game. He ate green pizza. I had pepperoni. Alien Neff for five dollars. Berserk's a queer polyamorous love story. Changed my mind. Yeah, I saw that video. I uh, say these these characters are um are actually coded to be what they're not. Tell me you never seen Gal Geiger, chat member, please. Not not here right now. Not now. We, we did it. We can do this when we get back home, chat. Please. Just... Heard of the movie Robo Geisha? I, I'd highly recommend it. No, that sounds like a porno chat. Drex had sex with his friend's friend's daughter when she turned 18, even though knowing her since she was 13. Oh my that's god, weird. that's weird, chat. That's weird, and it's like that's one of those like, dude, you have to accept you can never be friends with those people again. Yeah, they will beat the shit out of you. <laughs> like to his credit. He, he waited till she was 18, but, like, they have every right in the world to beat the shit out of you. Oh, yeah. You got going on with him. Is that the lady whose purse he stole? <laughs> yeah. Man, whatever. Like this, right? Right? 
right? This is something no. very valuable that belongs to us. He just yeah. stole it. So you're gonna tell your buddy to bring it back. Gonna bring it back safe and sound. sound, right? I don't know who the you fuck know, you are. Fight me. Work. Right now, fight me. I'll kick your fucking ass. I'll make you eat your teeth. I want her to crush me. Dude knew her when she was a kid. Yeah. That's very weird. Yeah. That's one of those of like, man, that is like, ugh, that's sleazy. Gilgamesh's greatest, uh, greatest ally from a fight. It's a trope as old as, as the story itself. Yeah, but like, Gilgamesh gets along with him for a bit. Uh, who cares? Their daughter made her choice. Don't like it. Maybe don't uh, teach your daughter not to have flings. I don't know, man. That's yeah. That's, no, that's called grooming. That's territory of like, nah. You you fully expect an ass beating. Yeah. Like it, it doesn't matter your excuse. You're gonna get your fucking dick shoved in your ass. Yeah. No, you see, uh, I was only I was only teaching her about sex whenever she was 13. Uh, you see, it is actually you who should be protecting your daughter from me. It's your fault. <laughs> So I don't know what uh, uh, they will magnetize to your ass. Um, I don't know what ones do it because I didn't really pay attention. But the side missions will unlock different parts of the world uh, to train with certain characters. Okay. Because I made it through a majority of the of the of the game and like wasn't able to train with like anybody. Get the fuck away from me! Yeah. Do it. Sounds like hardcore child predator territory. De definitely doesn't sound good. Yeah. I say, I mean, it's one of those of like, man, all it takes is one bad day. Yeah. There we go. One bad day or one fucking leak DM. Yeah. Yay. Uh, you do have a fast travel point. We do. Uh, you. Oh yeah. Also, fucking side missions have a lot more fast travel points. So I spent the entire game like with the the bare minimum fast travel. Yeah, let's actually try to do some some of the side missions. Most of them are like go here, talk to this person, fight this person. Some yeah. of them are just give me money. Oh, Those are my God. favorites. Okay, we got a dying agent. That's pretty mm -hmm, good. Mm -hmm. Uh, I broke their shit. Yeah. You shit losers. How much milk money are the are the people worth? Uh, uh, what does that mean? It's not grooming if you're not in her life personally. It was a friend's daughter. It, uh, it's not pedophilia if you didn't know them uh, personally, actually. Ooh. I fucking hate the attack drums. Yeah, at this point, it's like, what fucking genre are they trying this? Uh, this is just like beat em up. Yeah, like, it's like whenever a you fight people, it's beat em up with like fighting game character controls, like, full robust movesets that you can't use on, on the majority of the enemies you face. Yeah, not much point to. Donovan, Donovan approved, yeah. Like I said, to the guy's credit, he waited till she was 18, but the fact is, you fucked your friend's daughter yeah. as soon as she turned 18. Uh, I don't, you know what, I don't, I don't think you're friends. Yeah, it's like, you, you cannot be friends anymore. Just saying, spending a significant amount of private time with a minor who isn't family related is highly suspicious. Yeah, does not come off good. All right. Hey, it's that one guy. He's from he's from for the, the fighting games. Isn't it scary walking around at night? Yeah. I think it's time for you to learn how to play uh, play the game, sir. Hiya. Yeah. <laughs> Win without taking damage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you don't take chip damage from blocks, if I remember correctly, so okay. as long as you block, you're good. Ollie! <laughs> I looked down! Oh. It's my fault for checking chat. My fault, chat's not important. The guy who bagged another guy's daughter sounds like he was spawn camping. Oof. Uh, the Sparrows will Z for a dollar. Uh, imagine paying Square Enix money to play their old games, speaking of which, uh, play PSP version of FF4, I hear the DS version is much better. Is this true? I never played the DS version. I haven't played any it? Final Fantasy before 6. No, what was it? He played the PSP version of FF4, and he wants to know if uh, DS version is better. Uh, not, not usually. Uh, I don't like the art style change, actually. I can tell you that much. I don't like the art style change of the DS version. Uh, Junebug for a dollar. There are a lot of Manwa that doesn't have NTR, like Rooftop Swordmaster and the Boxer. <laughs> I don't like Hardcore Leveling Warrior have NTR in it. Can you name me five Monwa that have NTR? Can you name me five that don't? Alright. Distraction, 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 distraction. 
All right, so what is the block button in this? Just hold back. Okay, so it is hold back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the parry button is a uh, hold down L2, but you don't have access to the parry yet. Yeah. Bink, 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 bink. There we go. Say, for, for the most part, most of his uh, attacks have like a lot of wind up, so. Yeah. So you can get in, chip, and then get out. You only take chip when you're burned out? Okay. I, I usually not burned out, so I didn't know. Who banged whose daughter? Apparently, apparently it was like uh, one of one of Arcade's friends banged a friend of a friend's daughter. That's how it was put in chat. Yeah. Well, not all on will have Netterar. Uh, not all Mon will have Netterar. Only ninety percent, ninety-five percent of them have have Netterar. I've done the math. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah, it wasn't a pedo. Apparently, just bagged friend's daughter since she turned eighteen. Yeah. Yeah. Estates, lazy behavior, but like. Technically legal. Yeah, in terms of the larger landscape, it's like, holy fuck, it's actually kind of sad how nonchalant that story is. It's really used to this level of retardation, but listening to uh, Smud arguing with an unironic Griffith did nothing wrong. Has uh, has had my ass laughing so hard at the sheer level of cope required for that conclusion. Uh, no, but he didn't do nothing wrong, though. Friend of a friend's daughter, that's just sketchy as fuck, even if legal is still a borderline criminal. Oh, yeah. It's the same thing as, like, as like uh, after the birthday dinner, you bang the birthday girl. Yeah. As stated, he is covered. You know, it was consensual, but it's like, man, you, you're but not friends. But he's covered on the other side of the planet? That's what I thought. Sick fuck. Well, it, it, it just comes down to, like, yeah, you're not friends. Oh, yeah, not at all. No, just a friend's daughter. Okay. Solo leveling, the Boxer Mosquitoes War, uh, Boston School, Rooftop Swordmaster, Ash and Eggs. <laughs> There's six Monwa. But I know I know for a fact all of them all have of them, Netterar. All of them have Netterar. I was literally one hit away. It'd be like that. The the one where you have to just block for like 10 and 20 seconds, it was annoying. Just annoying. Yeah, legality's relevant. If you bang my daughter, I will beat your ass. Mm -hmm. Exactly, that's, that's what it falls into. It's like... Like, there, there's no choice Especially about it. Especially when you get, like, 20 years on it. Yeah. There, there's no choice about it. Like, they have the right to beat your ass. They should. Bing, 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 bing. Oh. Damn it. Yeah, Joel, greedy. Joel Havers, uh, Joker's most devious plan yet video. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, yeah. friend's 18-year-old daughter. Oh, yeah. did you think he actually banged his daughter? No. Uh -huh. At that point, like, no, that, that, no. Yeah. Someone in chat said a friend of a friend's daughter, well. and then they corrected themselves and said just a friend's daughter. Okay. So is Netterar. Dang, so many people were hyped for that. They shouldn't be. <laughs> yeah. Everything has Netterar until proven otherwise. Yeah. I get greedy because I'm like, I just want this fucking thing over with. Just grab him. Yeah. Your own daughter is a special place in hell for that. Oh, absolutely. You know there's a story in the Bible about that, right? Yeah. My man. I went for a grab. They do be speaking uh -huh. facts. <laughs> Netterar is a thinking man's fetish. Yeah, you're thinking about how your wife can kid it off with anyone except for you. Yeah, father should be allowed to kick anyone's ass who tries to groom, your, groom their daughter, even if she's not a minor, yeah? Well, you know, there, there is there is a line of it. It was like, when, when she hits her 20s, that's it. Yeah, she's yeah. on her own. She's on her fucking own, man. She's on her own. But, uh, Holy place! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Point is, like, that that was right as she turned 18. It's like, that's sleazy. That's yeah. sleazy. 18 means you're getting charged as an adult, right. yeah? Grab loops might work. The thing is, like, I, I get an, loops would work 100%. I get annoyed with this shit, and it's like, I, I want it over with. Because I almost got them the, the last time. Like, I, you just gotta get them into that pattern where you just chip them away, and it's like, I don't want to chip away. I just want, I just want this fucking training over with. I don't read Netherrealm says everything has it until it's proven otherwise. Refuses to read it to prove that it doesn't have it. Fuck Monway, I guess. Yeah, fuck Korea. They deserve it. You're supposed to insert yourself as the cucker? I don't want to, though. It makes me feel bad. The, the fact that people have to come in and play play fucking uh, defense for yeah. a goddamn fetish is funny as fuck to me. 
It's like, no, but you insert yourself as the guy cucking the guys. Like, why would I do that? I, didn't, I, don't ha I don't got no problems with this guy. I don't got no problems with him. What'd he do to me? What's his story? What's his story? Is he a good guy? Is he just trying to feed his kids? You know, why am I... I held back. Yeah, that was a, that was okay. a low. Oh, fucker. Come on, you play fighting games. You know how they work. I know, just... Uh, I hate this motherfucker so much. You're really gonna hate the chick. Probably will. You're either, you're either the cuck or the scumbag cucker. Neither are fine. Both your girlfriend has to be uh, something special if even the people that hate it keep reading it. I don't even think the people that hate it do read it. I, I don't. No, they they wait for the leaks. Yeah. It's like the people talking about Oshiko, uh, Oshinoko now. They're not reading it anymore. They're reading the leaks. Yeah. Pink. There you go. There you go. Oh, oh god, he's jumping! He's learning! The worst part is you don't have a fucking hotto to throw out. Yeah. You, <laughs> like he does. Another girlfriend's very popular in, in Korea. Oh. Self insert is, is stupid. Uh, the self insert stuff is cope. Bulls don't watch that. <laughs> CPU health is very tedious, but it makes the grind uh, worth it. Yeah. Yeah. At least two levels higher than you. Yeah. Better be fucking worth it. I want to know what he actually give me for this shit, and not uh, just tutorial. See, I don't think he gives you anything. These guys are uh, t these guys are tutorial. I mean, they give you money, I'm sure. Nice argument, kid. But did you see? I have inserted myself as the cucker and you as the cucked. Damn, that's crazy, bro. That's fucking crazy, bro. Nedoroar is just a kink for terrible and pathetic people. Yeah? <laughs> there we go. I read the boxer and the MC is literally too much of a depressed autistic retard and unstoppable boxing fairy so you even think about fucking anything. <laughs> Many such cases, Chad. Isn't that just Ricky though? Yeah. Uh, Eddie Andreas for $10. Uh, Shogun Kayo, what's your favorite Bond movie? Mm. I really like Goldfinger, really like From Russia With Love. It's probably Skyfall though, all around. Ah! Skyfall is awesome. There we go. Uh. Bing, 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 bing. Oh. Bulls only watch vanilla hand holding a fake stroke. In many such cases. There you go. Come on, Kagura. One, two, three, four. Drop that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? what? Uh. Never heavy. Never heavy. <laughs> he read you like a fucking book. Austin Powers. Skyfall is such a good song. It really did. Skyfall never stops being played on the radio. It is cancer. To this day. It is cancer. Tell Lolly that Mudahar is a fucking hypocrite that doesn't deserve his fan base. Many such cases, Chad. No, I mean, we, we talked about it earlier. Like, we, we talked about it. The the whole thing of, like, people dug in the fact he was watching cartel executions, and then he tried to he tried to be like, no, I only watch that because of morbid curiosity, and I'm interested in the cartel war. And it's like, you're watching actual fucking people die. Right. I, I, don't, I don't know what cartel beheading videos have. To, I was going to say, that's a, that's a thing on the floor. Uh, yeah. I don't know what watching uh, cartel beheading videos has to do with the cartel war. You're just yeah. watching someone die. Yeah, because, I mean... Did you know... Did, <laughs> did you know the dude they fucking beheaded? Like, what? Yeah, it's like, hey, do you want to... If, if you want to watch stuff about the cartels, there are documentaries about the cartels. Yeah. I fucking, uh... I had the, uh... I was doing the did you know did you know them personally thing and, and my brain went how do how how does the cartel affect you personally? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like no don't say that bad. I love Muda's tech tips. Yeah, that is his field of expertise. Once again, it's what makes the whole like oh I'm gonna insert myself into this dumbass internet argument thing even more painful. It's like literally nobody fucking asked. <laughs> I'm at level 15 fighting CPUs, my level or two more is crazy. It's not fair to hit like a truck. They do hit like a truck. There are dude, dude, uh, there's one point where Yuri has you go fight a level 99 guy. Oh god. Y Yuri like looks you dead in the eye and says, go do it. Ah, bitch. We traded hits, fuck. Am I the only one who didn't watch beheading videos? Jesus. Yeah. I mean, I think everyone's seen people like just die on the yeah. internet. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, gore videos by themselves are not the problem. It's the fact that you follow that up with. And if you like, you know, this completely unrelated shit, you know, the, the lolly shit, you should be investigated and go to prison. It's like... You seek out videos of people killing other people. Like, actual people killing other people. 
Not like not like anime death scenes or anything like that. You like you seek that out and then you think you have any right to hold anything above anyone else? No, buddy. Yeah. No. There we go. Come on. I only watch masturbation porn since it's the least gay. Just wish the dude didn't bone so fucking loud. <laughs> Many such cases, chat. I fucking hate this dude so much. Bringing up live league vids is not impressive. Damn, this ISIS video of a man getting run over by a tank is just for research, bro. Yeah. Just for research, bro. That's the thing, like, people are into morbid shit, you know, people are into Goro, they're, in, they're into, like, really violent series, I mean, it's an accepted thing, it's the fact that, like... I want to see the girl nigga that tries to go, like, oh yeah, but at least my fetish, at least my fetish is, is fine. Yeah, you know, it's like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, 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 I, I jerk off to the to the thought of me putting my, my dick in a dead girl's intestines, but you know, hey, man, you know, at, le at least I'm not like you. Yeah, it's, it's like, like, fuck. It's At least like, I don't like tall girls. Yeah, it's like, are you fucking joking me? It's like Plague Moth grandstanding. Yeah. Yeah, literally. It's like, are you fucking kidding? Like, and people even point that out uh, during the whole, like, Spurg Fest yesterday, where it's like, are you fucking kidding me? It's socially acceptable to watch real violence where people die. Yeah. But, you know, certain types of anime, it's just verboten and you're a bad person. Yeah. The, Chad, like, this isn't even, this isn't even really about porn either, Chad. Well, this was about fucking Blue Archive, the mobile game. Yeah. This was about a fucking gotcha game. Imagine someone, imagine someone like looking at, at uh, Fate, you know, Fate Grand Order on the, on the phone and going, wow, if anyone likes that, they should be arrested. Yeah, and, and, and then, then people are like, damn, bro, it's crazy how you, how you went on record saying that you actively seek out fucking uh, cartel videos of people getting their head chopped off. Why do you think you're better than these people? Yeah, it's like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, really? We're getting, we're, we're, we're getting to this level now. Yeah. My girl fetish is 18 plus and consensual. Thank you very much. That's pretty good. That's pretty good one, chat. That's pretty good. Ugh. What happened with Plague Moth? I mean, the, the guy's always just been him. Yeah, he's like always just kind of been. Yeah. You know, monetizing videos where, once again, people actually die and then trying to be like, well, you know, you're just not very progressive. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? Thought, that's what Blue Archive is. I thought it was some manga <laughs> yeah, or anime. Ho -ho. Yeah, no. It's to mind, uh, Blue Archive is a fucking. Uh, yeah, it's a fucking game. gotcha. This all started because of Blue Archive. Yeah, it all started because someone made like a call out post on a, uh, on on Twitter where they were like, "Hey, Opera GX, you're sponsoring this video," and it was an it was a Blue Archive ranking video, and the yeah. title the title was like ranking the lollies of a uh, Blue Archive, and uh, and fucking yeah. Opera GX did the thing like, "Oh, we we don't even we don't even know what what that is," and it's like you lying bitch. Yeah. But, you know, it's another thing where everyone wants to bitch and moan about, you know, sponsors and ads being pulled out of YouTube, and then they gun after other people for that oh, yeah. shit. It's like, yeah. it's like, no, no, now you've officially given up any right to complain. You have officially given up any right to complain. Fuck you. Yeah. Fun fact, Blue Arch Archive brought down the Korean Games rating board. Oh, yeah. Uh, they brought it down, but they're also being, uh, they're also being um, looked into for something. I don't know what it is, yeah. but they're being looked into for something. Oh. So you can, uh, you can just press... Uh, the direction button twice to dash. It's, well, it's more I effective. think my quarter circle. I don't think I have anything set on the quarter circle forward. Uh, it's not quarter circle forward. It's like, it's forward back forward. Yeah. No, it's forward down forward. That's fucking weird. Yeah. It, if you do a quarter circle forward, it, there's a 50-50 chance of it coming out. So yeah. just do it as it as it instructs. My sponsors, the YouTubers say, is they make witch hunts, not including you, Lolly. Yeah, yeah. No, not including, not including me, though. Yeah. But you know what I mean? It's like, you know, oh, how dare this sponsor get in the way? It's like, fuck off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We just call it a DP input. We to In this house, I say fuck you because that's not a dragon punch input. Fucking bitch. <laughs> so, okay. So do it forward first. Yeah, there, there you go. There we go, okay. Uh, and, fuck. um... Square, triangle, and R1 will all give out different variations. That's crazy. I haven't really played the game since I've got the big titty fox girl. Which game? Which fucking mobile game are you talking about? Every one of them have a big titty fox girl. I think he's talking about Blue Archive. Which big titty fox girl? Uh, I'm better than you because of top class breeding. Uh, uh, Blue Archive. Okay. Wait, if Cammy fucks dog dick, does that mean the M. Bison fucks dogs? Uh, Cammy does not fuck dog dick, thank you very much. She hates dogs. She's afraid of them. Yeah, it's the, uh, clone chick. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's her face? I don't remember her name. Uh, uh, Decap... Decap... Yeah, Decapria. Starts with a D. Starts with a D. Decapria. I think. Well, Camo. No, bad. 
uh, it's mandatory to have Opai Kitsune. Yeah. Hey. Anytime the the, the Opai Fox Girl comes out, that's whenever that's whenever the mobile games top the charts. Damn. Just hold just hold back. It'll it'll work. I was supposed to go forward. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that doesn't break yeah. your your block. I was supposed to go forward, but my hand slipped. Why are you fighting Shaggy, bro? Oh, he's no. a fucking tutorial mission. <laughs> he's not even Shaggy. He's uh he's like he's like one of the fucking knockoff guys from one of the other fucking Hanna Barbera Scooby Doo shows. The one with the buggy. Yeah, we'll go with the one with the buggy. The one that was basically Scooby-Doo, but Scooby was a car. Yeah. Wanna hear something funny? Fucking Quentin Reviews has an obsessive stalker that's tried multiple times to slander him because he turned it down. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. And that is something where it's like, you know what? Quentin legit got fucked. Yeah. He, he did. Because from what I understand, he, he did uphold his end of the bargain. Mm -hmm. Oh, boys. Oh, that. But my hand slipped. Look at this DSP tier slander coming from Lolly's lips. Can't believe it, chat. I mean, it's not the game's fault. My hand slipped. Lolly out, Lolly out here getting jobbed in front of the pizza store. <laughs> yeah. Look, imagine the kid's birthday party going on in there, and they're just watching you get your fucking ass molly whopped by this fucking twink out here, dude. Look at this shit. Daddy, daddy, look at the girl. She's got, she's doing it. She's winning. Oh! <laughs> Fuck. Daddy, she just got stabbed! Go to cops! I hate this dude so much. Anybody arguing morals on the internet immediately makes me think, man, the skeletons in your closet, closet are rattling the door off the hinges if you think you need to make yourself look like an angel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm convinced, like, I am legitimately convinced that, you know, as is known with the, the bigger account people, uh, they tend to repeat opinions over and over again. So I think it's just kind of the new talking I point. Fit in. Yeah, it, it's just kind of the new talking point to, to whine about lolly shit, because... You know, everyone knows, oh, if I headhunt a pedophile, that's like instant clout right there, because no one likes them. So they're they're trying to, like... A, a guy on Twitter put yeah, it best... it's hard to actually hunt pedophiles, yeah. because they well, have to hide. Well, a, a guy on Twitter, like, funny enough, put it best, and he was talking about a lot of the shit where, uh, you know, bringing up the guy who was retweeting child porn, and then, like, yeah. people were, like, faking posts of, like, another dude and making it sound like he was flirting with a 13-year-old, and it came out... No, the guy accusing him was, in fact, flirting with teenagers... And it's like, it, it's like people are so fucking desperate to get people to be pedophiles so then they can yell at them that yeah. they don't even give a shit if you are or not. No, they, they, they know, they, if they know that if they can just make you out to be a pedophile to random people on the internet, those random people will just agree with literally anything that you say. Yeah. Because I, I'm not going to back up a pedophile. Yeah, apparently there was a, a situation where a girl was trying to, like, accuse a guy of, of, like, you know, sexually harassing her and was like, hey, this dude's a piece of shit and he's a fucking stalker and he's messing with me. And he managed to turn around by going, like, well, she likes lolly mm -hmm. stuff, even though she didn't. And then everyone went, oh, well, you're just a fucking lolly con. We're not going to listen to you. It's like, hey, this is kind of the fucking dangerous shit that I mean when, like, hey, uh, don't get fucking up your own ass thinking you're saving the fucking world whining yeah. about this shit. Uh, Armitar Ariola for five dollars. Uh, I think you can just forward grab spam and coin. You can. Yeah. It's not a forward grab. <laughs> it's not a forward grab at all. Nah, he likes to throw escape. He he kind of likes to block a bunch of stuff. So, I don't know if it'd work. Uh, do you see the internet weirdos complaining about Tokyo after school summers? I, I don't think so. They whine about fucking everything. Yeah. I saw a kid accusing a disabled person of being a pedophile. Yeah. And the disabled person fucking deleted their their Twitter account. Yeah. Uh, I know who you're talking about. Uh, yeah. it, it wasn't really that he was a pedophile. It was that he had an amputee fetish. Yeah, amputee fetish. And, like, removed his leg over a fetish thing, even though that's not what happened. He had it removed because he had fucking cancer. Yeah, I, I, I don't I don't think if you go to the to the doctor and be like, all right, I'll, I'll pay you whatever amount of money that you want to remove my leg, I'm pretty sure they're, they're like, required to say no. A lot of them are. Do you mind my, my fetish is big breast lactation and femdom. No, do I want that in my life? No, that would be too much for me. That would be too much for me. Uh, 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 lact lactation, you say, chat? Who the fuck's mentioning me? I don't know who you are. Ugh. I know the FBI tells people not to report lolly art to them. Yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah. it's a thing where like, yeah, some people involved with it absolutely are pedophiles and they're jerking off to it. Like, it, it is just a thing. Like, For fuck's sake, though. Yeah. 
Yeah, listen, okay, there's a very real difference between lolly shit and pedophilia in the FBI. Yeah. The FBI makes it very well known that you fucking steal their resources when you fucking call and report fake shit. It's Most not... of these people aren't reporting fucking anything because they don't care. No, they make fucking it's call-out videos. Fucking, on... Yeah, it's all about it's all about making money, right? It's the thing people are complaining about fucking Sound of Freedom for, for the, where they're like, uh, it's bad that you, you just did this to, to essentially make money, but it's fucking all over the internet from a ton of fucking randos on the internet just making up lies half the time. Yeah. I mean, it's like, it, it's a thing where nobody fucking reports any of these people to the police. They make call-out videos on YouTube or call-out posts on Twitter yeah. and act like that's it. Yeah. And then they hide all their shit and no one can charge them because they hid all their shit because you made it fucking public because you're an idiot. Yeah. Ugh. Amputee fetish. Is he Dr. Gibble from Vampire the Masquerade? Uh, perhaps. Ugh. Boy just wants an Amazonian pregnant wife. Yeah. Ugh. Fuck the FBI, I'll waste their resources. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, but FBI is also involved in pedal crap, like, not just as the good guys. Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But the point is, like... Here, here's the thing. If you're actively fucking over an organization, uh, particularly a part of an organization that is, that is you know, dedicated to helping uh, stop pedophilia, that means you're, that means you're actively helping just... Keep the pedophilia out there, man. Yeah. Because uh, not, not. I think it's pretty clear that not every single aspect of you know the CIA or the FBI is always acting uh, in any fucking evil capacity. Uh, it's certain fucking carved out sections. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty clear. Anytime you like read any fucking report where they have to point fingers. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, that, that's just how it is. Like there are certain departments that are involved, others are not. I mean, it's like it's like any other fucking organization. Yeah. Uh, generally, stuck for five dollars. Pedals are bad, but don't mind the fact we covered up ma the mainstream media. Yeah. Maybe well, cases. it's not even anything to do with the the mainstream media. It, it we're talking about like I boots. Say, he's talking about the uh, the sound of freedom thing. Yeah, he's talking about that. But no, like we're talking about like, just the average Joe guy did crime. You call cops on him. Shit. Mm -hmm. Like so many fucking people fuck it up, where they they want to sound the alarms and get people like. Hey, listen, this guy did this, this guy did this, and, and they don't fucking save anything, they don't archive anything, they just throw it out. Mm -hmm. And the guy has the chance to delete everything, pretend it never fucking happened. Yeah. Uh, some do it worse where they throw in details that didn't fucking happen in the story, and no one knows what's fucking true anymore, meaning, guess what, now it's that much harder to prove what they actually fucking did. So if they did fuck a kid, yeah. they can point to other details you threw in to make them sound worse and go, well, I didn't do that, so therefore the rest of the story's bullshit. Like, it's a thing where... I, I, I talked about it like when we said it in the beginning of the stream. I, this fucking generation does not have the ability or responsibility to play fucking peacekeepers. No. Ryan, yo, Ryan got hands. Ryan whooping my ass out here, bro. Yeah. I'm talking about Epstein. Any such cases, chat. Uh. Oh, stop misbehaving, man. Behave. Why don't you behave? There we go. Just, bro, just beat Ryan already. He's literally Marshall. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, shit like that's why EDP 445 is free, even after all the evidence. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, quite literally, that that was a situation where the guys involved weren't doing it because they wanted to protect kids. They did it because they wanted fucking money. Yeah. It's like you you are fucking financially motivated. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like. Every time it's people being like financially motivated, the fucking dude that kicked off the the fucking adpocalypse, where he was he was tr fucking finding videos of like exploitation on YouTube, that was just for fucking attention and clout. Yeah, that was for money. Yeah, and people called him out on it too. Yeah, it's like every fucking time it's for attention, clout, and money, and then they have the gall to be like, "Well, I actually care." It's like, no, you fucking don't. This generation is just not it. <laughs> yeah, literally, like this, gen this generation ain't that guy, Chad. Yeah, you're not that guy. I mean, it, it really is. Like, that's what it comes down to. This generation just ain't fucking it. Like, it's why I said, hey, the, the lolly argument never stays fucking reasonable. It's never, hey, but this manga author actually got arrested for child porn and based a lot of the manga on actual children he knew in real life. It never fucking stays there. It always goes to, what, you like Uzaki? Oh, clearly you're a pedophile. It's like, nigger, she's in college! Yeah. She's fucking 21! Similar to some guy I don't remember said on Twitter, uh, I'm tired of performative justice. I, don't, I just don't want them. Or I don't just want them destroyed, belittled, humiliated. I want them legally prosecuted and actually punished accordingly, accordingly for what they actually did. Yeah. Mm. We used to have rules, laws, regulations. Yeah. Now it's just a free for all. A disgusting free for all. 
I uh, wanted to make sure we were copping. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. I think you can take him. E. I think you got this. Uh, wait until the next one. The next generation? Yeah, the next generation is gonna be fucked. Every generation always is just it gets worse. It's like a it's like a degrading uh, gene pool, you know? Yeah. You may be able to throw counter me, but I can just fucking throw you again, bitch. Back in my day, we kept our fetishes private. It was for the best. No, uh, you found dedicated forums for it. Uh, the dude who tried to expose YouTube for pedophilia uh, for attention killed his own career, yeah? Yeah. And the sad part is, he did have a point. It's just the fact of he didn't give a shit about it. Yeah. It's like, yeah, YouTube actively will push underage shit on you if you look for it and build up enough of a history of it because algorithms don't give a shit. They only care about what makes them money. Problem is the fact that it's like, yeah, but you're doing this for money and for the algorithm. Now I can become Barbie Crow. Barbie Woods. No. E. Because of the gay frog water turning kids into retards. And ironically, I think that fluoride's causing some brain damage. We both know that's not true because they doubled the amount of fluoride in the water on army bases. <laughs> uh. I see it as a cycle. Uh -huh. Maybe the next cycle will do better. One day we'll be we'll be there, Atlantis. They'll they'll be really confused by the bunkers full of fetish gear, though. Mm. He's also out as a pedo himself, apparently ironic. I, <laughs> I don't remember the dude ever actually being a pedo. I just remember I people say, accusing yeah. him of it. Which at that point, it's like. Are people just doing it because of the bandwagon to hate the guy? Because a lot of, what what kind of pissed me off about that was that was kind of the first exposure of, mm -hmm. no, but my content and my algorithm were, because, yeah, because when the guy was first talking about it, he was talking about like, hey, yeah, if, if you look for it on YouTube, you can find videos of underage girls in, in very weird positions, and these are very clearly baits for pedophiles. And it's like, okay, that's reasonable. And then people went, man, but why the fuck would you narc like that? Man, the fucking Elder, we're going to cause another apocalypse. Like, mm -hmm. well, the money's not really the important factor here. It's the fact of, you know, if the media talks about this, this shit show will get a million times fucking worse. Yeah. Because now it'll look like you're trying to hide it. You know, that was kind of the, the first thing. Of, the first thing, thing about it was that that was absolutely a situation where, you know, everybody involved needed to die. Because it's like... You know, nobody actually gave a shit about kids possibly being exploited. They gave a shit about, yeah, but my ad revenue. It's like, why the fuck were you relying on ad my revenue gosh. in the first place? Gosh. Or it doesn't mind control you, but too much of it can make you too brittle. Yeah, too much fluoride can, can definitely hurt you. Yeah, too much of anything will hurt you. I think too much fluoride, is, you know, God, I think too much fluoride can be attributed to cancer, too. Yeah. Go figure. Uh, Molly, I'm home from work. I had to host a birthday party and had to deal with the hundreds of trailer park guys coming up to, to me high asking where the golf course is. <laughs> don't ever, don't ever, don't ever fucks with trailer park guys asking where the golf course is. It's kind of funny seeing all the influencers losing their shit. Yeah. yeah. As stated, that, that was one of those where if you really looked at it and looked at what they were saying, it wasn't, hey, you know, you're making this out to be worse than it is and, and you don't want to accuse this place of, you know, harboring pedophiles if you don't have hard proof because it can cause a witch hunt. No, it was, well, advertising companies might pull out. It's like, who gives a fuck? Yeah. Like, advertising companies are super fucking unethical anyway. Well, then you showed the Cinderon Kagura gotcha games having a high school TXT collaborate. <laughs> I didn't even know there's a fucking uh, Cinderon Kagura game. That's not even surprising. Yeah. Yo, bro, please help me. I'm just like, bro, I'm struggling. I'm struggling out here. Every scumbag ever. Sometimes. Yeah, seriously. Bing, 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 bing. Oh shit, chat. Wish me luck. I mailed my application t uh, for my FFL. Oh, nice. So you're gonna you're gonna give everyone in the in the chat, you know, a good deal, right? Right? There we go. Y'all kind of retards. I can't tolerate anyone under 32. What are you, 50? I, think... I didn't know there was a Singon Kagura game. I didn't know there was a Singon Ga uh, Sing Kagura gotcha. I mean, that's not even surprising. Uh, which conspiracy do you subscribe to? Are we in a cyclical apocalypse or do reptoids keep resetting our uh, memory? Did sailors really fuck manatees and call them mermaids? Oh, sailors 100% fuck manatees. Oh, yeah, they did. 10%. They, they fucked manatees and then, you know, in order to not be made fun of by their friends, they claimed they were mermaids. Yeah. It's like, no, but it was super hot chick and, you know, you know, the bottom half of the fish, but it was a chick. And it's like, you fucked a manatee. Fuck the fish, bro. You... Damn, that's crazy. It'd be a shame if someone revolted against you. Maybe you did fuck a mermaid. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. How did- keep, keep talking, bitch! Keep talking! The fucking timer ran out on the fight, even though I had more <laughs> health- 
This would be a whole lot easier if you had a fucking if you had a fucking uh, auto. It really would be. A projectile would make this so much fucking easy. Luke will give you a auto. I think it's like his second or third move that he gives you. Uh, Matt, what is this? The dude who tried to expose YouTube for pedophilia tried almost everything to be popular, including being a public nuisance uh, in his boxers. It's like a sad version of Filthy Frank. Well, that's the thing. That's true for literally every fucking YouTuber. Mm -hmm. So at that point, that's a you know we'll come back every up that high. I, I don't think every you YouTuber is is going out you know uh, being a public nuisance in their boxers though. Uh, go talk to Luke. Like I said, I think yeah. like I think the next thing he gives you is a uh, if you bring up your map, I can show you where he is. He's yeah, there, he's there twenty four seven. You don't need a particular yeah. time of day. He's, he's right on, there. Right? Yeah. Okay, he's right there. So but no, I, I remember the prank channel days. I remember everyone doing it ironically and going like, oh no, you know we're not doing it real. It's like you're riding a fucking trend. Mm -mm. They will ride any fucking trend. Wait a minute, wasn't that the Nazi PewDiePie the one that started po Apocalypse? Who knew he was a pedophile, too? No, it was, uh... uh I, don't even, I don't even think the fucking Nazi PewDiePie thing even started an Apocalypse. It did, it started the first one. Was it? Was it? it was the first I one. Thought the, I thought the pedophile thing came before that. No, it, uh, you had Elsa Gate, which started <laughs> off, uh, and that had nothing to do with anybody. That was just, once again, journalists finding a hidden problem on YouTube. Touch the they didn't... Turn around, you touch yeah. that fucking side. That, that was journalists finding a hidden problem on YouTube and going, man, isn't this fucked up? Mm -hmm. That, once again, YouTube wanted to bury. It's like, that's why, once again, I couldn't really get angry at that guy, because it's like, this is a problem on YouTube. It literally just takes one bad day where a journalist ha gets bored and wants to write a story for it to fuck everybody over. Mm -hmm. Pretending it's not real will not be the fucking solution here. They didn't fuck manatees, they fucked dugongs. No! <laughs> Alright. Luke, I'm fucking begging you. Give me a Hydoken so I can kick some hippie ass. Yo. Got a minute? I want to talk to you about my past. Oh, I can you just give me a hotto, please? Like I, I don't, I don't like. We don't really need to. Hope you're taking notes. There you go, Vulcan blast. So, dude, dude. It's a hotto. It's a hotto with uh, limited range, but it's fast as fuck. Yeah. So there you go. Okay. So. Now you need to. You need to make sure to slot it too. Whoa. Same here. Nothing's better than waking up early. <laughs> You lying sack of shit. This guy has too much health. Yeah, he was annoying. But seriously, I'm tired of being associated with these with the schizos when I say maybe we had some tech in the past and we lost because we were retards. Blame ancient aliens the scene of file facts. Yeah. I mean fucking ancient Rome had aqueducts, it's not that crazy. Yeah. I mean like You'd be amazed what's hidden out there. There's also stuff that is just kind of common sense that, like, you will never have the chance to implement it, so you'll never know how common sense it is. Yeah. And you better fucking pray. You better pray you never have to. Get some XP real quick. Did you, uh, did you slot it in? Not yet. Okay. Make sure you do that. Hi, Doug. Uh, the joke was he didn't think they uh, think they'd do it. Oh, the Nazi thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he didn't start the first one. It was starting. It was starting to be a thing before, but the stuff he did didn't help. Yeah, I, I do remember like uh, proper articles being written about it, where they're like, um, uh, YouTube's like biggest subscriber is a fucking not or uh, yeah. most subscribed to YouTube channel is a fucking Nazi, and then you, uh, PewDiePie fucking ripped their ass and was like, yeah, they're only doing this because they're fucking irrelevant. Yeah, and he was right. Yeah. Did you know e uh fucking not ESPN? Um, I think it was the New York Post. Uh. Trash their entire sports division. Oh my God. Yeah, they're just rolling them into other shit now. And I like, I was like, wait, the sports division? <laughs> this shit makes like a ton of money. Yeah. Arch Marshall Teal, as y'all remember Sam Pepper? Yeah. Yeah. By the way, showed up. Uh, how Sid that comic Incorruptible is Max Damage cool or what? Uh, he was cool in, in uh, Irredeemable. I haven't I haven't read uh, Incorruptible yet. Arch Marshall as y'all remember? Oh yeah. Yeah. Junebug for dollar. Uh, I find running on Titan Arm was cool as fuck, but the space battle of Bahamut was cool too. Just less as cool the, as fuck as mowing down mountain. The fucking the, the space battle is fucking metal. And I I feel like they whenever he did the Zeta flare, I really feel like that was just because one of the devs saw that shitty fucking Donald Duck meme where like yeah. um Donald Duck is actually the strongest mage, uh in, in the franchise because he does Zeta flare and that's ten levels higher than blah blah blah. Uh, and they saw that and they said, God, I fucking hate you. <laughs> Uh, Jimbug for dollar. Will you do a solo stream of Solstice and show it doesn't like the game? We will play Solstice on stream. I don't dislike Solstice. I just, I mean, not the, it's not the best game ever. Uh, Gordo Cero for five dollars. Oh, he showed up last stream or the one before. It sounded like you were talking smack about Tales of Arise. What's your beef? I don't remember talking, uh, talking smack about it. Uh, I don't think there's any real fans of it though. Yeah, that's right. Call uh, me the fuck out. Gordo Cero for two dollars, other than story, because that sucked bad. <laughs> 
See? See? What YouTuber gave you that opinion, asshole? Yeah! That's what I fucking thought! <laughs> Give it a shot? I don't know. Yeah, it was just jump attacks. Yeah. You gotta jump. So you gotta hit her in the hair, then hit her in the hair, hit her in the air, and then hit her again on the ground in a comp. Uh, Lolly's attempt to become a Twitch thought f fell through. What a shame. Mm. Yeah, literally just because Twitch is fucking broken. Lolly deserves it. He deserves the fail. He needs some adversity. Mm. Remember Matt Watson would randomly pull up in his car to women in the street and have them the two points. There we go. I don't know who the fuck that is. Another YouTube prank guy. I am a fan of Kiara's ass. Maybe it's okay. If I can just physically hit her, like Jesus Christ, aim. Because. I gotta play Rogue Galaxy on stream. Uh, why don't, why don't, why don't you send me a picture of your mom, asshole? There we go. That didn't count. Okay. No. Don't. Don't. There, there we go. go. Okay. Yeah, so just do that again. I do not get how the, how the fucking jump attacks want to work. Because, yeah, it's like... I mean, you, you, it's just like, it's just like normal Street Fighter where it's like... Heavy, medium, like... You just gotta pick whichever street uh, fucking attack will actually hit. The Final Fantasy villain ranking goes uh, Median, Ultima, Cloud of Darkness, there Efka, we go. Bahamut, uh, Barthandalus, X Death, Chaos, Sorceress, Zimus, Sin, Xeno, Sephiroth, Matheus, and Vayne. Alright, you know what? You're right about like 20% of that list. Holy shit, that was annoying. Cammy or Yuri? Uh, Cammy. I fucking love Cammy. Even if being British does, does hurt her. So is this like an open world? Uh, oh, sort of. You get a city, yeah. You get like two cities. The fuck is the fuck is a Zeta flare? It's a it's a it's a level of flare and uh yeah, and um, Final Fantasy. It's one of the higher levels. It's not like the highest level, but it's up there. It's pretty fucking up. There. Uh, Final Fantasy fourteen. I'm pretty sure uh, it's used by it's used by raid bosses in Final Fantasy fourteen. Oh, it's the guy that did the, that did the Adpocalypse. Okay. Uh -huh. Matt Watson and Meat Canyon both called John Tron a Nazi. Woof. Really? Meat Canyon? Woof. Of course. Matt Watson, I, I expect, because the guy, the guy kind of oozes oozes that kind of yeah. energy. How would you how would you rank the villains? Uh, number one villain, best villain of all time, uh, Kefka. Uh, followed by Bahamut, but not that Bahamut. No, no, I'm talking about Bahamut from Final Fantasy 16. Uh, worst of that Zeta Flare thing is the Ultra Instinct Shag. Well, the worst of it, the worst of it is that the fucking meme is wrong, and a lot of people take it to heart. Like there are several characters that use Zeta Flare in, in the fucking franchise. Yeah, it's a pretty powerful move. Yeah, it is. Like it's not given to fucking like characters willy nilly, you know. Like um, yeah. Your main character probably can't pull off a fucking Zeta Flare, but, you know, Bahamut can. Yeah. Neo Bahamut might be able to. Uh, did, didn't you be, like, the top 5% of Twitch streamers if you had more than 10 concurrent viewers? I have no idea. No. PMCs do security, yeah. Uh... Uh, Matt Watson, do not be confused with the guy from Super Mega, is the guy who caused the second apocalypse. Yeah. I didn't know, I didn't know fucking Super Mega had a guy by that name it with him. Okay, so it's a super... Meat Canyon calling someone a Nazi. I thought he'd keep that to himself. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like... Right? Dude, you are absolutely a case where all it takes is one bad fucking day. But, but, all it takes is someone looking at your fucking... Your fucking... Uh, yay. E. There you go. Unique attack strength. Eh. That's your triangles. Yeah. Uh, all it takes is someone looking at your your uh, your videos and going, Man, you draw... Like, you, you animate black people with, like, fat lips. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, like, you have no idea how vulnerable you are until people are already gunning for your guts. Yeah. I'm in power scaling. I should have specified, but my rank list was based off of power scaling. Oh, All right. okay. Alright. Bear back. Yeah. Uh, ouch. On my knees. Yeah. Been drinking a lot of water. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's like, between this and the NFT thing, where he's like, guys, I'm ironically making NFTs, and oh. I had to apologize for it. It's like, yeah, dude's just safe edgy at that point. Yeah. 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 Ah, here we go. Uh, I don't know why this game didn't introduce more gang member characters. Uh, they introduced this interesting group and only use them as, as cannon fodder. I mean, they do introduce more people. 
Uh, well, we're probably not going to care about the accessories. That is very important. Uh, vitality. Fuck that. Kick strength. That's good. Punch strength. Mm. Uh, fuck discounts rates. Okay. Chat, what the fuck are we doing? I should probably swap back over to chat. I really hope I really hope Papa Mint didn't say that. Excuse me. Whom? Whom? Whom is that? Uh, was this on Meat Canyon's Twitter? I don't know. Someone in chat just said it. Uh, it was the John Tron was a Nazi thing, so that'd be a while ago. Uh, that'd be whenever he. Uh, that'd most likely be whenever he was doing the uh, the debate with with Destiny, and he like tripped over his tongue. What character did you make in the in the character creator? Uh, the fucking redhead chick from uh, from Gintama, whose name I don't fucking remember ever. Hey, look, it's it's the mayor of Metro City. <laughs> I miss you so much. Just join a stream. Where the fu uh, where the fuck is is the main character? Uh, this this is us. We are in Metro City. It's a uh, New York City light. Oh, let me show you something, chat. I forget the guy. I forget the guy's name, but there's no way this isn't a reference to him. Was that fucking black guy that fought crime in Phoenix? Because there's no way that this guy isn't a reference to him. A lot safer than New York, though. More bomb threats, though. Yeah. It does look like him. Yeah! Brighter colors, but yeah. It does look like him. <laughs> <laughs> so what if you're level 28? I'll kick your fucking dick in, bro. Who do you think you is, huh? Huh? Who do you think you are? Tiger, this is a bad fucking idea. Phoenix Jones! Phoenix Jones! There he is. Uh, Phoenix Jones, he's the... Woo! The legendary Phoenix Jones. I wish Phoenix Jones would stop jumping. He's psyching me the fuck out, bro. Ah. Oh, how hard do you think he gets? Oh, ah! fucking hard. That's my dick! Don't do it! That's my dick! Stop it! That's my dick! Ah, I did not mean to do that. Uh. Come on, Who, whose dick you got in your mouth? It's my dick. That's right, Phoenix Jones. I'm fucking your mouth. Ah! Oh my god, you still have a whole ass health bar. That's fine. That's <laughs> Phoenix Jones will kick your dick in, steal your Tim's, so crack your dicks. God, I fucking love the Phoenix Jones story, dude. I don't know, Ron Clay, make a funny as hell movie. Yeah. I know everyone's going like, oh, well, kick ass. No, I mean, specifically, a guy pretends to be a superhero yeah. so he can be a drug dealer. That would be funny as hell. That, that, that's basically what Phoenix Jones was. And that, this shit was fucking real. Yeah. Like, it's fucking crazy to think. It's it's, it's insane to think about that. It's like, someone was like, nah, man, we need to we need to make fucking superheroes real. By the way, I want to sell crack. Yeah. I'll be a real superhero. I'll sell all the crack, bro. Yeah, that's, that's right. You're my bitch. You're my bitch, Phoenix Jones. I'm surprised he doesn't have a pepper spray move. <laughs> he probably does. I don't want to let him do it. Stop it. Stop, Stop it, Phoenix Jones! Ah! Alright, so I'm dead as fuck. Oh! Alright, well... Kagura, no! I did work on him, chat. I did the best I could. It's the end of the auto race. Ah! That thing is fine. Yeah. The TV didn't go black, therefore it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Fine. Grab start smoking though, but you know, that's fine. For a level 20, he sure is a joke. Immediately followed by a fucking command grab. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Eh. I learned a Phoenix Jones through Count Dankula. Uh, I think I learned a Phoenix Jones through... It was either a standalone video or um, fucking... Uh, Cripple Bear. Yeah. Because people were talking about him before. He, he yeah. was actually pretty popular when it happened. Yeah. Alright. He gets he has a move where he gets you hooked on crack. I know that's what he just did to me. <laughs> Same right bear for a dollar. What are you talking about? Donald Duck can use Zeta Flare. Don't worry about it. Fucking worry about it. Ah! Ah! I got just know the Zeta Flare is very useful during the Sephiroth fight with Donald Duck and Goofy. There's gonna be Zoomers that think we're joking and they don't understand. It's fucking real. Uh, I watched my favorite YouTuber, uh, Abridge Kingdom Hearts. Thank you very much. Yeah. 
Um, you can't even say the loss of those things. Like he says, you become a billionaire, you become a pedo because of boredom. Okay, listen, that might just be true, though. Like, I mean, at that point, it's like, okay, but is he wrong? Fun for two hours. Sorry, I'm late. Saw Ted Nugent live. Cool stuff. Well, that was pretty cool. Shota's in London right now. Yeah. He can never escape London. Wish we had a better shirt. It's something kind of close to. You know what? I will. I will buy the red shirt just because it is as close. As, oh, we need we need money. Hey, dumbass! Fight me. Oh. Ah. What the fuck? Why are you so jumpy? Because jumping's good in this game. Unlike everything else. We playing now, boys. You know it. Yeah. That's the best fucking part of three. The mother, uh, the motherfucking duck pulling out a Zeta flare to the horror of Goofy. Yeah. yeah. Three has a ton of meme, uh, memeable moments, but I don't think three is a good thing. Yeah. That, that was kind of the epitome of, oh, what, well, what's the current thing in theaters right now for Disney? Hey, Hercules wasn't in theaters. <laughs> yeah. I think you're just high whenever you Donald Duck beats Sephiroth. There's no player quite pal. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Then again, I'm not much of a Final Fantasy fan. It's real. <laughs> oh, that's real. It, it's, it's not even, like, that's not even a joke. It's real. Get better health. You shouldn't get knocked out in one bit. Uh, now, that was a specific challenge thing we were doing where you couldn't get hit once. Yeah. Remember that Donald was in uh, the U.S. in during World War II. He absolutely used smaller flares on Japan during the war. <laughs> My God. Howdy. Uh, well. Yes, I know how to knock somebody down. Do it, bitch. You're talking about Kingdom Hearts 1, just in general. Because, yeah, I mean, you had, uh... You had one, uh, you had... Yeah. You had one, you had two, yeah, you had two. three. <laughs> you had three. Uh, Birth by Sleep, you had... You can find an old frog granny and challenge to a fight. You can. Yeah, you can. You can fight anybody. You can basically fight anybody. My chat, get read which one, because... Mm -hmm. My brother, it's yours. Uh, Jimbug for a dollar. Uh, Suino ta uh, Taimashi, uh, Ender Geister is a really good manga. I feel like 80s, 90s action movies with Kung Fu Ghost, Steven Seagal, and Clint Eastwood Cowboy Wizard. Mm -hmm. uh, you would love it. Eh, I might check it out. Oh, yeah, here, here's a granny. The Final Fantasy Girl I'm crushing on might be a normie for having 7B at her favorite, but at least she hates Kingdom Hearts and is willing to check out 8 and 13. The fact she doesn't like Kingdom Hearts already shows you she's cold and miserable. True. It's like, oh, wow, it's so cringy. It's like, fuck you. It was fun. Actually, she doesn't hate it because it's cringy. She hates it because it plays like shit. That's Kingdom your wife material. Kingdom Hearts 1 plays like shit. Kingdom Hearts 2 is pretty good. Kingdom Hearts 2 plays, plays pretty fun. But, it only plays fun once you get access to drive forms. Yeah. Before that, it's just better 1. Still ain't pretty good. It's floaty. It's fun. It's fun to float. I want to buy more drip. I'm stuck with one fucking clothing shop. And access to the world map, faggot. I just want. I just want. Why would you tease me with drip I don't have? <laughs> it's not even updated either. Like it has a little thing where it's like, "Oh, come check me out." It doesn't get updated until like the third, like third section of the game. So gotta get up there. Still sure rocks is sore. So do I. So do I. Kingdom Hearts One was fucking goofy. It was. I just don't like Kingdom Hearts to find shallow and pedantic. Make me sad. You had no childhood. I find Tetsuya Nomura shallow and pedantic? Nomura fucked my wife? Ugh. Oh, we got money. This doesn't lead anywhere if you're uh, doing it to get somewhere. 
Right now, I'm just breaking signs and collecting money. No, 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 chat. Do another. Really? You gotta wait on fucking endurance bars? Yeah. Come on. There we go. Where's Ryu in the game? He's in Japan. Fucking racist. Alright, we broke all the signs we could. Mm -hmm. So now we gotta find a way up there. Which is more than likely around the back here. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, it's up there. Um. People, people that you fight before you fight them, uh, to the right of their name, ah. they'll have like stuff that they drop. You know, they have the money signs. I mean, they drop more money. Get out of my way, box people! You get, box people aren't real people. Leave me alone! What do you mean, racist? Oh my god. Didn't give two fucks, uh, fists of a fuck about Nick, but Drexel is a genuine predator. Should be treated as such. Uh, should anyone who sleeps with someone, they accept the burden of parenthood over. As to, I don't think it's anything, like, illegal or, or something to really scream out about. It's more the fact of, like, yeah, you fucked your friendship of... You, you fucked your friendship up with those people. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Fuck, people have no rights. Fuck them. Not like that. Don't fuck them like that. Speak of the mm -hmm. devil. They prefer people of boxes. <laughs> I just want drip. I just want to look cool. There we go. Yeah. Fear and Hunger is a safer uh, version for streaming, thankfully. That's no fun. <laughs> uh. Listen, let us get away with, with South Park nipple, okay? Yeah. Should be fine. It's like, you know, the crazy frog. You don't understand that's a dick. You just think it's a little nub. <laughs> what do you mean he's 50% dick? Did you know that frogs have the have the the largest penis to body ratio of any animal in the animal kingdom? I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true, and it's weird that you would say that. Yeah, well, your yeah, well, your tadpoles suck my. Don't you fucking walk away! You finish your goddamn sentence. Chat, how old was that tadpole? How old was that tadpole, chat? Uh, I need to know. I want to know. I want to shake your hand. Uh, Is that good shit? That is the good shit. That is the very good shit. Ow. Ah! So, last, last Saturday, last Saturday, Saturday or Sunday, I fucking, uh, I slammed my arm down and, uh, on something at work. My arm was numb for like three days. I got feeling back in my arm, but uh, my fucking elbow still fucked. Huh. So I think I did chip the bone in my fucking elbow. Oh, wow. Because it feels, if I touch it and I move it, it feels like there's something moving around in there and it hurts. I want to go to a doctor. I mean, they can't do anything. I suppose technically they can remove it, but... Let's just make sure you, know, you haven't shattered the plate or anything. Why are you talking about whale cock? I think you're referring to horse cock. No, 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 chat. Frog cock. Those tadpoles, man. Uh, I forget the name of that fish that like cleans the bottom of whales. Yeah, I was I always just call them sucker fish because they you get them in your aquarium, they just suck on the yeah. glass. Yeah, they're like sucker fish, chat. I'm sure there's a more scientific name, but you know, sucker fish. You hit your funny punch shot. Uh, it wasn't very funny. That tadpole wasn't legal. Damn. Uh. Ow. Ugh. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to read. I'm trying to read what this one guy put. Why but is it, there, it keeps running from me. Why is there a hole in your fish tank? And no, it's like you get little. You get the little sucker fish, and they suck on the glass of the tank. You know, because they eat the algae. It, it's like one of those like uh, radiation things where you can exam you can examine an object, but like it's through like thick rubber gloves. 
Uh, but it's a hole that I put my cock in, and I let my I let my my sucker fish suck on my cock. Why is, why is there algae on your cock? Because they can't suck it directly, or else they die. Take it, boy. <laughs> Thank you, chat. Very nice. The parents can't read. Yeah. Fucking boxers. Yeah, I'm using the hard R. Oh no. I just want drip. Get the fuck out of my way. <laughs> Ugh. You don't. You don't deserve. It. You don't deserve it. It's gonna rip your dick with how much force it sucks, bro. It's fucking. It's. It's a fucking sucker fish, bro. It's like. It's that wise kid you know sketch where the guy's trying to buy a vacuum, and it's like you know it's gonna rip your dick off, right? <laughs> yeah. It's gonna rip your dick off, right? It's a fish. How can it rip my dick off? <gasps> He's wearing white, black pants and a white shirt. She's literally mocking him. Oh, you uncreative fuck. We're only wearing a white shirt because it forced us to. <laughs> aren't, aren't male black widows petals because they uh, they collectively decide to mate with immature widows out of fear of being eaten by their fam females? Yeah, I did Perhaps. hear that. Yeah. They will literally groom female black widows so then they can just mate with them and then run away as fast as possible so they don't die. Yeah. And it's a survival tactic, I suppose. I mean, they don't have a choice. It's that or literally die. Listen, the women facilitated that environment, chat. They were literally asking for it. Answer the question, what's cooler, vampires or werewolves? Werewolves. Vampires. You wouldn't have algae on your dick if you if you if you fleeing cuck Rolf. What? If you fleeing cuck Rolf. No, it's hair. The hair makes her look like Makima. Lies! Uh, Fucking slave, get back God here. damn it. I'm trying to avoid getting in all the fights because I don't want to fight people. He'll get your ass fucking whooped. Oh yeah, this is like the fucking worst spot for fights because enemies are just everywhere. They're like fucking STDs, bro. God, get the fuck out of the way, Jesus. You wouldn't have algae on your dick if you didn't fuck Rolf's Oshi. Yeah. Well, she can get the... She can get the dick. When I'm ready to find the answer, is Costco Black and I found this exchange. You obviously aren't a patron of Arrow Manga. Many dark-skinned beauties. To be honest, I kind of take offense to the concept of calling someone a dark-skinned beauty as a black person. Yeah, it seems like a common occurrence. You taking offense, I mean. Yeah. Oh my god, that was annoying. Jumping spiders males have to dance great in order to get laid. Yeah, I've seen those videos. Uh, can I kick the cop? I want to uh, see if I can. Kick some of them. Alright. Alright, I see how He's it is. He's not amused. <laughs> Motherfucker, leave me alone! Cops are trying to kick my ass! Step in here! You need to learn to fight for yourself. Oh god! <laughs> Get that fucking high kick to the jaw! Uh. Mr. Saley, you're more for 15 thick buddies. Any of seven rebirth is going to be Cloud and Friends plus Eric going through a portal only to be met with a live feed of Tetsuya and Mayor <laughs> Namora jelking into the camera for three consecutive hours. <laughs> Many such cases. Uh. He's got a fucking gun! Yeah. I wish there was a gun accessory. I want to shoot people. I don't even want to fight anymore. Why can't there be peace? Let's hug it out. You raise a child and fuck it, you're a groomer. Uh, I think if you raise a child and fuck it, you're a pedophile. Yeah. He didn't raise her, it was just a, a friend's daughter. Yeah, he's using the term child, though. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that, that is explicitly pedophile. Yeah, but he's obviously talking about like, the Drex thing. It's like, yeah. it, it was a friend's daughter. That's why I'm like, and it wasn't his kid. She was 18, it's sleazy as fuck, and he ruined any friendship he had with those people. But it's not illegal, so what the fuck are you gonna do? Uh, ruin his career. It's, it's, it's that simple. Ruin his fucking life. If you can't kill him, you proceed to make the rest of his life a living hell. It's that easy. Keep getting hit with those back shots. Damn, chat. I like Birth by Sleep, only one I played. Uh, Birth by Sleep was fun. I liked, uh, I liked the characters. Aqua's cool. Yeah, Aqua's really cool. A lot of people still like her. Played kind of clunky, but it was a PSP game. Yeah. Cogger, I want to move back to Portland. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, it was true. Yeah. Yeah, they all, they all fucked, they all fucked, they all did a gay sex scene, man. Yeah. Every single one of them. Holy shit. Tom, not Tom Holland. Uh, fucking uh, uh, Tobey Maguire even fucked uh, even fucked Robert Downey Jr. for his. Yeah, for uh, Traffic Thunder. Yeah. 
Sounds a lot like Quagmire shit, but we waited until she turned 18 and suddenly friendship is irrelevant. Maybe such cases. Oh yeah, as stated, it's, it's lazy as fuck. You have every right to beat the shit out of him. My god, fuck off! Also, my face when a spider is better dance moves than me. Yeah, but they were born with that, Jack. They will never fuck off. They are eternal. Also, look at that, look at that, look at that final fight over there, buddy. Yeah. There is, in fact, final fight. Yeah. I'm going to sleep. Can you wish me a, can you wish me good, good night? Kill yourself. I hope you have nightmares. Metro City, a well-known crime capital. It really is, too. You guys ever seen Stalker? Yeah, yep. Yeah, 70s one, yeah. Imagine getting any uh, fucking busted for being a gang member fighting people by the cops instead of fucking moving box in your possession. That face with no sleeping, sleeping dogs, too. I really enjoyed one. Yeah. Yeah. And even then, Sleeping Dogs was just a spiritual successor to fucking true crime. Yeah, they kidnapped his daughter. Guy fucks his friend's daughter, beat his ass, grab his dick and twist it. Do you have any idea how many boxes get manufactured per hour? They will never go away. <laughs> Why make your job difficult? Just let us do as we please like the mayor before you did. Mayor Hagger, no. Sleepy Dogs 2 will never happen because their life sucks and everyone is gay. Yeah. You're gay. True Crime was the tits. Yeah, the first one. Yeah, it was fucking great. Yeah. Streets of L.A. was cool. Uh, New York was not. New York was... Eh. Alright. Better, better pick Cody. Not Hagar. He's dead. Yeah. We in, we in Metro City? Where the fuck Mega Mine? Uh, I'm sorry. Oh god. I've never played Final Fight, holy fuck. <laughs> shit on, get shit on, get shit on, get shit on, get shit on. Ow. Fucker. Uh, there's one attack button. Yeah. That's that's what tripped me up. It's like, okay, do I have like a light and heavy? <laughs> Just one attack button. Hey guys, look, it's Don Fry. There we go. Now we got him. I happened to Ralph Wally. What did Pippa do to hurt him? So, uh, Ralph got parasocial. Yeah, he got parasocial hard. He, he started unironically going a little bit video drum, so yeah. so they had to pull him out of the. Uh, had to put him out, pull him out of the video drum. Yeah. From the hit movie, the video drum. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. True Crimes one had a dragon, a dragon as a final boss for one of the endings. Shit was Kino. I barely remember that, and I think that's because that was one of the bad endings. Yeah, it, it, maybe uh, it was the true ending. In it, which case. It shit was. Port. It was weird trying to remember which one was the bad ending, which one was the the true ending, because like. The true ending, I think, for true crime was you had to go up the tower and fight Kim Jong-un. It, it was something like that. Uh, but then there was another ending, which was equally as valid, where you, you get into like no, a big shootout in like a Chinese courtyard. The tower one ends up ends up with a girl getting shot, if I remember correctly. So that'd have to be the bad ending. No, she gets shot, but uh, if you get the good ending to that, she lives. Um, mm. If you get the bad ending to there that... There were too many branching paths in that game. I would tell them that. It was like playing Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah. It was to the point like you legitimately forgot what was canon and what wasn't. But if I remember right, she lives. Yeah, Streets of LA? Yeah, Streets of LA. Streets of New York was the one with the black guy, and I just remember that not being very good. The black guy was Snoop Dogg. It was literally just Snoop Dogg. No. Now, the black it, I think the game had Snoop Dogg in it, but the black guy was the what the Snoop Dogg. Ugh. Was Snoop Dogg the fucking police commissioner in that game? I think he was. He might have been, yeah. Yeah, like you know how Christopher Walken plays the the like commissioner in L.A. Yeah. He goes Snoop Dogg in uh, New York. Started reading Gigant, didn't know it uh, it'd be that good. Really love how Oku's art has evolved from Gantz and how he uses 3D computer modeling on it. Uh, would you ever do a review on it? It'd be, it'd be a meme one because mm -hmm. uh, Oku is insane. Mm -hmm. It's part of the reason I like him so much. Like, dude's just batshit nuts. He does whatever the hell he wants. The Dragon Boss was a joke in many such cases. Like, Inyo Ashiki literally had Donald Trump go on the news and say, Yeah, there's an asteroid coming to Earth. Fuck you all. Yeah. Like, literally, he fucking says that. Uh, have, you, have you guys ever seen other Tarkovsky movies? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure not all of them, but I've seen quite a few. Yeah. Very good director. 
Alex Jones stream yeah. win. I still want to hear you fuckers talk about how freakishly accurate his rants turn out to be. Ugh. It's weird. It's weird how he used to be a like a respected part of a of the news media. You know, be, the, before he did the fucking you know online yeah like, info wars shit. Yeah, uh, like he, you can see him in interviews, not interviews. But you can see him in like press conferences with Bush. And oh God, stuff, it's poison. Questions. Oh, that's Roxy actually. Her her hair's orange. Oh. Hey, you get you got dirt. You get dead or no. dirt. Yeah, this is a Gintama bit. You just focus on a completely unrelated series. What about the weird chat? final act of Gantz with the giant aliens? Final's a strong word, chat. That's not even the final, that's just the series. Mm -hmm. Lolly, thoughts on Tarantino besides feet? Mm. Very good director. I watched Pulp Fiction again today. And it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Still like Reservoir Dogs more, but Pulp Fiction is good. I'm surprised to hear, I'm surprised to hear y'all like him since he was active during Soviet mm -hmm. times. I've accepted everyone that makes movies is a communist. I mean, he lived in the Soviet Union. He wasn't exactly a fan <laughs> of the government. He got censored more than once. I liked it when Alex went to Joe Rogan. They were just two bros having fun getting high. I imagine. Oh, that. yeah. I don't really like that, like, circle of people because they, they, like, I just don't like their content. It depends on the subject with Joe Rogan. Mm. Like, if you know more than he is, it, it is, like, fucking infuriating. Right. Most of the, It feels like that most of the time, though, with, like, anybody. Yeah. I got fucking like whenever um, Red Letter Media was talking about Creep Show, I was have like I was having a fucking conniption fit. I, I turned it off and I was like, I can't, I can't do, I can't fucking do this no more, man. I can't fucking do this. Uh, Jim Bug for dollar. Can you stream a campaign of you and friends playing Cyberpunk Red or Fatal? That's the thing. You'd have to get friends together. And our, <laughs> our friends are like diametrically opposed to having joining <laughs> schedules. Right. Yeah. No. It is fun though. Cyberpunk is fun. Oh yeah, it's a lot of fun. Hey guys, would you recommend Gintama? If so, should I read the manga or watch the anime? Uh, do both if you can. Yeah. They're, they are different experiences. Like, the anime will outright make jokes mm -hmm. about how they caught up to the manga and have to bullshit for... Like, a, a running gag in Season 3 in particular was they would have these long-ass intros where it's just them at the house shit-talking, and then Gintoki will look at his watch and is like, okay, we bought five minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, like shit like that where they're, they are openly aware they're filling it out. Right. Which is actually what makes the filler funny, because they are very self-aware about it. One of them was literally, like, an entire episode where the animation was storyboarded, mm -hmm. because the animators couldn't get the episode out on time. So I was like, yeah, these are just the fucking storyboards, fuck you. Yeah. And it would, like, devolve as it went on, where it's like, oh yeah, uh, this guy didn't reach his deadline, so now we're just stuck with these, like, concept blobs making motions. It's like, shit like that's funny as hell. Yeah. I'm sure he hates Alex Jones. I don't hate the guy, I don't like his content, though. Pretty unbearable, but fun when he invited guys uh, talking about ancient civilizations and etc. Yeah. Uh, Dukaboku arc is amazing. Go ahead, and hold <laughs> the line. Yeah, yeah, the gender banner arc. Yeah, that was funny. Go ahead, I'll hold the line. Yeah. Ooh. So you're saying it's Japan's version of Chowder? <laughs> it's it it's some to where if when you watch it you understand. It's a mix of a lot of different stuff. Uh, for some reason, it really made me mad when that jackass in Dover tried to paint vampires as a sci-fi shit about an obscure strain of humans hibernating, culling the herd, trying to explain that uh, crosses work because straight angles confuse them uh, because they don't exist in nature or some gay shit like that. Yeah, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> it's like, no, vampires, like, the, the magical aspect to them is what makes it cool. Mm -hmm. It's why, I, I, like, whenever a vampire story tries to be like, oh, it's a virus, and, and like, you know, they, they point out the fact crosses don't work, it's like, I always get annoyed at that, it's like, eh, whatever. It's like, no, it's more fun when it does work, because that's another limitation. It's like, vampires are really, really powerful until you have something that, you know, fucks them up, and then, then you can have a back and forth on, like, oh, maybe you can turn the tables, maybe they can get you first. God oh. damn it, Lolly! Uh, vampires are fun when you do something unique with them. Like, Martin's a good movie. Martin's awesome. I fucking love Martin. Yeah. Uh, my heart doesn't beat unless you tell it to. Is it also a really good movie? Genuinely fantastic. Yeah, because it does something incredibly unique with vampires. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, I prefer... Like, you have, you have outright, like, literal fucking Dracula. Like, Bram yeah. Stoker's Dracula. And then you have... Everything else, which is, if it wants to be good, I want it to do something unique. Yeah. You know, are you going to follow traditional rules, or are you going to do something different? Because if you want to do something different, you can have some genuinely amazing, uh, 
Oh, wait, okay, they ran away. I mean, you can have some genuinely amazing uh, little gems hidden there. How many fucking trains are you gonna run into, Lolly? <laughs> Making vampire scientific ruins their fantasy lore. Exactly. Uh -huh. Even Blade, whenever like the Blade movies, whenever they tried to do that, even they would back off on it because uh, Blade Three was just straight up them fighting Dracula. <laughs> Yeah. And Dracula is like an ancient Egyptian fucking, like, demon. It's like, even they were kind of like, okay, yeah, science stuff is boring and limiting. Let's not do that. Give me your fucking jacket, asshole. You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to kick my ass for it. My brother in Christ, I've, I've beaten the shit out of 80 people in this alleyway. Oh, God. I fucked up the, I, I fucked up the tab. The tab got moved into a separate page. No one likes that. There we Let go. me in. I realized the vampire girl gro grooms her caretakers. Yeah. Uh, Blade 3 sucks. It does suck. But. But. They fight Dracula. <laughs> they fight Dracula. And Ryan Reynolds is in it as not Deadpool. Mm. Are those chaps? Uh, yes, actually, they are. He has leather chaps and a leather jacket. There you go. I don't think that's called the leather jacket in the game. I still like blasting the UV rays to murder or weaken them. Yeah, I mean, stuff like that's fine. Humans using technology to fuck them up, you know, playing right. off the rules, that's cool. It's when you try to explain it as like, oh, it's a virus, you know, it's like, no, motherfucker, they're doing shit that is not possible. And I get it, you know, just going super virus can get you a lot, you know, especially with shit like Resident Evil. Mm -hmm. But it gets to a point of like, motherfucker, you're kind of ruining the fun. It's like the, the fun of it is like old school Dracula shit, you know? Mm -hmm. It's what made uh, fucking Castlevania, the anime, going out of its way to go, no, 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 Judeo-Christian stuff doesn't work. It just happens to work. Listen, the best vampires are vampires that have already won and have eliminated Christianity from existence. Therefore, they have no weakness. <laughs> Isn't that the plot of, uh, of, of Underworld? I never watched Underworld. <laughs> I don't fucking remember the rules in Underworld. It was weird. I don't fucking weird. remember either. I just remember Kate Beckinsale. I just remember that, that one guy's wife. Was Ron Perlman super racist in Blade 3? I fucking probably. He was in Blade 2. He was one of the asshole vampires that tries to fuck over Blade and then they kill him. There we go. We finally have access to the fucking... Yeah. This menu. Yeah, we gotta go to the Coliseo, baby. Alright. Castlevania Doesn't... demon scene with Isaac still pissing me off. It's a fucking demon! Yeah, literally, man. It's like... It, it, it's to the point of like, okay, that's just you jerking off about how much you didn't like oh, going yeah. to church. It's like... I don't give a fuck about your opinions on theology. The point is, it works against fucking vampires. I thought I would hate Marissa. I do like her. I like. I think she's decent. Like I said, like uh, whenever whenever she was talking about like the stuff that she likes, she's like, "Oh, I like food, and I also I uh, also like making jewelry." I was like, "Okay, that's unique. That's something I didn't expect. I don't think I've ever expected a fighting game character to like making jewelry." Uh, it didn't make sense. Uh, holy water burns vampires, but crosses work because of the blah 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 evolution. They even have evolution theory back then. Yeah, it's it's fucking dumb. Much much for you guys. On top of the vampire study of night in the metal. Yeah, I like it. It's not perfect, but I like it. It's basically just you know a vampire zombie movie. Mm -hmm. And I, I I'm not particularly a big fan of those. Like I understand people really like feral vampires, you know, and all that, but. I like it when they can think. I like Lost Boys more, where like you actually have to outsmart them. Yeah. That that's what I like, because that's where you get some some fucking classic shit, like them throwing the the vampire into the fucking bathtub full of holy water. That was fucking awesome. I like True Blood. Yeah. True Blood's fun, even if it's basically just porn. She fights the lion. She fucking does. Yep. They're all going plap 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 and snoo snoo. Plap plap Yeah. That's a dude in a wig. Marshall is brave enough to say his thoughts. <laughs> Uh, she actually does have tits, though. And she has jiggle physics, believe it or not. That's a big fucking lion. It is a big lion! She's raping the cat! She's uh, she's Italian, so I imagine she has an Italian accent, but I don't know her voice at all. <laughs> something, I, something I don't like about the game is, um... So, it does like the Mortal Kombat thing, where, uh... Whenever your whenever your health gets to twenty five percent or less, uh, your level threes will do additional damage and they'll have additional animations. Mm. Uh, most of the time, if, you, if you're below twenty five percent of your health, whenever you're facing an actual person, you're fucking dead. Yeah, you're gonna die. 
like you're about to get fucking job. Uh, when you're against AI, you don't, you don't like, you're never gonna get there because you should be whooping its fucking ass. A true blood author did admit she got a bunch of her lore from being a World of Darkness fan. That metal. makes sense. Metal. Like there are a lot of moments in yeah. True Blood where I'm like, man, I really want to play Vampire the Masquerade right now. Yeah. And I mean, hell, if you're gonna steal something, steal for something good, you know. We showed to be brave enough to fight Marissa. He refuses to lose, but if he wins, he has to marry Marissa. Uh, she seems like a, fun, she seems like a fucking decent character. Yeah. Uh, I like her level three. So her level three is she just fucking molly wops you into a wall, but if you're below 25%, uh, she fucking does an additional punch when, uh, against the wall and she leaves a fucking heart on your face. That's pretty good. Because the, the, the initial thing is she just walks up to you, like holds her fist up, she kisses her fist, and then knocks your ass into the wall. I like that. That's, yeah. that's nuts. So it's pretty neat. I never read the books, but that makes sense. Yeah. Magneto helmet looking ass. Yeah, they made they gave her helmet hair. Um, her wedding dress gives her a, like a Spartan, a Spartan helmet of hair. Uh, like her hair is literally just supposed to be like a fucking a helmet. They are not shy about that. You lose to Marissa, she will snooze near you. Oh god. <laughs> Look at those fucking knees. Uh, from the very limited amount of time that I played Marissa style, I was like, this seems like it's probably really fucking good. Uh, whenever you we were playing it online, but I. I don't like grapplers. Yeah, I was gonna say she seems like a command grab. Uh, she, 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 uh, she also has like nice armor. I think I feel like she's probably better than Zangief in the game. But only time will tell. Call Lewis for science. No. Uh, well, the show did you guys watch Vampires vs the Bronx? Uh, I did not. No. I don't think so. Is that the one with like the monkeys? It might be. I don't mean to, like the fucking neon monkeys. Go for a lolly. Found your Amazon. Too much muscle. She does have a lot of muscles. Yeah. Uh, she's like Zangief size. Mm. This is my favorite trans icon. That was the weirdest. That was the weirdest thing is people going like every every character in, in Street Fighter Six is trans. Yeah. That was a very weird thing. Keep your weird shit out of my games. And I like you. I like you as much as I like the other side of the fence. Fucking weirdo. But it's AIDS. I think it's like you are the reason to top my niece to use a gun. Uh, Dave's Game Lord there for recently got Vampire the Masquerade and the Haunted Mansion mission generally scared the hell out of me. Been a while since the game actually scared me. Yeah. It's pretty decent. It was a direct uh, inspiration between, a lot of, between, I think, Amnesia. Like, it actually directly inspired a lot of walking sim horror stuff. Uh, it was genuinely great. It's a, yeah, it's a good scene, because it actually has, it has payoff. Yeah. You genuinely feel like you're not safe. It's even better when you're Malkavian and you have the fan patch, which adds in the yeah. voices in your head. So the voices in your head are whispering in your ear while you're trying to walk through the Haunted Mansion. Oh, I love it so much. Too much muscle, you gay. <laughs> chat? You doing good, chat? Listen, man, there is a limit. You doing good, chat? You you have She-Hulk, then you just have regular Hulk. I pray she doesn't pop that level 3. <laughs> you use the phalanx now, bitch. Nah, it just isn't my thing. Yeah, you, you gay, bitch. You gay. <laughs> Oh, that's right, we only have a level 1, we have to level up to unlock our, our fucking level 3 shit. Yep. Weenie Hut Jr. Uh, quarter circle forward square, er, quarter circle forward, quarter circle forward square uh, should be your level 1. It's that bullet punch. Yeah. <laughs> I caught you trying to be shit, bitch! Uh, uh. <laughs> I mean, it was supposed to lose, so you know, it's like getting one round oh, off you're is supposed not to win that. No? Victory and defeat aren't what matters. She was level 18, we're level 13. Uh, I mean, I didn't lose that fight, so <laughs> that's on you. Did you guys see the new Toho Godzilla teaser? Yeah. I saw a bit of I saw a bit of the teaser. Yeah, you can win it or lose it. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did I just catch you having fun? Oh, you fucking Molly want my ass. The actual, like, you showed me the art of her. The art of her looks good. Yeah. It's, it's in-game model where I'm like, this does not feel proportional at all. It's just the good genes. You're goddamn right it's good genes. All right. Yeah, it looks fine whenever they're, you know, there you go. You can talk to the merchant and you can see if you like any of the shit. All right. Uh, yeah, they're Please have characters. good drip. Yeah, they're, they're 2D fighting game oh. characters. They're meant to be seen on a 2.5D plane. Not, not sh straight fucking on. Yeah. Also, the, the guy, the that guy's wearing a fucking poncho. The game classifies it as a fucking poncho, by the way. Guys, you don't understand. Alucard getting rammed in the ass by a Japanese <laughs> dude in a threesome so deep and powerful. Netflix Castlevania is a masterpiece. <laughs> yeah, that's what pisses me off. Where it's like, 
Season 1 and 2, genuinely fun adaptation of Castlevania 3. Everything else afterwards is literally a fucking D&D &D session. Yeah. Bitch looks like a damn space marine, she do. <laughs> yeah. That's it? Yeah. Why do they barely have anything? Fuck. Because I want you to actually play the game. I know, but like when you play the game, it should fucking show you shit. It, it'll, it'll literally have a pop-up where it says, Hey, dumbass faggot, now you have access to more stuff. That's annoying. Yeah. Oh no, the video game plays like a fucking video game. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I want my Stupid fucking fuck. I want my fucking drip. I want my drip. I want my drip. Yeah, I want my fucking drip. Sound like a fucking dumbass bitch right now. I ought to knock your ass out. Should be like a All space right. marine genetically. So now we go right back to Metro City. <laughs> you fucking regular Hulk? Yes. Alright. Thinking gladiators have clothes. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot gladiators were all buck ass naked. Uh, yeah, we have some missions here. Yeah. That's where, like, a majority of the missions are. That and, uh. They created a new country. They didn't really sell me on why vampires had a hard on for Dracula. Like, he was strong and that was it. Like, I could understand it in, in once again, season one and two, where it's like, hey, he wants to gather an army and conquer, uh, Wallachia. It's like, yeah. I can see other vampires getting up you know, on board with that. It's like, fuck yeah, let's do that. Uh, the problem is, you know, after that, they didn't know what the fuck to do. Mm -hmm. uh, Eddie Shankar got high off his own su uh, supposed hype and himself run wild. That's that's kind of what I think. Not just him. It, there's always more than just one person. Yeah, the whole team. Yeah, the whole team. But it definitely does feel like they're like, oh, but we can do something else. We don't need... The, the real question is, do you think anyone like looked at it and went like, man, uh, this doesn't really feel like Castlevania. Yeah. Uh, I did get Canis and Drake from the random multi I got from the Coin and Sky banner. Uh, I think I pulled like three Canises from it. Didn't get a, did not get a, a any other five stars, just, just Canis. Wait, Helicard and Castlevania actually took it up the ass? Yeah, yeah. yeah season, season three. Yeah, they had the, the threesome thing. Mm -hmm. Warren Ellis, which kind of sucks since I like some of his comics. Yeah, Warren Ellis was involved. Then they yeah. booted him. I know they actually like booted him and, and, uh, all that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Marquette's credit day, five dollars. Love how in Vampire the Masquerade cross to do work if the person does genuinely believe in their faith and not spur in the moment faith. Also, uh, Castlevania copy kick ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I'm I'm okay with that. If you want to have like you know that rule where it doesn't matter what symbol of faith, so long as it is a symbol of faith, that's yeah. fine. Uh, and you actually believe in it, it's like yeah, that that works. I'm okay yeah. with that. It's when they go out of their way to be like, oh, crosses don't work. All oh, that's bullshit. It's like bullshit they do because then why are you in hiding? Yeah. It's like people need a like. There, there is a reasonable expectation people can kill you because then that's why you're hiding from the rest of the world. Yeah. I got both Clean Sky and Oberon. Good. Uh, I also got them. It's really nice. Uh, so I saw that you decided to get Baldur's, Baldur's Gate 3, Wally. Glad to see you give the game a chance. Despite the weird shit involving the Ursine fornication, I think it'll be good. Larian is a, is a pretty alright all right company. Yeah. Uh, I literally just started, but all the stuff with the, the bad guys is actually interesting. The Lovecraft stuff, where they're like turning brains into, like, monsters. Like, that was cool. The first thing about Eddie Shankar is he's adapting DMC and compared Virgil to Thanos, so no. I don't even know if that's still happening. I doubt it. Like, that's the thing. That, that was announced fucking years ago, and we haven't heard a thing since. Mm -hmm. The fucking Capcom's more likely to give the, the rights to a Chinese company <laughs> at this point. It is true. They have, actually. The, yeah. That fucking Pinnacle of Combat is made by a Chinese, a Chinese company. Yeah. I don't know when it's getting localized. Fuckers. Uh, in Vampire the Masquerade, vampires can use crosses and other things to harm other vampires if they believe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is faith-based. Like, uh, the deadliest vampire hunter in, like, fucking history is that old-ass man who was a priest. Yeah. And it's to the point where they flat-out say, like... Don't fuck with him! Yeah, don't don't even try to fight him, because he will, he will kill you, take your blood, drink it to become a ghoul, and then, you know, terrorize us for another hundred fucking years. Stop uh, making him. Stop making my grandpa stronger. He's whooping our fucking asses. Uh, Abe Van Helsing. Uh, Fron face for all Lolly. What do you think of the backstabbing they did to Warren Ellis? The people thinking he's guilty because they hate him because uh, of Castlevania show uh, writing, the minor coded crap, and in general the Castlevania shit show. I don't remember a lot of the details, nah. but if I remember right, it was another case of like, oh, no one went to the cops, but he is accused of this, so. It's one of those of like, eh, who knows? But definitely leaning on, it probably never happened because a lot of the time it didn't. 
We got Odysseus and a John Duke from the Coin Sky Banner after I got Oberon. Uh, I wish I got Odysseus. I, I, I like I like his like weird mecha thing that he's got going on. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These games will always have the like games like this will always have the weird thing of like they do, they don't just let you beat the shit out of somebody like whenever they want them to block your path, even though like you could have beaten the shit out of that chick earlier. Oh yeah. And skip this whole process. Just, just uh, video game stuff. Yeah. Pink. Straight up Judeo Christian Kane. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you comment on the villains of Bowling Gate 3 Lolly? Uh, Illithids, the mind players in general, are actually pretty fucking cool. We should get more attention. Well, I say, I, I like all of them. I mean, say, if you're talking about like D and D, uh, you know, mind players, I kind of feel like are a little weird to balance around. Your at least your uh, your encounters with uh, mind players are kind of hard to balance around. Oh, those are the squid people. Squid people. Yeah, no, they, I mean they can just fuck your entire your entire fucking party up. Yeah. Damn it. But, uh, I've I've been playing you know through Baldur's Gate three with just a, a dumbass fucking barbarian who very very low intellect because I think that's funny uh, even though it doesn't really apply to much but you know I've I've been bumbling through it you know and I've, I've been able to relate to the character where it's like they have no fucking idea what they're looking at it's like I also don't know what that does remember what was inside of it and then dumbass I, then I hit the then I hit the button and the lady turned into a squid what was this dude's name. Squidward people. Exactly. <laughs> Pressure damned! We got ourselves a freaking comedian here. Did you rip open the magically sealed pod? I tried to. We need to talk. I tried. Get up. And it made me go into the room and turn the lady into a squid to get the key. Mm hmm well, that's because mostly, uh, mostly psychic as a magic type is very much untapped territory outside of fighter subclass that is essentially a Jedi. Yeah. That's why you don't see him in a bunch of stuff. Wait, wait, wait. On the first fucking day. It says I'm getting t-shirts out of this one, so. If you actually get it, it'll pop up in, like, the top left. I don't, like, whenever they pop up like that, it means you have to do a specific thing in order to get the item. But I don't know what the fuck it wants you to do to get the items. I think I only ever got like three drops from those guys. Yeah, I didn't get it. Okay. You might be able to pause and check and see what it wants you to do, but I have no clue. I have no loyalty. God! Alright, all right. take it now. Uh, pause. Uh... Okay, trigger pressure time, trigger pressure time. Okay, so that's whenever they grow, whenever they go white, you punch them and it'll. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's pressure time. So with that, you got to break their gauge, in which case uh, they don't have enough pulse for that. Oh, I was gonna say, I think it's one of those you have to trigger pressure time on. But it might be this chick. There we go. My, uh, my issue with gold, Baldur's Gate 3 sex pest shit is literally everywhere, bear fucking feet worship, etc. Yeah, from what I understand, there is some, like, creepy as fuck shit hidden in, but at the same time, it's like, eh. As long as they balance it out enough, I don't really give a shit. Just, uh, just pirate it, or fucking, if you really want to stick it to them, just buy it from a key res reseller site, that way they don't get any money at all. Yeah. And then you never even have the option to go back and buy it. Uh, the vampire running for scissors. Yeah, the vampire and Legacy of Kane are resistant to sunlight, but are weak to water. Yeah, because they're they're like closer to Dracula, where you could go out in the sun, you just be weak. Yeah. And yeah, if you go into water, it's like fucking acid. I just want to just want to take a bath. No. <laughs> you have sex with bear. Nothing strange about that. Not, it, it, it's not even you have sex with bear, because now that I've played a bit of the game, I actually know a bit more of the context. It's you, a druid. you play as a druid, you turn into an animal form, and then you have sex with a companion. The companion they're having sex with is the fucking vampire elf dude, who I fucking hate. Mm -hmm. First chance I had, I headbutted him. Baldur's Gate 3 has ugly whammons too. I imagine so. Black hair chick is not bad. It, it didn't help that like they literally fucked around with the character creation in the beta because people kept making characters that looked too good. Yeah. Like I don't understand what their fucking deal with that was. I don't know. 
What weirds me out is they, they want to make it into like a, a fucking live service thing where you can log into an account to get bonuses. Like, no, I don't want to fucking do that. It's a D&D &D game. The sun killing them came from the movie Nosferatu. Yeah. The fucking, um... What is it? Divinity Original Sin uh, stole, like, my favorite D&D &D game. And you can play that online with other people. Yeah. You can play you can play a couch co-op, too, but, like, it, it's genuinely incredibly fun to play with other people. Uh, Jim Buck for a dollar. Show it. Uh, what did you do to no-hit Garuda in Ifrit mode, and does that fight count to Valor Metal? What was it? Uh, to no-hit Garuda. What? Oh, you Ifrit just stay mode. back. Stay back in, um... Stay back and throw fireballs. That's it. Yeah. Uh... Be careful, cause like she will try to she will try to charge you and grab you. Yeah. And I don't know if it actually gives you a medal or not. There, there's a couple fights that uh, I was convinced should give you a medal, like the first boss or the first fight against um, what's her face. Um, the first fight against Jill does not give you a medal if yeah. you if you perfect it. Found that out. Lucius Cornelius Stella Felix for two dollars live service and advertising give me suicidal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the sad part is like. To me, the fun part of a, of one of those D&D type games or, or one of those RPG type games is making a really kooky character and, and being able to like go through the world as that kooky character. You know, Arcanum lets you be a fucking Frankenstein monster that actually has like super high intelligence, yeah. but because you are a Frankenstein monster, you talk like a retard and everyone thinks you're stupid, and you can play that against them. That's just fucking fun. That's cool. Baldur's Gate 3, I'm still super early into it. I don't know how much freedom it actually gives you. You know, how, how much does it address? How much does it factor in? How much will it let you get away with? Mm -hmm. You know? Is it a D&D &D game where I could be a pugilist? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can punch. Yeah, if you play the monk, yeah. Uh, I remember them trying to shame people for the sin of making a white man fight or not understanding that it was, uh, it was mostly because every update in the beta erased progress. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. why, why do you guys keep playing just generic white guys? Because why would I take the time to make a character if it's going to get fucking wiped? Cause you're f it's because your fucking player base is, is fucking white dudes. You are free to have sex with bears. You are free to be a bear while having sex. Mm. Fuck you, cop. You watch that box person beat the fuck out of my ass early. I'm going to kill you. Unless it's holy water, regular water has no effect on vampires. Uh, moving water is what you... Uh, Moving water is what you think. It's, it's moving water slash bodies of water. Because he was talking about Legacy of Cain. Yeah. Legacy of Cain, you couldn't enter into uh, lakes or anything like that, or you would just die. Yeah. Specifically in Soul Reaver, you would enter the uh, the spirit world, and you have to go and, and uh, return to the physical. Yeah, I hope you can be bros with some characters instead of just fucking them. Yeah, most likely you can. Should be able to. Even the cops be throwing hands, yeah? Everyone's got to know how to fight. You got little girls fucking joining joining the fucking karate dojo to fuck people up, man. They want to survive. Ugh. Uh, the beta is a good example of stuff you can do, but the full game is going to be pretty massive in its choices uh, from what's been told. I'm hoping it can live to the hype. Well, it should be out of beta now. Yeah. It's almost it's almost like hitting 1.0 soon. Yeah. Is, is Baldur's Gate 3 better than 2? I don't know. It's, I, been, in, it's been in fucking... It's been in beta for too long. I'll, I'll tell you that. Yeah. As role playing is not about creating so much about your own story, but making a unique experience. Eh, well. Yeah. No, that that is, that is explicitly it. Yeah. It, there's, there's no wiggle room there. Uh, it's it's about having fun. It's it's a matter of like, okay, I want to have I want to have a fun time and I want to do fun stuff and I want to yeah. be able to role play whatever character I make. Uh, why did you? Wh why are you going out of your way to insert a bunch of weird fetish situations? It's like it's like you're playing with a. You're playing with those people to try to ship two fucking players at the table, and they just keep putting them in weird sex positions, and the players like... And the players themselves aren't like, really uh, into it, and they're kind of like, why? Why are you doing this? All right, now roll to kiss his feet. I, I, I'm not doing that. Uh, I'm just going to say, both of these one two are, are, aren't really that good of an RPG, but the world is fun. It's a fine RPG. It's a fucking Western RPG as fuck. Like, it, it plays by the tabletop rules. Yeah. A.K.A. Uh, strict. Hey, your neighbors, I gotta get up early tomorrow. Well, I hope you, uh, hope you, uh, never wake from your eternal slumber. Angry accountant. Yeah. What the fuck did I do to you? You walked by his business. Uh, Pat ruined his fun with FF16 somewhat by being obsessed with Baldur's Gate 3 <laughs> and, and, uh, why he'll be playing, uh... What he'll be playing for it? Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I imagine he kind of ruined his own fucking yeah. Final Fantasy 16 playthrough the moment he started playing it. 
Well, I mean, it's like they're completely different philosophies. JRPGs have never really been about that. Like, JRPGs have never been about, like, oh, you know, make your character and do whatever you want with them. It's like early, early ass ones, like in the 80s. Well, he, sure. He probably, he probably just straight up started fucking thinking about Baldur's Gate and then making builds while he was playing Final Fantasy 16. Even though that's not really the point. <laughs> 16. He can't really do that. No, I mean, like, he's not, he's not like, oh man, I can't wait to make a build in Final Fantasy 16. I mean, he's playing yeah. Final Fantasy 16 and he goes, oh man, I can't wait to play Baldur's Gate 3 and then proceeded oh, okay, to talk okay. about Baldur's Gate 3, most likely. Okay, okay, yeah. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot stand to watch any of them anymore. Can I kill the vampire elf twink? Like the bear, uh, like the bear sex and maul him to death? I don't know. Can I kill him during, <laughs> roll your dice to not, to not kill the bear, uh, the fucking, uh, not the bear, the elf twink during bear sex. I mean, I, they gave me the chance to headbutt him, I headbutted him. Yeah, that was easy peasy. Uh, but hey, if you play the Konosuba RPG D&D game, I'm sure you could uh, you could do some ERP in an etchy way, like steal panties. If you're talking about the fucking, like, actual game, are you talking about the actual game? Uh, JRPG focus building character action gameplay, uh, forming your party. Mm-hmm. What? Mm -hmm. uh, focus building your, uh, building a character action gameplay, forming your party. Mm -hmm. I think you got those backwards. Yeah. Have you played Celeste? Comma, it was weirdly fun with an XCOM clone, but the characters look so uncanny. I have not. Uh, I haven't either. I thought he I was like, have you played Celeste? And I was like, yeah, it's a fun platformer. I hate the fans. Yeah, fans are fucking awful. Not 20. Not 20, you suck bear penis. Sorry, Lolly, I don't make the rules. But you do! They have, uh, they have karmic dice, which is like weighted dice. And I think... I think it's weighted dice in the sense of like, okay, if you're... Uh, yeah, you gotta go back up where we talk to the yeah. bad gear guy. Um, I think it's weighted dice in the sense of you gotta press X to climb the ladder as well. Yeah. Damn. I looked away. <laughs> I looked away for five seconds. Uh, where if you do good things, you get better rolls. But I could be wrong. They could be using karmic dice as just weighted dice. Celeste fans, bigots. To be fair, you're the bear in the situation. The twink is the weirdo being into fucking a bear. Yeah. Is he really into it, or did you just tell him he's into it? As that is a question. Meow. Uh. Asshole. I mean, that is the thing where, like, as much as people want to shout, oh, it's, it's like Fallout the Frontier, th it is a very specific thing you have to go out of your way to do. You have to be a druid, you have to have that specific shapeshift. Chad, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think the, uh, the elf's underage, Chad. Yeah. No, he's, he's like a fucking, yeah. like, uh, noble vampire dude that's been alive for, like, 200 years. How do you want to do this? Wait, what, you want to fuck the bear? Yeah. What I mean is, JRPGs focus on your on your character's gameplay and your party's uh, form and gameplay. Uh, I always imagine JRPGs is just RPGs that focus on the story, and they have funny little numbers that pop up sometimes. Yeah, it is a thing where like they they kind of streamline a lot of the gameplay down to where like, hey, next town you go to, you're gonna get just better stuff. Mm -hmm. And to me, that is kind of more addicting than a lot of the micromanaging. Yeah, that, that's what the that's what the early Final Fantasy games were. Were literally just. Hey, you go to the story and you play the game. The next town over, make sure you upgrade your gear. Yeah. Repeat ad nauseum. What game are you talking about? Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3. That's the bear one. Uh, Sekiro is more fun than the other from soft games to me. I don't even know why. Maybe just a weep. Well, because it's just a full-on action game. Yeah, it's just fun. Yeah. Hey, they cut They cut all the, the other... <laughs> you fucking asshole! <laughs> you, you motherfucker! You fucking piece of shit! I'm basically a street punk myself, kid. So far be it for me to lecture you. Just make sure you watch yourself. Ah! I have my fucking ass, bro! Oh, my God! Kagura got... <laughs> Kagura got fucking jumped. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to beating, uh... Beating in JK7's head in Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> Is he in Baldur's Gate 3? That'd be cool. That would be kind of cool. Oh, my God! Uh, Solasta is another D&D RPG, but the animations and, uh, faces are most uncanny I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. They're, uh, they're doing a... Oh my god! <laughs> L3, Lolly, L3, L3! He plays one of the main villains? Oh, that's cool. Oh, nice. <laughs> Library of Ruin a stream win, Lolly. I need some Project Moon content from my based YouTuber. That would be fun. You can let Library of Ruin blow up again. 
my god. That is cool. It, it is cool to, to see uh, J.K. Simmons doing more stuff before they fucking die. Yeah. What do you think of the movie Tremors? Uh, it's okay. Yeah, it's fun. My god. Yeah. We escaped the violent streets of New York and went to the violent streets of London. Uh, in New York, you get attacked by gangs every five seconds. In London, you get attacked by gangs every, like, eh, three minutes. June Buck for a dollar. No, JRPG's about kids growing to kill God. That is a rather concurrent thing. I told you, I can't play around like you. Uh, him and the guy who played Lucius Malfoy in the Harry Potter movies. Don't know who's playing the female villain, though. Probably Laura Bailey, from what people can guess. <laughs> yeah, probably. When in doubt, they go to Laura Bailey. Yeah. She's just consistent, man. Oh god, it's been two and a half minutes, you know what that means. You need to get out of here! Oh god. Is that Jerry? Like your fucking helmet morphed around her dumbass head? Yeah. Foot fetish time! They know it's foot fetish time, bro. They, they literally know. open up on her feet. Chat, stop! She is so fucking evil. She just fucking beats the shit out of your rival. I always found it funny that her her eye thing is called the feng shui, uh, the feng shui engine. When she has no feng shui at all, she's just evil. She's just evil. I hope you like her doing her eye thing because she does it a lot. You've got nowhere to run. I don't play her for the feet. I don't play her for the feet. I don't play her for the feet. Hey Capcom, can you give me a Yuri outfit three where they put shoes on her? <laughs> they just dox you. <laughs> they publish. They publish your fucking docs. They, they publish they your work schedule. Twitter. They go on Twitter with the screenshot of the email and your full docs next to it. <laughs> Hey yo, y'all better beat this motherfucker up! <laughs> I, just, I just want people to stop laughing at Alright, boss, kick her ass. You're about to get your ass wolf. We're gonna get her fucking dick kicked in. Davis Gamer for doing this. Bring her now! Fast! Oh! What the fuck did I do? <laughs> you look at her. She fucking <laughs> touched you, bro. Boss survived better than you. If you have Dalman, you can triple quick loop from 0% start to start to shoot Scotty and overrun. Well, I don't have a Scotty, so... <laughs> she took Eleanor's job? No, no, no. Jerry's always been about feet. She took Eleanor's job. Listen, I'm not this guy's friend. Could you leave me alone? She called us a geek. I don't think we're a geek. I'm just now thinking the personality thing probably picks what dialogue the characters use to refer to you as. And since there's an other option on there, or there's a human option, I want to know what the dialogue says. Probably they. Probably they, yeah. It. You, re you will refer to me as it and you will like it. <laughs> I find it funny this game filtered the Furious fans with the excess use of feet. I like her design, but I'm not in the feet. She's always been like this. I was going to say, this This has been her design for like the last two or three games, yeah. Five especially. Five got pretty horny with her. Five, uh, Five's outfit is her alternate outfit for this. Um, the fucking latex and shit. Leave her out of this. Just kick me. Just kick me, please. You could have won that? Yeah. Did he just steal my Dami? Yeah, you can. You can win all these fights. It's just they, they all seem to end the same way. Like, the, the Marissa one also ends in her, if you win it, it just ends in her giving you the thing again. I think you can go talk to Marissa and, uh, and gain her style. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure what you we can play, learned. You, can, you get hit a lot, so maybe playing a grapple with armor will be good. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what we learned from that adventure. <laughs> I don't understand why they censored her tits for out of five, but they uncensored it for six. It's because people complained about it. They uncensored it here. I think Bosch is gonna die. Oh, he dead as fuck. <laughs> he dead as fuck. Oh, he dead as fuck. Luke calls and is like, "So how are you guys doing?" Bosch got kidnapped. He's dead oh, ironically, when you get when you get back, he goes, "Damn, 
So that's what happened? That's crazy. So you're just gonna stop looking for him, right? <laughs> and your character's like, no. Oh, I, I love this. This is, a, this is a good cutscene. I like this. It was supposed to be me! Uh. She literally goes, you need to fight my lion. He's never eaten a human, but he gets moody when he smells the coward. The funniest corpse with a smile on his face, true. Do we have to fight a lion? No, she calls it off. Uh, you can fight fridges, though. Uh, Juan Wickford, her, her pants are stupid. Take off her pants and give her some shoes. <laughs> It's all about taking the first step. Like, I like it in the sense of this. They've gone with a silent protagonist who just, like, motions to talk to people. Except yeah. for in, like, cutscenes where you see their mouth move but they don't speak. Yeah. Um, so I like it from, from a, a standpoint of, like, alright, well, you're getting a little bit of creative storytelling by your fucking character. Like, Mar Marissa's like, hey, don't be a fucking pussy. You need to fight my lion. And your character needs to show, like, I'll fight your fucking lion, bitch. Yeah, you stare it down. Good kitty. Yeah. Give him a smooch. Yeah. <laughs> she knows Muay Thai, I think. Pretty sure that's Muay Thai. Well, no, she doesn't have her hair leg up, so that wouldn't be Muay Thai. She knows right. Punch. So, we can see about switching that. Oh, we also have this to uh, upgrade. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. Um, go. Uh, max Vitality, Kick, kick strength. strength. probably. Want to do Kick Strength? Yeah. yeah. I, I never really had much use for Vitality. Yeah. Uh, just kind of rates for shopping in general stores. Unique attack. That will serve as a lot better in the long run. There we go. Now we got our tier twos. Increased defense. Drive stall while moving. Drive stall can slow down time. Increase number of special moves. You can special moves. Yeah. So drive stall is you double double press uh, R two and time slows down out outside in the like game world. So you don't need that. <laughs> it's just general defense. We'll go with that. Uh. Max, max Vitality, Max... So, hey, that one. Yeah. That one. Holy shit, that one. That. Yeah, now you can do level 2 supers. Yeah. Enables use of the gear appearance option allows you to adjust... There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and get that so you can fucking put the cap on and you get all the fucking naked... There we go. Phalanx, yep. Isn't that a group maneuver, though? Uh, I, think that, I think Phalanx is the name of the group. Uh... I see Marissa's Greek, her voice actor, has confirmed that in the Thirst Tweet reading. <laughs> I don't think that's true. I'm not even close to horny for feet. It's classic outfit camp. I mean, Cammy, I'm slipping for I like Cammy's new outfit. Um, I'm glad they have her classic outfit, though. Because I, I would have been upset if they didn't have it. I think that's Yuri, yeah. So, yeah. and yeah, that's... You don't have access to Yuri for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, we can try out, we can, we can try out Marissa, see what that does. Oh, <laughs> You made a fucking flesh golem, Wally. I know, right? We still have no clothes. Nothing good. That's fine. It's for the best. Yeah. Well, here. Yeah. Apparently, this does have stats, so we'll put that on. Yeah. And then you go to gear, gear parents. Yeah. And now you're yeah, Take off the stupid fucking hat. Yeah. Um, I think whenever you get back to New York, you will gain access to some more clothes. Yeah. And by New York, I mean Metro City. And by Metro City, I mean... I mean New York. <laughs> Alright, thank you, Marissa. I'm never gonna talk to you again. Fuck off. Fucking bitch. I'm never gonna... <laughs> I'm never gonna play this video game again. I don't need to. I don't need to. I'm not going to Evo. I'm not going... I bought make, a ticket to Evo. Make your... Make your naked chat member. Did you see the the pool size for, for Evo? There was like 6,000 people playing Street Fighter VI. Yeah. You wanna know how fucking long it takes to go through those pools, bro? It's probably gonna be like three days of nothing but Street Fighter VI. Yeah, it's gonna be nuts. Oh yeah, he's straight up like, oh wow, you guys didn't have a chance. Yeah. No shame in walking away. Bosch is still kidnapped. Yeah. You got some gas in the tank if you're looking to keep at it, but you know. The strength. Oh yeah, here's an idea. I'm gonna here's change the scenery. scenery. But Bosch is being tortured like right now. I I'll send you to Japan. It'll be really nice. You got motherfucking pools, please. <laughs> They actually, Bosch sent me a video, uh, and he doesn't look like he's doing good. It actually, it looks like Yuri's pegging him. Ah, oh, he's good. 
No, you know, you you need to understand. You you need to look for your source of battle. How many for Skullgirls? Two people. Uh, Skullgirls wasn't on the charts, so it got blown the fuck out. It got blown the fuck out. So really maybe bad. like thirty. It got blown out really fucking bad. Uh, that was as that was as I expected. Yeah. This is the closest we're gonna get to the fucking <laughs> Chinese outfit for right now. <laughs> we just put her in a fucking baseball. Here. It is the closest we're gonna get right now. Uh, I always wondered this. What the fuck is Chun Li's last name? Lee. You stupid. Yes, yeah, Chun Li. That's literally. Um, I forget her. I forget her actual name. Boss, she's a bottom anyways. Have you seen his hair? Oh, absolutely. Favorite Bahamut design? Oh, That's hard. That's actually hard. Um, I did really like the design they had in 15 for the three seconds you see him. Yeah. Uh, Final Fantasy 14's design is also fucking metal because really he's so cool. huge. He's fucking cool. Uh, Brazil and Jamaica. We're going everywhere but where we need to go to say Bosch. Oh, go to Brazil first! Go to Brazil first! Also, fuck Bosch. No one cares about him. He's a bitch. That motherfucker is dying in a fucking basement right now. Yeah. You can guess who's in Jamaica. That shirt makes her look fat. Oh, yeah, the, the clothes, like, morph to your body in an incredibly weird way. Like, my, my, the guy that I made was, uh, basically, he basically had the, the figure of Batman. Uh, and I put him in a suit, and he fucking looked like he had double D's anytime the the camera decided to yeah. go to the side. Yeah, 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 yeah. My boy blinks. It's possible for me to make Leon uh, Kennedy any character creation? Yes. Also, I thought you weren't playing this. Uh, I got a lot of versions of this game for twenty bucks. PC version actually came with the fucking season pass. It looks way more like a Makima anyway, because it won't let me have Chinese clothes. Just put her in the suit. Just, just commit. Just, just fucking commit. No. Ah! Ow. Yeah. Yo, what's a green minion? Uh, yo, Final Fantasy XIV Shinryu design is also great. I just love their dragons. Yeah. Final Fantasy XIV just cool. Oh shit. Hawk. It is weird seeing a Blanca that tries to look like a person. Yeah. yeah. Blanca just acts like an animal to fuck with people. Like, the guy's a fucking scientist. <laughs> when do you run into a weird green guy just now? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> are there multiple? Ignore Luke, get him pegged. Jungle tour guide. I feel very unsafe with you. The weird guy you just saw, was he all hoo -ha, hoo -ha, hoo -ha, hoo -ha. you know, doing some weird kind of dance? Ooh. Blanca looks like a monkey. Many such cases, chat member. My birthday, my teen arc is officially over. I've been watching you guys since 2021. It's been pretty keen so far. Yeah. Nice. Sounds like it's one more year and then <laughs> until you can drink. Her first name is Chong, last name Lee. Hong Lee. Blanco only acts like an animal when he fights. Yeah, he acts normal outside of it. Yeah. yeah. But in in general, you he know, just like... makes monkey sounds, though. Yeah. In general, like, the, the look of Blanca, it's always weird when they're trying to make him look like a person. Yeah. I'm so used to him just being a weird little gremlin. I'm pretty sure his second outfit is the Blanca Chan outfit that he whooped your ass in a second ago, which is fucking great. Yeah. Blanca x Wilad, who wins? Also, macaws aren't that fucking big. Walk up to that fucking thing. Look, that thing's fucking huge. That would eat you. Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah, I forget Luke. <laughs> Luke, the reason you come out here is because Luke goes, I want some souvenirs. Go to Brazil and Jamaica, bitch. And you're like, okay. But, but what about Bosch? Fuck Bosch. Give but, me my fucking Blanca. But what about Bosch? No, no, no. Talk to the, talk to the merchant. See if he has anything good. We're traveling the globe and look for in, in, in fucking uh, hopes that we get drip. And you're going you're gonna to miss the drip. I the forgot he, all he has is the hat and the socks. The, yeah! Okay, yeah! we actually do need these. Because she does wear leggings. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, I was gonna say this doesn't. 
I think you're at max health, so you don't need it. There we go. Okay, <laughs> okay just wasting money. Okay. Random cop. Fresh, fresh, tasty. All right, yeah. Now to Jamaica. I fucking hate Jamaica so much. We're to China for the dress. Yeah. We don't have China unlocked yet. Uh, I was gonna say we don't have China at all because it's not in yep. the game. I think the Japanese would let you willingly go to China. I would assume so. Chun Li's in the game. They fucking, uh, they fucking hate China. One week for two hours. Reject monkey. Return to Blanca. Return to Blanca. Who fucks better, Blanca or Blanca? Uh, good thing is when you fight Kim Jong Un at the airport. Bad thing is when you fight him at the tower. Mid is the Chinatown courtyard. Hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's for uh, true crime. Mm -hmm. I completely forgot about the airport one. There's too many in it. I don't think I ever got that one because I just like shooting people too much. Yeah. Nobody, people, everybody's still people. cooking. That's an Exo Primal. I know literally nothing about it. Uh, I am absolutely not gonna play that. But whenever even Susie was like. Yeah, I think it's a good game, but it's a good game no one asked for and isn't going to be popular, so it sucks that, like, over thousands of people worked on this game for nothing. That was literally what she said. Oh my god. And I was like, Whew. That's mean. I was like, man, you, uh... I was like, uh, I was like your go-to, bro. Uh, and before Bosch marries Yuri to get her visa. <laughs> DJ's a fucking psychopath, chat. He's completely disconnected from reality. Yeah. Like, unironically. Well, he's never beating the Makima allegations. Hey. <laughs> You're right. Something on your mind, man. He also shaves his eyebrows, and uh, he's not hes not a person for that. Chat, if you shave your eyebrows, you're not people. Wow. Makima, she wore stockings. <laughs> As stated, Kagura wore, wore stockings on D occasions. Yeah. DJ smoked the weed, man. It really be like that. <laughs> Leave your worries behind. Get that body moving. People kidnap my friend. So, <laughs> my, my favorite thing was, uh, so I started with with the, the story mode, and I was going through there, and I got all the people up. And you see the combos you get from everyone else. Uh, like, the second level of, of combos you get from DJ has like it goes from all the inputs are super simple like the most complex yeah. you have quarter circle forward quarter circle forward and then button or back uh back back button um yeah. dj has one that looks like a fucking dialer combo and is like this long on the fucking screen and i saw that and about shit my fucking pants oh my god and i was like oh god not already didn't uh right, Kaguya from gintama not have red hair though yeah uh kagura yeah she has red hair mm -hmm. that's why she has red hair and blue eyes bing, bing. yeah 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 Hey, yo, DJ, you fucking... Yeah, you hit hard. This guy at least feels like it's, you know, manageable. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I was gonna say, you're, you have supers, and I think all of your supers give you one. Oh, fuck. I forgot, completely new style, so... Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> fucking DJ trading blows. Oh, I fuck. forgot! Okay. Just make Makima... No! No! I will not appeal to the Zoomers! You know who I dislike playing the most against this in this game? Kin mains. Yeah, but on, like... Oh god. <laughs> online kins have been, a, have been a meme since Street Fighter 4. Yeah. They are cancer, though. That's why I don't have the heart to tell a dick bro he has horrible taste. He loves cancer. Oh, he knows he has terrible taste. He knows. I made him, though. It's evil re or bust chat. <laughs> if you're gonna play a show, a show to play a good one. Any hype for panning and stalking season two? Yeah. I think it'll be a lot of fun. It will be, yeah. What the yeah. fuck is that crab stance? It's the Marissa stance. Yeah. I want to try it out and it's like, man, I am Moy not Chai. fucking ready with it. I'm too used to, to the the Luke one, so it's like my... Yeah, you go from playing a fucking Shoto to hey, you're a grappler now, bitch. You're like <laughs> And I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? And you're a grappler, but you haven't leveled up your fighting stance enough to have any of your grapples. Good luck. Yeah. You smack me on the ass? Yeah, go talk to Bina. I was gonna say, I'm, you gotta talk to people to get your, um... I know, but yeah. I, I'm running right back to Luke. I'm sorry, Sensei. I'm sorry, Marissa Sensei. And also, don't forget to check the, the merch before we leave. Yeah. Play Akuma Shoto. That, uh, that's a Shoto, right? Akuma is a Shoto. Uh, he's DLC, though, chat. Yeah. Okay. I'll be playing Ed whenever he releases. I'll, 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 give the try, I'll give the game another earnest try whenever Ed drops, because I, I really liked him. 
I hope they, I hope they redesign him. I hope he's fucking. I hope his design is cool and not the shitty fucking weird Shadowloo bullshit he had going on in five. I hated that. The only outfit I ever used was, was the Nero outfit. Oof. <laughs> DJ watching you flail your fucking grabs. Oh damn, man, you fucking suck at this. <laughs> So we less for two lives. Excited to, uh, for the return of SAO Gungale? I am. Eh. Yeah, it's Gungale it's alternative. Written by, it's written by, um... Fuck, what, what did he do? He did some actually good stuff, so maybe. Yeah. Well, it, it's gonna be the, the spin-off. It's uh, Gungale alternative, from what yeah. I understand. The, the spin-off that's, like, just SAO, but actually good. Yeah. It, it, it's Gungale. It's SAO, but with guns. Oh, Akuma's master training. Do you like Akuma just slapping the fuck out of you until he deems you strong enough? I don't know if they're gonna implement the DLC uh, characters into uh, into the world mode. It'd be cool if they did. They they should. Uh, Six. fuck it. Why not? What's the excess? <laughs> yeah! Your fucking feet are so small. It just crew socks. Look at your fucking feet. It just crew socks. That doesn't even make sense. I was against chat before, but I am now with chat. Your feet are too fucking small. Also, I think it took your shorts off. Did it? Yeah. What the fuck? Oh my goddamn pants! Uh, do you have the appearance mode to underwear? Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, yeah. Makes sense. There we go. Um... You might want to go ahead and take it off, just take it off, uh, versus putting it on those, so that the next time we go into a shop for other pants, you'll be able to see them properly. Which Legs ones? don't work like that. Uh, gear pants? Yeah, and then just uh, go up to short leggings and click on them again, and it should... Yeah. Okay, now you can actually equip the short leggings, because <laughs> it, took, it took them off. Yeah. The way it does it is weird, because technically the gear appearance menu is also another menu. So if you equip something you have, you have actually equipped, it'll unequip the physical item, but it'll show you wearing it. It's fucking weird. That is fucking weird. Because it, it fucked me up uh, whenever I was trying to, to take my hat off in the in the game. Legs don't work like that. Her feet are so fucking tight. We should go talk to Luke. I'm sure he has more more insightful shit to tell us. Uh, Junebug for a dollar. I finished Death Stranding yesterday. It was the best uh, movie Amazon game I ever played. Uh, by the way, have you finished Deathloop yet, Shota? What? Yeah, should be finished Deathloop. Did you even start Deathloop? I'm, 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 I was gonna say I'm pretty. I, I beat I beat Deathloop. Yeah. Right. Uh, let me double check and make sure I'm not getting shit mixed up. Oh, we can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know yeah. here. Yeah, it's it's Arcane's Deathloop. Yeah. yeah. We can we can equip other other stuff. You know, from like other masters. That's kind of cool. Because now we have a core circle forward. Yeah. Chat, how many weeks ago did we last talk about Deathloop? You know what? Yeah, there we go. Okay. One full second backwards. Remember yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> he has lotus feet. He really do. Just talk. Just talk to him. I'm begging you. Just fucking talk to Luke. Isn't that where we go? Uh, You can teleport there. Um, oh, yeah. I was heading the wrong way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and I forgot he's actually part of the next mission. Yeah. That I was, was gonna really say. two weeks. It's only been two weeks? I know you're lying, Chad. Oh, that shirt makes you look fat. It's the only option we have right now. Yo, but it gives you a fat fucking dump truck ass, though, yeah? They could have copied how Cyberpunk 2077 did their appearance. I haven't played the game since they added the trans transmog system, so I don't know how they did that. I started playing it again recently. Like yeah, there there is a lot here, but I'm mainly waiting on the uh, the update that will come with Phantom Liberty because yeah. that's gonna be a whole ass overhaul. I wanted I like I wanted to play it again whenever they added the Kusanagi stuff to the game, and I was like, well, I'll I'll hold off until the actual expansion because I don't want it to be one of those games that like every time they put out a semi big update, I play through it again because yeah. it's too long for that. Yeah, it's like playing Witcher. Anytime I try to replay Witcher, like I get I get maybe I get to like um, Skellige. Yeah, yeah, I get to yeah. like the, the the second visit to Skellige, and then I'm like, all right, well, I'm I'm, I'm done. Even though it's basically an on rail section until yeah. the third act. There's a transmod in Cyberpunk. Well, transmog. Yeah, 
Like, you can actually affect the uh, appearance of your stuff. It's yeah. called the wardrobe system now. That's where cool. you, you set a preset of what you want it to look like at your apartment, and then anytime you equip equipment throughout the game, you'll still look like you're wearing the clothes that you set. Yeah. Which I actually think is a pretty good idea, where it's like, yeah, hey, yeah. You, can, you can have a dedicated... This is how I want my character to look. So anytime you you mess with the um, the, the fucking uh, clothing Actual system, equipment system, yeah. Uh, um, you can press L one to do that as well. Ooh. Ow! Skill gives us log. If you like it, it's not as bad. If you're starting to be a little it, like, it's eh. not. It's not that I dislike it. It's just like I. A majority of the good part of the game. Oh yeah, you tied. Nice. Yeah, just just walk up to him and press L1. Ow. God damn it. Uh, a majority of the game that I like is before Skellige. Yeah. The second visit to Skellige, I should say. That's the thing. It's like I, I hit R1 and R2, and he wanted to block it all the fucking time. Then I hit L1. It's like he's just training to be a bitch. Just just do L1. There's no reason to do R1 and R2. Like. Yeah. Legit. It's not even like a modern control scheme. It's just they've dedicated L1 to drives and L2 to parries on the classic control scheme. Use it. Uh, L2. Okay, I'm trying to do it as he does. Just it. hold it. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was. Go. Yeah, hey, that was. Yeah. Hey, yeah, there you go. There's your parry. Good yeah. job. Don't you feel a con you, good, good job, yeah. parry. You, 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 good job. Uh. Once you get to the second continent, they have a dedicated tutorial to perfect parries, and it is it is the frame that the attack connects. So it's as it connects, not just before it connects, like it was as it connects. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, uh, so you can do a quarter circle forward and a square and triangle, and that should. Yeah. Uh, hold R2 and do special moves with uh, triangle. That's the that's the modern one. It wouldn't even let me do the modern one. Yeah. At least I don't know what I was doing there. So you said you didn't like the flip. Yeah. You're killing it. You really beat my ass. I failed that tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> failed the tutorial. Try again. I, I don't want to. Okay. Okay. We're cool. We're cool. Skeleton has too much busy work compared to Velen and Novigrad. But it's fun busy work. Like, <laughs> the oven baby chat. Come on. Yeah. Oven baby's fun. There are parts of Skellig I really like. Um, investigating why the guy turned into a bear and started killing people. That was fun. Yeah. But then you have to do the ritual with Yennefer, and that drags on a little while, because it's just... I can't believe you would yeah. exploit the dead for your own gain, <laughs> Yennefer. It's like... Geralt, really? <laughs> Geralt, you've done that. Yeah, but I only remember some of it. Yeah, it's like they, they wanted you to think she was like a sociopath, and it's like she's just doing what she has to do to get this done. I think it has such big forearms. Oh, yeah. There's a key art of, of Luke with regular size forearms, and it actually looks cursed. Like, his forearms are bigger than his fucking, his, his uh, fucking biceps. Uh, Toma remake was announced. Yeah, every stuff we're doing. Uh, chat, I don't think there's any, I, I refuse to believe there are any real Toma fans out there. I, I yeah. really do. Uh, they're making a clock, um, a clock tower one, uh, yeah. remaster, uh, and it has literally every name that you don't want attached to it. Uh, and, and, and the art they showed off does not look like Clock Tower. Yeah, his forearms grow. Yeah. Uh, what could Snoggy stuff they adding to Cyberpunk? Uh, they added an active camo system, something yeah. that was supposed to be in their beginning, but they mm. couldn't get working. Yeah. Already, you could make your character look pretty fucking close to the major. Oh yeah. But yeah, they didn't have fucking straight up invisibility until an update. Yeah. Uh, that and there's something else they added. Uh. I'll talk to him again. Yeah, it was something else. I'm trying to remember. That little light bulb there. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. I guess. Oh yeah, my the watch. Lucas Capcom's Popeye. What does that mean? It's weird to think that Bosch ended up fighting the underworld. I think he's in trouble. I don't think he's fighting them. I think he's getting his ass kicked. Uh. Okay, oh, okay, now it's just repeating. Yeah. The light bulb should have gone away. Uh, it might mean something like details or. Yeah, just use yours. Or like gift. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I will give you gum. <laughs> He liked that. Luke's literally a descendant of the Popeye. No. Luke looks like he has jaundice. It's just because we're so fucking white. Uh, remember, you can fight someone based on the major as a cyber psycho. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Este, they, they include a lot of Ghost in the Shell references. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like fucking... It's key. It's key to the identity. Yeah. 
gum. Yeah. Okay. Drone delivery. I think my favorite Cyber Psycho mission in 2077 was um the Satan one. Like the fucking Sa the fun. Satan cult yeah. one where <laughs> Oh yeah, we're just Oh yeah, you can so what he does is um if you if you you can actually skip the mission by paying him seventeen thousand, but we don't have that money. Um, he makes it where you can DoorDash food to your to your position. Okay. Totally not steroids. It's fucking gum. Thoughts on Zom One Hundred episode? I think it was an opportunity to have amazing colors. Yeah, I thought it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually excited to check out the live action movie. The live action movie comes out in like a week or two. Oh, thank God we have jeans. Yeah, and I actually think it looks pretty interesting because. It looks like it'll be a different experience from the anime, where the anime is all colorful and over the top and all that. The live action movie focuses really hard on on like the gnarliness of the zombies. Mm -hmm. I, I think it'll be fun to kind of watch them at the same time. Too bad they didn't add her hair. You talking about Kusanagi here? No, you could add it. Yeah. Literally, the first playthrough I did of the game made Corpo and made her look like Kusanagi. It was the closest thing to you know Section Nine. Yeah, Section Eight. <laughs> I thought it was Section Nine. Yeah, <laughs> Section Eight housing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can go downstairs and talk to the dude. That's cool. I forget what he wants. The hobo. Uh, Zom 100 actually looks pretty good. I liked what I saw. First episode was a lot of fun. Uh, right. You know, as stated, the, the movie looks like it'll have more, like, fucked up dark humor, while the anime's gonna be very over the top and, and, and colorful. Yeah, it seems okay. Look, one of our insiders from the Shadow Gang is eyes on Bosch. Just gotta turn on the live feed, Bosch. Ah, ah, ah. Luke, let's turn that off. <laughs> wow, that, that probably didn't do do much for you, huh? We should probably let's probably turn it off. Uh, dungeon, uh, Dragon, Dungeon Master for a dollar. <gasps> Sup, all in show. Just finished a watch party of Bumblebee with friends. Really good and fun movie. The, Bumblebee? That's the Transformers one with um. Uh, yeah, the reboot one. The Rock, right? No. 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 It, it, it was John Cena. That's who it was. Mm -hmm. I, I knew it was like someone else some, in that circle. Some dumbass wrestler. Yeah. You, here, here's your favorite fucking, or not your favorite, here's the best section in the game and it will only make you do it once, thank God. It's a beat him up in the train. Yeah. It's, a, it's like that scene from uh, from the Fatal Furies, the street fights, the final fights. Uh, the best part of the Satanic Cyber Psycho side quest was that if you read into it, you realize they were trying to pierce the black wall to contact all the pain him. Yeah? It was cool. Yeah, I like that one a lot. I also really like the actress, where uh, they kind of do a perfect blue thing where the actress forgot what was real and what was in the script. Yeah. So she legitimately thought her sister was trying to steal her husband and, like, yeah. freaked out and killed everybody. It was fucking cool. Yeah, it's kind of weird how the Street Fighter characters have cartoon proportions how it clashes with ultra-realism and graphics in a bad way. I mean, this is how the Street Fighter characters have looked since before. Yeah. Like, this is just how this is just how they've looked. People didn't start complaining about it until, uh, until recently. Oh. And I think it's just a, a add it to the frying pan. Yeah. Is that fuck? Uh, is that fuck Dan in this game? He has a shop. Uh. Is there a reason why Dan Vicky is, uh, is in the game? He walks in the Metro City and steps on a black man's white shoes to a brand new. Oh, there is a reason. Yeah, uh, I mean, the real reason is Dan's a joke character. Okay, there we go. Kicked all their asses. Beat shit like Luke Popeye arms. Yeah, that's how people have looked. I was in the middle of that attack, you fuck. People make fun of how big the feet were in 4. And now the feet are small. Dude. There we go. If you hate esports too, I mean, I don't really like them. Also, yeah, you can see on the... If you look to your left... Hmm. There's Poison. Oh, yeah. And Andre. The subway is for everyone. It's shit. There's your fucking... There's your, like, semi-Darkstalkers, uh, there's your semi-Darkstalkers reference over there. Uh, just watched the eighth episode of Kumasuma, and it's totally normal. The world loving it so far, it looks like, uh, Mega Man is about to be Kamen in the rest. Uh, the last episode of it is, is like that. Yeah, last episode's kind of a direct tie-in, where it's... It's Kazuma, it's whenever Kazuma gets TP'd in. Yeah. And, and they have, like, a whole joke where she's walking past all the... All the shit with him and Aqua. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I just seem to remember people complaining about how some characters looked in 5. I remember people saying they really liked the way Ryu looked in 5. Yeah, Ryu looked good. <laughs> uh, Nikali was a nothing character, but I don't remember people complaining about him. Um, I didn't like how they fucking, like, arbitrarily covered up characters in 5. Like Yuri. Yeah. And then they, they uncovered her alternate outfit in, uh, in this game. I hate esports culture. I don't really mind esports stuff, yeah? Yeah, esports stuff is fine. It's the corporatization of it and it turning into a fucking laughing stock. Ken looked absolutely atrocious in 5. Oh yeah, Ken looked like shit. Yeah. He didn't have a beard, that's why. That's why they fixed it in this game. Uh, Ryu looks kind of weird, but no one knows about Ken's banana hair. Ken's always has banana hair and you know it. He is blonde. Yeah. Uh, people like... People just liked uh, Ryu in 5. Like, I'd never heard anyone complain about it. Yeah, no, he was great. It was it, it was literally sexy Ryu. The only people that, com that complained about it didn't even complain about it. They were like, oh, well, like, you censored uh, you censored these female characters. You know, you censored the butt slap from uh, from our Mika, and uh, post-release. But we still have sexy, sexy Ryu. What's yeah. that? That's just that's more dumbass culture war bullshit yeah. from people that probably also didn't play the game. Look at Mayor Cody! Yeah! Yeah, look at him. Yeah, I hope it gets added as DLC. I think it, we he was backwards. He was so fun to play. So you'll never have to do that again. It's just a one off thing that's fun, but you can do it. I don't want it. <laughs> Yeah, you just like waste 60 seconds, but once you get over here, you should, uh, you can tap a fast travel sign and never have to do it again. Uh, they don't complain about him, but they do shit on him for being an awful new villain. Who? I don't know. I don't know. I'll be real, man. I don't know if you don't know. Oh, look, it's, 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 it's Mayor Mike Hagar. Stupid sexy Ryu. You made me look bad. We're Dudley Bros. We're, we're fucking, we're starving. Dudley Bros, we're fucking starving, bro. Go back to Killer Instinct, fag. Nikali, probably. I don't remember Nikali being the bad guy, chat. I don't, I don't think he was. I think he was just, like, a bad guy, technically. Ew. Is this street class? No. There we go. Don't like that for Boxing Man. Much Dudley. The most we get of Dudley is in uh, in in Cammy's in one of Cammy's arts where she's having uh, she's having or she's eating with Decap or DiCapri or DiCapria or whatever the fuck her name is. Her evil twin. Uh, Dudley's in the background of a fucking coffee shop. That's the most we get of Dudley. Dudley Bros are fucking starving, man. Oh, now we're on, you know, now now we're on this side of the yeah. city. Yeah, those cops don't clear out until way too late. The, the cops don't need to clear out, it's need access to that clothing store. Yeah. They probably uh, don't even have that many, you know, useful things. Yeah. Uh, okay, so right, look, right in front of the subway station to your left. Hmm. Nope, tur uh, tur uh, turn around. Follow the sidewalk, that way, yep. You see the yellow thing yep. spinning? I got oh, yeah, it. touch that. <laughs> I don't think it automatically activates it. No, probably not. Okay, it did. Okay, you're good. Okay. Okay. Uh, right there is the clothing shop. Yep. Right in front of you. Yep. Should be right here. Right there. Yep. And it probably won't have anything good. Oh, yeah. The people the people complain about Sound of Freedom. Yeah. This guy has a lot of shit. Okay. He does, in fact, have a lot of shit. I was going to okay. say, like, this is where they lock, like, a decent amount of the, the early game shit. Is like this dude. Hmm. And he gets a Whenever they upgrade stuff, he has more. <laughs> okay, that is literally what we need. Okay. Uh, there are certain pieces of apparel that can be worn over it, like the jacket. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... It has a bikini. Get it? It does have a bikini, but you don't get that until you get to the second continent. I uh, just came across a tweet with a bunch of French fucks pissed about Ken, uh, Ken uh, Akamatsu for basically saying, I don't think Wally and Mog is hurting anyone. I'm against censorship. Aren't they having a civil war right now? <laughs> yeah, why do you think it kicked off? <laughs> Cannot change, motherfucker. What? Uh, we need a little bit more money to to dive uh, turtleneck. I forgot. I forgot it cost a bit. 
Uh, let me actually see how much else we get. Jean jacket and brawl. Short leggings, dies. Yeah. As long as we get this, we'll, our, our quest will be complete. So, uh, get some money. Once you go do this, like, next part of the story, you'll be... Yeah. Get some money. She looks like a drug addict. You're a drug addict! You're a fucking drug addict! Fight the shop owner. You can fight the shop owner. Yeah, yeah and I think it actually does give you some, some bonuses. Uh, I think it drops dies. I think that's the main thing you'll get. Has France fallen yet? Yeah, France falls every, like, 20, 30 years. France is currently falling all the time, every time. If you press triangle, it'll tell you what they drop. Uh, it's uh, nothing but dies. Yeah. Yeah. Which is fine. You don't really need that. We just want to beat them for the moment. Is this fighter strategy? Yes. I want to make my favorite general in Pugils again. We've been starving for years. Bro, there's a reason third strike's the best, and it's because it's the only appearance of Dudley. Uh, we have four, but, like, was it really Dudley, chat? Was that really Dudley? Yo, Everclear whooping my ass right now, I bet. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck the unique uh, attacks thing is. Yeah, I don't know, because like, it, it's saying I didn't pull it off. It's like, isn't that it? Special maybe attacks? try triangle? Maybe. Yeah, I think that was it. It has to be. Okay. Because your unique attack button is supposed to be triangle, but like, I really don't know what the fuck. You, you only you can only fight everyone once per day. Yeah. So you got to go sleep if you want to fight everyone again. Uh, but uh, you're getting ready to get into a situation where you fight a bunch of people. That one's this is easy thousand dollars. Yeah. Is uh, on Demon Slayer, it's fun. I like it. Yeah. They pour the fucking money into the animation. Oh my That's God, for yeah. damn sure. Oh, yeah, you can just throw them three times. That should work. Oh yeah, that, that works as a knockdown too. Stop fucking throw escaping assholes. I know, I know it's easy to read when someone just fucking dashes towards you. It's going to be a throw, but... There we yeah, go. Got there. It. Uh... Uh, maybe Elena can be a DLC. I mean, there's... There's, like, over 50 characters that could be DLC. Like, they're not... They're not... You know, they're not starving for characters that could be DLC. There we go. Tried playing the training mode. I mean, I've gone into the training mode a little bit with a uh, with reuse style. Okay. So now die close. What, what, what are we starting with? The tube top? The turtle top? Yeah. There we go. go. Uh. <laughs> you really am. Yeah. And we do. We need more red die. So. Yeah, I have no idea what. What to do with that? Uh, oh, you just made mocking him, bro. <laughs> uh, nothing good. All right, back to the story. Yeah. That thigh gap is not healthy. <laughs> Look at her fucking pants. Uh, here's a nice, nice Ralph update. Yeah. Yeah, Ralph's not doing good right now. He, he, he's Give me your shit. <laughs> Remember the time France was raining cars? Yeah. The Street Fighter 6? Yep, this is the story mode of Street Fighter 6. Uh. Box Fighter. Yeah. It's, the, it's the Latino nostalgic critic. You talked about the fucking Rumble? There we go. Molly! Oh my god! Jump! Ah! Jump again! The hell is this thing? Right. <laughs> crouch, crouch, Lolly, it's short. It's so tiny. Wait till you get to the fridges. The fridges are a nightmare, bro. My God. The the fridges have literal extra dimensional powers. <laughs> I'm not joking. The pants are wider than the shirt. I know. I know. It's so fucked. It's so it's fucked so up. Jank. It's so jank. We might actually just have to set that to something else. So fucking jank. Oh, I need one. dice. Uh, they'll do DLC crazy. They've seen that it works. Expect the Street Fighter Six Ultimate Edition on the road. We get an Ultimate Edition. We'll get an Arcade Edition. Uh, Street Fighter Five, I think, had four four different editions. <laughs> Hard knockdowns. Uh. Look at no. fake Ken. He's so happy. He fucking loves Ken. This is just to insult me, bro. This is just to insult me. 
He's an online warrior, lolly. He's a fucking online warrior, bro. He's fucking online kin, bro. You should get the fattest fucking dump truck ass, though. Like, her, her outfit seems fine in combat. It's in the overworld. Yo, fucking... Yo, it's a fucking online warrior, bro. Yo, he joined Evo, bro. Ugh. This is what you get for joining Evo. Kenny's basically you losers. <laughs> okay. Uh, I have no idea what a hard knockdown is. Uh, that's a hard knockdown where instead they can't they can't tech it. I guess. Okay. That was just to insult Dick, bro. He loves Ken. Fuck you. Yeah. Clothing bugs kill a character creator for me. I'm gonna be real. I don't think it's a bug. I think that's just how they made it. Yeah, it might just be how it is. I have the power of God and dial up on my side. Damn, bro, yo, don't be mad, Jank. Why is your ass clipping through your pants with every step? <laughs> my guy's fucking, my guy's calves clipped through his pants. <laughs> he, also, his hair clipped through his fucking skull. Or his skull clipped through his hair. He joined Evo, now he touches kids. Oh, no. I knew we couldn't trust Kenny. That doesn't make it better, lol. Yeah, I mean, there's a difference between bug and this is as we intended. Uh, I don't care if it makes it better or not. It's just what it is. Mm. Is this final fight where the wacky character designs and scare inspired by Jojo Bizarre Adventure? This looks kind of generic. I don't think uh, Jojo had anything to do with this, if I'm being real. Yeah, <laughs> so catastrophic it makes me download the source. <laughs> Don't download source film. Okay. Right. They give you fucking pre uh, pre fight money. Uh, now to gear. I do want to take a look at a little bit. Uh, yeah. that is the wrong one. Yeah. Here. Uh. Look at the texture mapping on that deck. Yeah. Gambling money, huh? I think it's supposed to be fight money, but yeah. Yes, I would fuck the cat girl. How did you know, chat member? There we go. Booty shorts. She got the chocobo legs, bro. She, our ankles are fucked. Yeah, the, these are, like, hilariously fucked. Uh. Yeah, like, it, it feels like it's they're supposed to go on a male character. Yeah. Like, they add, like, three sizes to your fat fucking ass. I was gonna say you might be able to get away with taking them off and just doing the leggings there. Let's Is see. Over, over the knee socks now. Yeah, not perfect. No. Huh. We will. We will go with it. We'll go with it. Cause fuck it. We might find something better later. Why is your ass so fucking fat? <laughs> she looks like a slicer from Bioshock. I don't remember the slicers being that caked up. Um. I think he's in the park over there. Yeah. He's over there. Uh, we unironically need to heal, though. So, uh, I always hit that by mistake. That's not what I need to hit. Here we go. There you go. Back to full. Club, club. Uh, we might have skill points to allocate. Oh, that's good. Motherfucker. Yeah, uh, it took me forever to get out of that habit, too. Uh, here we go. Yeah, skills. Masters. L1. Yeah, there you go. Uh, max plateau. Uh, number of miles earned. Air special. Uh, we don't even have any of those to uh, Number of accessories. Max vitality. Uh, special moves you can select. Yeah, regular special moves, that'd be good. Yeah, greatly <gasps> increase uh, kick strength. And yeah, by 20, that's not bad. Oh, uh, <laughs> eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by its toe. Colors, let him go, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Pink. Yep. Now you can equip even more special moves. Yep. And their size too big, but they're still acting like they're form fitting. It's weird, right? Yeah. I was calling her ugly. Calling your dog. Shut up, whore. Shut up! Go push that kid in the ocean. I'm gonna. Fuck you, Fred. He's got the entire bank. Pink. Ugh. Big Daddy could not conceive of a way to stop what I would do to a slicer. Ugh. See, like in, in fight, it looks it looks fine, right? Yeah, it's when you actually get out and have to look yeah. at it. Bing. I forgot how fucking long is long. Mm -hmm. She 
and cook that shit. Uh. Also, uh, abuse, abuse the drive gauge. Abuse that L1. Sometimes an enemy will block one. Yeah, but, oh yeah, but okay, if you do it in the corner, it will always bounce off the corner and cl uh, even if they block it, <laughs> which means you're guaranteed uh, a hit. That is at least pretty good. Yes. Adam Oil Loser. Yeah, like the corner pressure game in, uh, in this is, is like the one main thing that I can say, oh, I, I like that. Because uh, in the corner, there's a lot of shit that goes down. Leave me alone! <laughs> Why does it look so good in the fights, but not so good in the overworld? Uh, they're probably still working out the kinks in the engine, if we're being honest. Yeah, more than likely. Like, at the same time, it's also just a fucking fighting game. It's not yeah. meant to be like this. You're, you're supposed to look at it from this angle. You're not supposed to look at it from this angle. It's a 2.5D fighter. Going down a rabbit hole, and the man is interested in this fag, uh, it's pervious article, super trash. Companies that get woke aren't going broke. They're more profitable than ever. Whoa, whoa. You're not making money from people. You're just getting money from China. Yeah, even then, that's a fucking lie. Thank you, Wyatt. Yeah. 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 Just walk that shit. Walk it, walk it. Yeah. L1. Oh, no. Yeah. How many Street Fighter women could you manhandle before you get your shit to take them all of them? Check? There we go, he's down. We've text you, hey, was watching you train, I gotta ask, what the fuck is up with your butt, bro? It's massive. I'm calling the police. How much so you lied as you got in those fucking ass cheeks? I'm calling the fucking cops. Go ahead, they ain't gonna stop me. Huh? <laughs> I work with the fucking cops, bro. I'm part of the cops. Go ahead. Tell them, they're not gonna believe you. I'm an upstanding citizen. Who are you? You're fucking nobody. Luke, gas keep, girl, boss, rape. <laughs> That's what PMCs were made for, chat. There we go. Luke, please stop drunk texting me. No, I am not up. I am currently fighting the entire fucking city. <laughs> you idiot, she has no ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. E Honda's like right through the fucking door. Congratulations on winning your first preliminary match. Two more to go. <laughs> Let's go talk to E Honda. He seems like a cool, cool dude. I don't know if he's here yet, but this is his... White lady detected. Lethal force authorized. See, she ha she looks fine. I think she's about... To she tall as fuck. Yo, Elizabeth, you Elizabeth fucking tall. Gaijin, go home! Gaijin, go home. We know want you. We are in New York. Gaijin, go home! On the bright side, there's a really nice, uh... There's a really nice, uh... You know, view of the Statue of Liberty once we get inside of the Honda's nipple shop. Bitch! There is no Easter Bunny. Damn, White Lady got some ass. Now she has hospital bills. Yeah. There is no... Oh. Yeah, food. Yeah, more food. Yeah, you don't really need any of Yeah, we don't. Not off. right now. Uh, there is a second menu of items that you can buy for your thing. Hmm? Like, if you press R1... Oh. So those are actually inventory items and gift items. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Hospital um. ass. All right, so chat... Uh, what's the Street Fighter ca uh, cast style of drunk texting? Looks clearly, yo, you want to fuck? Ryu's uh, drunk texting is probably him trying to vague talk. Uh, go back in there real quick. I, I want to show them the, the Statue of Liberty. Uh, canonically, Ryu didn't get a didn't get a phone until this game. Oh yeah. Yeah. Are you liking this game? I definitely need to put more time into it. I've not touched okay. a fucking Street Fighter in years. Yeah. The actual fighting game part of it isn't terribly fun. Is that the Monster Hunter Guild? Yeah. It's possible. It was, it was a Tanuki show up. Yeah, it is. It is Capcom. Yeah, uh, Ryu canonically, uh, Ryu canonically did not have a phone until this game. You, whenever you meet him in Japan, uh, you're the reason he gets a fucking phone, and you have to teach him how to use it. Yeah, because he is a fighter autist. My man didn't even. My man, the only reason he dresses in something other than the fucking fighting gi is because he kept get he kept getting stopped by TSA. Yeah. That is canon. Ken, what is a FaceTime? Wow, Ryu, you sure suck. I might not be able to beat you in a fight, but I can always beat you at the tech mogul game. What the fuck does that mean, Ken? It's like, Ken, how do I operate FaceTime? Oh, Ryu, you suck so bad. All you do is fight. At least I have a wife and kids. 
Okay, can how you just tell me? <laughs> how, do I, how do I FaceTime? You might have a wife and kids, but do they love you, Ken? Does your wife love you, Ken? You might have a wife and kids, but can you teach me how to FaceTime? Why is your kid got to dye his hair, Ken? Huh? Why is he got to dye his hair, huh? Why is he got to dye his hair to look like his daddy, huh, Ken? I fucked your wife, Ken. Ken, teach me how to fucking FaceTime! Did you want to FaceTime already? Do it again! Zucker's trying to call me! I want some Sakura pussy. We'll never have Sakura back, chat. There's so many characters I want to be fucking normal characters uh, that show up a lot, and they will never be because they gotta push whatever new fucking bullshit. It's understandable why Ryu wouldn't have a phone yet. I mean, dude just doesn't know how to. <laughs> dude just doesn't know how to phone. He cares not for technology, and honestly, I respect that. Mm -hmm. I love that Ryu is so fucking uh, autistic, he just loves his family. I mean, Sakura's right there and he does nothing. I don't understand him. She's also like... She starts training under him when she's a teenager. Yeah. Kid, have you heard of this thing called TikTok? No. <laughs> Ryu. Ken, I just joined MySpace. Can you teach me how to use it? The fuck is a MySpace? Oh, wait, no, no, no. Uh, look to your left. You see that guy in the blue suit to your left? But that well, the right. There you go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna get your fucking shit kicked in by Carlos Miyamoto. Where the fuck is this dude? He's Carlos motherfucking Miyamoto. <laughs> He's gonna fucking stab your ass and walk away. You look like a Yakuza character. <laughs> yeah. You just started with a warm up. I'm gonna fucking kill you. What? I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna dance with your corpse. Carlos? No! Lolly, ah! 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 well, don't don't look Carlos Miyamoto in his eyes as a sign of aggression. You don't you don't want to walk up on him in a dark alley, man. Actually, he doesn't train uh, train under her. Dan of all people. Okay. Uh, 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 <laughs> he trained her at first. She was persistent. Uh... I'm sorry, Lolly, you, you fucking lost. Ow. That fucking. You got washed. What the fuck is this, dude? Man walks up to you into a dark alley, pulls out a sword, and armors through all of your attacks. Lolly! <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is Carlos Miyamoto? Every time you say Carlos Miyamoto, it has a fucking. like a, a Spanish guitar <laughs> finger, like a. what's his face from American Dad? Yeah. He's Carlos. It's Shigeru Miyamoto's brother, he's gonna whoop your fucking ass. You ever heard of a thing called Smash Brothers Unsheathed Sword? <laughs> uh, well, I'm sees Carlos. Damn, boy! He thick, boy! There we go, motherfucker. Also, I love Dan. Uh, dude doesn't know how to fight, but damn, if he doesn't bullshit his way through. He does bullshit his way through. He's just a joke character. I've never been big on joke characters in fighting games. Especially, even Estelio Contos, that's it. Uh, even more so nowadays, since like the rosters have gotten so small that if you have a joke character in there, I literally feel cheated out of a character. Woo! Ow. It also hits behind him because he spins. <laughs> Maybe you don't deserve to go with me on my adventure to save thick bootied women at night. Carlos <laughs> Miyamoto! <laughs> Lolly, please! I tried jumping over that. It didn't. It didn't go well. He hard reads you at the beginning of every fight and takes a third of your health. Uh. Oh my god, those cross ups. Uh. Don't, don't, don't approach, don't approach. There we go. Also, don't throw a projectile at it because that attack also deflects projectiles back at you. What? Yeah! He did that and I was like, oh fuck you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw it a hotto and it just came back at me and I was like, oh. Uh. Best character. He fucking knows. He does too. Uh, you can win. You can win. You got this. You can win. You got this. 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 Grab them back up. Grab them back up. Oh, they said back up. Oh, they said back up. Jesus Christ, that really is the waterfall dance. It is. Yeah. All right. Ken Sucker. Ken Sucker sent me a photo. Would you like to open it with me? Perhaps yeah. I should have opened this when I was alone. I'll give up this one, then we'll try again. What the fuck? It, it teleports you back to like your last spawn point. So uh, you're gonna want to teleport back over to to, the, to there, and you're gonna want to fuck him up. Carlos Miyamoto is unironically cool. Dude's just a fucking. 
Dude's just a fucking Japanese dude who came to New York, adopted a Spanish a Spanish surname, pulled out a katana, and started fighting people. Everything about him confuses me. <laughs> Why isn't Carlos playable? I No other character has that sword attack. It is unique to Carlos. They made that for him. He's a fucking NPC, and they gave him a fucking unique... Carlos is one of two characters that I know have uniques. It's him and a fucking character that is core to okay. the to the fucking game, to the game story. And I'm pretty sure they just gave him Rashid's attack before giving it to Rashid. Carlos Miyamoto, Blade of Mikila. <laughs> Blade of Mikila. <laughs> Blade of Tequila. Blade, Blade of Tequila. Oh God! They gave him the drunken fist. I want to test if you said it was true. Okay, okay. He, just, he just neglected that one. Maybe it's certain types. I see. It, it takes so long to come out that by the time it gets to him, I think the reflect portion of it is over. Oop. He's, def he's definitely a dev OC. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, if you do that with the heavy, I think it goes full screen. Yeah. Ah! ah! Carlos' story is much more interesting than yours. Carlos is the main character, chat. Not us. Car Carlos caught you in the fucking in the uh, in the in the park and said, yeah. "What are you doing, you <laughs> you uh, Maki Moana?" He just fucking ran through that. Lolly walk. <laughs> just walk away, Lolly. Ow. Cheese him with the Kamehameha. What All do you right. mean he can reflect it? Let's try this. He opens up with a ah! fucking slash every fucking time he opens it up. My natural instinct is to jump in, but he's literally built to not do that. Jumping is so good in this game that all the NPCs do it to whoop your fucking ass. There we go. Oh! His neutral is the waterfowl dance, Lolly. <laughs> Lolly, he's got neutral game. Walk, walk out, Lolly. Walk out. Walk out. <laughs> Maybe it just as before. Yeah. Bitch. Oh my God! Holy shit! Those are buttons. Okay, there we go. Dude, yo, dude, dude, fighting the fighting those ghosts. He's whooping ass. Too. No. You cannot defeat him. I'll bury your shoes on top of your grave. What the fuck does that mean? All right. I'm chugging the power armor. Let's go. Next time, bring a fucking 1911. I wish. I wish there. I wish the accessories had attached with them, so you could just fucking pull out a gat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Get the fucking you know the Spanish guitar music ready. Let's fucking do this shit. I don't know why, but he. Oh god! Every time. I don't know why, but he reminds me of Anton Chigurh. <laughs> Maybe it's because he's whooping your fucking ass. There are some characters in story mode that look really cool, and you can't get their clothes. Oh god. You can get his clothes. Uh, yeah, that one he got me in the middle of a drive. Okay. He is the end game, Wally. He heal your wounds. He's level 18. Oh, he's level 15. He's lower level than us. He's about to start whiffing at the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I read you like a book, Carlos. Heavy. He's gonna go for the waterfowl dance soon. Yep. I can feel it. Get in there! Oop. For, his, for Carlos's neutral B, he pulls out the 1911. Yeah. It gave you a gun? Nope. Yeah. Ah! Honestly, so you can't do anything but dash back, because it, yeah. it is just a circle around him. Ugh. Oh, oh fuck! Oh, these motherfuckers absolutely get Ken's move set. There we go. We were shit talking. We were shit talking, Dick Bro, so hard they had to pull out the real Ken. Is that a sword? The actual Ken. Walmart Ken was Kenny. Carlos Miyamoto is the real Ken. Oh, uh, won't give a choice. We have to. Give yeah, up. We ran out of miles. You gotta run so many miles to get continuous. That's annoying. Ah! 
They figure eventually you'll learn to stop throwing your head against the brick wall. I'm gonna. Carlos the sword sink. We're going back. So what, it takes me 30 seconds to get to Carlos. I came to fuck Carlos up! I need to prove. Lolo's... <laughs> Lalo. Lalo, you suck. Your dad was so much better. <laughs> I, like the, I like the part in Better Call Saul where, uh, where Gus just walked up to Lalo and said, You suck. Your dad was so much better. <laughs> your tiny shoes betray your even tinier feet! He says he slides underneath you and fucking pulls the katana out. <laughs> we need to beat up jobbers in the street to feel big about ourselves. No. Beat up the scrapping cells, man. No. I'm ready, Carlos. You came to bleed again. What do you think? Bleed, you can. Oh, At least this one doesn't have any gimmicks. It is just a straight-up fight. Yeah, just a straight-up fight, and Carlos is strong. I was gonna say, okay, you know for a fact he opens up with the with it every time, so just never jump in as soon as the round starts. Yeah. What? Ah! What do I do in the corner? You fucker! Stupid Carlos, weak Carlos. They all make fun of Carlos, but I show them. You studied the blade, right? Put a fucking. Oh god. Carlos watches with that with that Carlos Miyamoto stare as you whiff a fucking projectile. Still got him. Ow. Oh yeah, yeah you got him. Yeah, yeah you got that. You're big tough. Yeah. Yeah. Get the big man. Carlos, show him what it's about. Nope. Whatever. Whenever you, whenever you finally get Luke's uh, affinity up high enough, he does give you a straight up projectile. Okay. He gives you his version of Hadouken, and it's just faster Hadouken. Ugh. Bink. Yeah, there you go. If you charge that, it does, does good damage. After all, Luke is a semi-charge character. Ah! You think I needed the sword? You broke my fucking ankle! Did it just slice the coming out of me, huh? Yeah. I almost got you that round, motherfucker. Oh, this, God. This fight has no gimmicks. They can pull the sword in a street fight. Yeah, it's a street fight. What do you expect? Yeah, it's a special. It's fair. There's no rule against it. Just your average Hispanic, Japanese, American member of MS-13. Lolly, <laughs> don't jump in. You knew better. Yeah. Get that good shit. Lolly, no. Lolly. Lolo. Uh, I wish Carlos was your rival instead of fucking. He would unironically be cooler. Like, uh, they're like, oh no, we can't let Carlos be your rival because he, he looks too generic. And then you fucking look at Bosch and you're like, you betrayed me. No! Get in there, Lolly. You can't let him win. Yeah! Yeah! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Carlos got footsies, bro! <laughs> We're learning. We are learning. And he jumped it. We block lows in this house. <laughs> Carlos knows you're lying. I know the exact kind of training you need, Lolly. Go to the go, go past Carlos. Yuri tries to run him over and he chops the motorcycle in fucking half. <laughs> <laughs> he goes Yuri. Uh, Juan right for a dollar. Carlos was too big to be called an NPC. Too mm. big, too thick, too heavy, and too rough. He was more like a large heap of main character. <laughs> what is that? Makima loads 1911. You know exactly what it is, bitch. Then he cuts the fucking bullet in half. <laughs> uh, I don't need the sword. I only need to kick your ankles. <laughs> you need a montage. No. I need vengeance. Our version of Makima is just the... Uh... <laughs> It's just, uh, the fuck, I forget his name, the deer from, uh, Beastars, he's got brittle bone disease. Yeah. Yeah! He really did just cut the fucking thing. Oh, no! <laughs> he's never done it multiple times in a row. He's never done that before. Carlos Miyamoto, devil. <laughs> Makima's powers don't work on him because she because she doesn't think she's better than Carlos Miyamoto. There we go. Keep it, keep it going, keep it going. 
Uh, oh, don't let him catch you in a dark alley like this. Don't let him catch you in a dark alley like this. Grab his ass, grab his ass. Oh no, 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 no. I am not yeah! talking about Yeah! You need to you need to win the right to call yourself anything other than Makima. Alright, round two. Let's go, she bitch. Oh my god! I need you to win this for the edit. I need you to job for the edit. Whoa, Lolly, why are you, why are you, why, why? I was trying to do another charge up, I got too close. Oh god, Miyamoto can clear full screen through sheer pressure. No! No! Judgment cut. All right, we're down to the wire. Honestly, Carlos should just look his fucking hair back every time he beats. <laughs> Final round. He's running in. Oh. Oop. Uh, Dave's game with Fiora sounds like short of pissed his pants again. Cat member, are you good? Volley. <laughs> ah! By the time I notice it, he's already in the process, and I can't get out. Your reaction times are weak, old man. Very weak. <laughs> Do it again. Just keep it going. Keep him in the corner. No! <laughs> Every time I notice he's pulling out the sword, I'm too dedicated to something else. Like, fuck, 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 get out! This is a Carlos stream now, bitch. <laughs> he leaves you on the, on the fucking the brink of death every time. Every attempt. Oh, I meant to go on the map. Every attempt, though, we're getting closer. We actually got a one. Don't worry, Lolly. I'll trim it in the editing room. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Miyamoto's Conqueror's Hockey he can kill you instantly, but he weakens himself to give you the chance. <laughs> While he's pulling out his John Holmes sized cock when the screen fades to black, how does it feel, Lolly? Him, him calling you Makima by clapping your cheeks. <laughs> Get baited, bitch. Really? Yeah. Every <laughs> single time I'm like, okay, I got him in a good move, then he starts pulling out. I was like, oh, fuck, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, it's my turn to win. Oh. It ain't got to be like this. It ain't got to be like this. You don't have to do this. You'll always be Makima at this rate. I will not be Zoomer bait. Zoom, zoom. Oink, oink, zoo pals. Ribbit, ribbit, zoo pals. Zoo pals make eating. Oh. <laughs> 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 That was a hefty hit, too. No! Oh, fuck, I didn't notice! Oh, no Carlos, way! Carlos Miyamoto does not eat off of Zoo Pals! One way for five dollars, there's true and living profit of Carlos Miyamoto, and I don't want to confront him, Cormac McCarthy. <laughs> Zoo Pals are for the weak of mind, the easy of soul. <laughs> The fuck did Zoopals do to you, you asshole? Cut your fucking hand in half. So Street Fighter powers are key or other powers? They're just you being really good at martial arts. Yeah. Carlos doesn't have a super meter because he, he's better than supers. Ugh. No! Carlos is really exuding main character energy right now. Hit him in the dick! Show him what Zoopals are made of! You can win this! Ugh. Take him down with the power of your friends and the hand zoo pals. <laughs> that was a really long windup. Uh. The power of God, anime, and my zoo pal pal plate. <laughs> if I'm eating chicken nuggets, I'm doing it off a fucking alligator! I'm gonna show you what true victory is, Carlos! Me and my oink oink piggy zoo pal! <laughs> oh god, he blocked me. Oh god, you're in the corner! Lolly, stop jumping in! He's got the. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you ever watch a train crash? 
<laughs> and you're screaming out to the conductor to stop. He stands over her body, just rips a zoo plow paint in half. <laughs> he fucking he crumples the froggy zoo plow plate up and <laughs> drops it on your chest like a microphone. One hundred fifty dollars. If he's not the word of Carlos, Carlos never spoke. <laughs> Carlos is such a, such a G to keep fighting you until ah! you win. We don't have time for this! We need to fight our lord and savior, Carlos! Get out of here, Crow! Get away! You're not Carlos! Get down! Praise yeah. the lord, Carlos. You're not the one I need! Carlos is really kind to give you this many rematches. Truly a merciful MC. There we go. We'll get there one day, chat. So it looks like it looks like non-charged projectiles. I yeah. think I think since uh, since her her uh, Chun Li's projectile is a charge attack, I think it just deletes it instead of reflecting it. Yeah. And thank God. Can't you parry? Not that attack. That I looks don't like a full think you super. can parry that. <laughs> we can try, but I don't think it'll work. I'm gonna start seeing katanas in your nightmares. Oh boy. And here, uh, I'll try it real quick. My favorite character from Metal Lock Clips. Oh, nope, okay. it will not work. You cannot parry. Uh, I like the I like the the, the lead singer. Uh, Nathan. Yeah, he was fun. Mm. I always liked Toki and Squizgar. Yeah. You know they were they were funny shit. Their accents are fun. Yeah, especially when it was like stop copying me, stop copying me, and they would scream like that. Oh god. No. Whenever you finally beat Carlos, he gains a super a super meter and becomes MVC3 Virgil. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Carlos. Holy shit, is that Kagura from the hit anime Gintama? Not until we win this match. Not until we win. Until then, it, we're mocking him. Until we, we don't have the right to be anyone. <laughs> Carlos, Carlos misnames you on purpose. Earn your name. Earn, earn your name. Earn no! your title, control devil. <laughs> You're getting wrecked by some LARPer in a park with a katana. <laughs> I don't think Carlos is a LARPer. I think he's got a gun, chat. At what point is he not LARPing and he's just being fucking legit? Oh god. I think you're dead. The katana does, like, a lot. Yeah. Oh my god. Why well, worry about the pace we edited out anyway? <laughs> yeah. At this point, at this point, Lolly, I think Carlos is just grinding you for his own journey. <laughs> We had no idea, but Carlos was his own man with his own mission. Can we upgrade anything at all? It might uh, Go to the map and see if, if uh, Luke has anything to tell us. Uh, max vitality number... Here. That will help. Let's see, uh, you need, like, special attack. You need, yeah. I, think, I, think, I think the punch is a unique attack. Okay. Uh, this is super arts. Yeah, we don't have any level 2, I don't think. Yeah. yeah. Do, 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 do. Check your special moves, see if we gain. I don't think we gain anything, though. Nah, it's all still. Yeah. Uh... That one yeah, is. You'd have to sacrifice your uppercut, which yeah. I'm pretty sure is the main thing that you're. Do you want to try to talk to Luke real quick and see what? Yeah, you can check on the map. If you if you uh, pull up the map. Uh... Yeah, he has something to say. Okay. So I can just. There. The disciple of Jetstream Clam, he really is. Oh my god. Lolly, this string of defeats lies at your feet. You made her too breedable. Look at that dump truck ass. Look at that dump truck ass. We must we must speak to Sensei. Sensei, this dude of the sword keeps whooping my fucking ass. How do I beat him? I work for a PMC, <laughs> a private military company. <laughs> what the fuck does this have to do with this? We provide security. My company also does training exercises and lectures. Is this gonna help me? Cause that guy's really scary. <laughs> that guy's really strong. He keeps beating my ass. What I'm suggesting here is you actually need to fly to other countries and protect <laughs> and protect their citizenry. It's what? basically a crash course in unarmed combat. The cool kids call it CQC. They're exactly what you call self defense. <laughs> you can talk to him again. What's up? <laughs> Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. You can help me learn. You're not making out of this alive. Oh, thank God. 
Ugh. Luke knows his own mo move set better than you know your pure hands. Ugh. Luke beats women in this house. Ugh. Makima, try to remember the basics of CQC. Oh fuck! Oh, you're not making out of this. <laughs> I like the idea that Luke just punches the air so hard that air is what hits you. Yeah. <laughs> boss, remind me of this basic. Boss, remind me of the basics oh, fuck. of the CQC. Oh fuck! What do you mean he blocked it? <laughs> what do you mean he blocked it? Oh god! What do you mean he blocked? Ah! <laughs> I don't care. I think that I think that attack is him throwing sand at you. <laughs> but uh, in my head camera, he just punches the air so hard it's like a fucking mantis trip. It creates an air pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Can you survive drinking the elixir? Of course, chat. They're definitely improving. Fuck you. Yeah, you can fight him again. <laughs> <laughs> One way per dollar. When it, whatever in creation exists without Carlos' consent exists exists without his consent. The oh, judge. Well, oh, we might be able. We might be okay. So we can call him in. We might be able to call him in for the Carlos fight <laughs> and watch him get fucking <laughs> sliced to shit by Carlos Miyamoto. Is he already set? Like, is there a specific? Uh... Yeah, he, he automatically gets set. I, it chooses from. It chooses uh, randomly of your of the people you have like the highest affinity with. Okay. Uh, cause like mine kept sw switching between um. <laughs> Chun Li and Luke. Okay. And I was like, I don't even play Chun Li game. So we will we will do the honorable thing and, and throw and throw Luke at him. And throw Luke at him. <laughs> let's let's fucking pray it lets you use him. Such is the power of Luke. Such is the power of Luke. Look where your failures have brought you. Crawling back to me, Luke. Unsheathed sword. <laughs> I think this fight is between y'all. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. The near like. I, how do you think? How do you think Luke got so cut up, Lolly? <laughs> he lost his fights. The the fucking near music starts blasting. You have that weird like chanting. <laughs> Is that Carlos Miyamoto, Musashi's Mexican descendant? You guys are fucked. You gang up on Carlos, and he's still gonna kick your fucking ass. <laughs> yeah. Now we have the faith of our master at our side. We can do anything. This really is just a Gintama episode. Kagura gets her ass kicked by a random dude and tries to get Gintoki to help her, and they both get their ass kicked. This is dangerous work, so I want to make sure you can you can handle it. Yeah! Alright, so you need to build your meter up, and then you press L1 and... Ah! <laughs> you need to build your meter up, and then you press L1 and R1 and yeah. summon Luke. Summon Luke like he's an icon. Uh. No! No! Send him! Help me! Kick his ass, Luke! Hey, uh... It's just kind of fucking job and Luke out here. Good job, Sensei. Real, real good job, Sensei. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry, you got this, Kagura. <laughs> Sensei, please come back. You got this. I believe in you! Not even your stand could beat Carlos. <laughs> I believe through the power of friendship I can beat I can beat Carlos. I'm getting the fuck out of here. One guy, one guy went, Luke! And then that guy immediately after that, Luke didn't do shit! <laughs> Luke. There will be blood, blood, shit, shit. <sighs> the man Mirror, uh, Call in Luke while fighting Carlos and he turns around and starts beating your ass. <laughs> hey man, I'm just playing on the winning side. Yeah, 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 put that pressure down, put that pressure down. Yeah, 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 I STILL WON! Luke, help me- Ah, uh, you got this. Rich, you don't mean shit! This guy got hands! You got this, Kagura. But he's got hands. Bink, 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 bink. Uh... Oh, no! Oh, no! 
I was almost out of range too. It was one punch that put me in range. I was gonna say, I think his sword does like 3,000 damage, so you can't survive another one. Pop, pop Luke, pop Luke. Luke, let Luke take the sword. He's got this, he's got this. Beat his ass. All right, all right, he's getting those combos in. He's getting those combos in. He's getting that Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, he's gonna do sword backup. Backup, oh God. No! Oh no! You're in his range, Lily! Uh, Pop Luke and run! Yeah, 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 yeah! Hold it carefully! You got this in the back! Uh, to the power of yeah. Sensei! You did it, Sensei! We did it! Yeah. <laughs> He'll officially recognize us as his partner. Thank you, Carlos Miyamoto. At the end of the, at the end of his this this is the start of his quest line, Lolly. <laughs> you need to go help him fight some people trying to rape a girl in the park, and then you have to fight him again. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, I'll sh I'll tell you where to go. They call him Carlos Miyamoto. <laughs> dame, dame, dame yo. <laughs> it's like a Japanese chanting mixed with Spanish guitar. There you go. Why does her victory pose look like she's trying to take a massive shit? That's that's Luke's victory pose. He fucking does that face. It's so weird. Oh my god. You're gonna have to teleport there. Yeah. Because they haven't they taken down the barricade. One week for two dollars. What's the most you ever lost in a Carlos toss? <laughs> What's the most you've ever lost in a Carlos toss? Heads or tails? Call it. The dude looks like he's gonna fucking rape you. He has a drone with missiles! Uh -oh. Maybe he will. Alright. Yeah, focus the drone! Like, they, they stand in air for a little bit and then launch. It's so fucking weird. That's not gonna, not gonna. I was trying to do, like, an, just an uppercut. <laughs> forward, back, forward. There, there we go. go. Or forward, down, forward, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, right, it's uh, pull, forward, down, forward, and then forward. Pull up the map. Uh, you need to go, like, here. Yeah, right here? Yeah. Uh, you can teleport up to that one. Or, yeah, actually, yeah. yeah just do the, the one right the by the dojo. The fucking, the drone delivery covers it up. I know, I hate it. Yo, GT, GTA 6 looking great, yeah. You officially ascended to the protagonist comic relief assistant. We did it! You really are reliving Gintama. Yeah, just follow, yeah, there's the park. You want to go up to the Skybridge part. Yakuza Infinite Wealth looking good. So, so Carlos is just Madal if he actually became cool. Don't talk to him, no! I'll make you, like, stronger and stuff. No. I think that's the level 2 uh, of, of beat him without taking damage. Yeah. Which means he's stronger. Alright, right. Yeah. We need all the help we can before we fight Carlos. <laughs> Is Ryu and Chun-Li a thing? No, but she's friends with them. Yeah, they're friends. Uh, Ryu is literally too autistic to have feelings for anybody. He, he just has he has, just has an intense desire to get stronger. <sighs> okay. Alright. Uh, look to your right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, up there. Up here? Yeah. I'm away, losers. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh, you have to come up here during night. So you right, actually have okay. to go to the purple marker okay. first. So let's do that then. Yeah. I, I do like that. So, like, Street Fighter V's thing was, oh, man, uh, Ryu's becoming consumed by the Hado. Like, well, what's he what's he going to do? And Street Fighter VI is, oh, no, he, I, no, no, he, he got inner peace. He good. Yeah, he good. He good. No more evil Ryu. Fuck you. You guys didn't buy all the Kage merch, and I'm standing there livid because I'm like, Fu I fucking hate Kage. Just give me Iori, you dicks. Uh. Oh, man, it's, man, she got a dumpy. Tell you. Does Chun Li want to ride the Ryu Express? She's gone shopping with him. Yeah. Like it. Like they're mainly just friends. Thank God you live. Thank God you live next to the. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Hit, uh, I think that's a Luke quest where Luke tells you, "Hey, go beat up a bunch of Mad Gear dudes and come back." I'm gonna do it. I need die. 
where you got laid and rest and released the dark hollow. Shopping, let's go with the handhold in the extra pregnancy. She bought him an outfit. She actually got Kiryu to go, uh, not Kiryu, uh, Ryu to go shopping and don't, 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 don't. Just say no. Just say no. No. He wants you to do a bunch of part-time jobs. Fuck you. No. Fuck you. Hey, it's all good. Instead of committing time aside. Well. He'll never, he'll never accept you. I told him no over and over again. It's like, but you can go do some part-time jobs. I don't want to. You ever find yourself in the excess of time? No. Fuck off. Ryu's Japanese, right? I don't think uh, I'm over too well if you got in a relationship with Chun-Li. That's racist. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna say, if you keep going straight, you'll... Yeah. There he is. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> they call him Carlos. I'm Pino. so sorry for what he's about to do to you. So Street Fighter 6 is beating up a bunch of randos in the neighborhood. The uh, adventure mode is... You're out here doing random shit, and, like, other characters are living peaceful... Like, the actual Street Fighter characters are living peaceful lives, training people. Yeah. Then white men came. You see, you, you see him standing menacingly out there. Ah! Is that fucking dude Juke you? This is about to hurt. Yeah, I know. Oh my god. How the fuck do you get those stupid little drones? Carlos just watching you get your shit fucking whooped three feet away from him. I am Carlos, savior of the week. If you can beat me, you can stand up to a couple drones and a rando on the street. This is Carlos! Yeah. Carlos is the riding of this world. There we go. Should sure, Asians are racist? I'm just being realistic. I don't think Kiryu has any concept of race. I'm gonna be real. Not Ryu. Kiryu, Ryu. You keep calling him Kiryu. Oh, hey, that, that's that's on Ryu, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, Street Fighter Six isn't the same without Carlos. Yeah. I fucking hate these little drones. You gotta you do it. Do a jump and figure out what what jump attack uh, covers the most distance. Also, yeah, sure you can fucking just, just go pretty good. Four dump four. Yeah. There we go. Oh, fucker. Yeah. Blood ready? Yeah. Button toys are exactly what chest needs, exactly. There we go, okay. One more. We just have to smack him to death. Yeah. Why did you get so much health? Ah! God, those are annoying. Human Bison's finally killed for good, and look at the world. Metro City runs amok with crime and vigilantes. <laughs> Before we fight, uh, be a good idea to pop some health. Yeah. But don't worry, he's on your side at first. All right. Hey. They've been targeting victims in multiple locations. I want you to talk to them and gather clues. Uh. Don't talk to people. Okay. Farewell, my friend. Until we meet again, my friend. Now where do we go? I think you, uh, you gotta figure out who you need to talk to. They'll be marked blue on the map. Yeah. Uh, that being said, <laughs> so are all the other people. Yeah. Well, I, I can just look you at can, the map. Yeah, you can hover over them and see who you need to talk to. Uh, Danger Seminar, Danger Seminar. Yeah, those are tutorials. Danger Seminar. Tutorial. Okay. There he is. Over oh, we the gotta pier. go to the pier. <laughs> nice. Okay. Alright. Basically just a straight line. That's on Bravely Default. It's fun. Ah! God damn it. Fucking drones. Bravely Default's fun. Kiryu is just real with key. So Kiryu. Because he has heat. Key. You. I fucking hate these drones. It's the, it's the K. I. They come before the Ryu. Kiryu. What are you talking about? We've been over this chat. Lolly is retarded. Like, I don't Motherfucker! It's all fucking drones! Figure out what jumping attack covers the most distance, you fuck! I was gonna say, we're just spam the fucking Jory Ah! There we go. 
Oops, all drones. Yeah. Chat, what if I told uh, you the fridge is worse? Uh, Juan Wick for a dollar. Uh, Carlos Miyamoto is neither Nate nor is he early. He kicks your ass precisely <laughs> when he means to. I was gonna say you just take a like a left here. Yeah, we just. be straight, but. Yeah. yeah, we just keep going this way. And then take a right once you get to the Ken Masters building up there. Uh. Did you know my girl soccer in Street Fighter Six? The best I can do is recreate it within the world with the Avatar. Yeah, it sucks. Motherfucker! At least you get the first attack in. And also, you don't have to fight a drone, therefore easy. Yeah. Like, holy shit. The the drone uh, the drones and the Roombas are literally to test whether or not you know how to play the game. And just watching people fumble at it is, is the funniest shit. Thanks, Sensei, you fucking prick. Hey, hey these, these random internet anons getting strong. Hey, you got new pairs of pants. Metal. I think those pants will actually work for us, too. There we go. Holy shit. Okay. Hola, Makima. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, they're a little bit more. Okay. So. Well, I mean, I mean, looks-wise, they might fit better. Uh. Track God, they're fucking tracksuit pants. Yeah, they're track pants. Fuck. Uh. For style, but we will have to change it back. There we go. There we go. Bro, yeah. I didn't think the school <laughs> We also need health, holy fuck. We're running out of health. We are out of health. <laughs> well, he just fucking... Oh, God. <laughs> These people move like rabid animals. The city's infested with fucking rage fire zombies. I say I believe you since I played a world tour. What are you talking about? What, what, uh, what is that in reference to? Ah. Uh. The track pants fit better. They do, but they shut up. We're going for a theme here. The theme is is looking garish. There we go. She got that Soviet drip. Yeah, we met. We're not making out the hood out here. Oh, thank you, God. We leveled up. All right, take a right. Yeah, yeah. You see the pier? Yeah, we can get to the pier. We can get to the pier. Thank God. Thank God. We can get to the crab festival. Oh god! Just talk to Omar! You just need to get to Omar! Uh, I was gonna say, you're gonna wanna fuck that thing up. Like, now. God, he can't heal it. Luke! 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 Oh! Ow. I hope we have enough miles to just continue. We should be able to. Oh, thank yeah, God. We, do. we have just enough. Back from now, back from home, and they also have fucked up health. Yeah. They are not Carlos Miyamoto. They are they are held to the confines of this world. Oh, thank God. Dude, uh, sure you can... Uh. <laughs> that weak-ass fucking... I can't decide which one I want to face. Yeah, that, that's a problem. That's a problem that, that this mode has. Would you believe me if I said the fridge was worse? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, the fucking the super powerful fucking like servers too. Yeah, shit's wild. The there the vagrant fridge though. The fucking Kiryu fridge was insane. Not the Kiryu, the Ryu fridge. Kiryu's just a better name. I don't make the rules. Talk yeah. to Omar. Oh my God. What is? It? Oh, you didn't investigate the robbery. You don't even to look the part, but whatever. So Who we'll gives a shit about a robbery? You can't walk down the fucking street without people trying to kill you. I think Carlos took his eye. Upside is still safer than New York. Yeah. <laughs> Turn the fuck around now. No. We ain't winning this. Healthinator ham. I like you just have roving gangs of people that pick a side interest in, in fucking uh, Metro yeah. City, in New Donk City. Ugh. 
You're gonna want to heal before you uh, you interact with anyone again. My God, so much violence. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say you can also just figure out where he is and teleport there. You're gonna have to go to a a shop. Yeah. And buy some food. Yeah. To be fair, you can also like buy healing items from the shop though. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, where is he? Uh, oh, Carlos. Uh, Carlos, you need to meet him during the day by the by the uh, metro city. So you're gonna have to go to the hangout. Yeah. Yeah. So. So the, yeah, literally right here, and we're right by shop anyway. Yeah. You punched him in the balls. He didn't give me a choice. He came up on us, chat. We didn't have a choice. What can I get you? So yeah, this will heal instantly. Yep. And then if you press R1. Uh, I was gonna say you only need one, I think. Yeah. You need two. Yeah. They don't. Uh, uh, okay. Well, he does not carry the proper healing item, so maybe the one by uh, by the city. Thanks for stopping. Or by the statue. You know what? I dare you. Should I buy a figma of Mori? No. Thanks for the Berserk series, bro. Enjoy the the games. Yeah. the ball. Oh god. It gets worse in the late game. Oh yeah, I know. I I, I beat the story. Like, bink. Nice. All you had to do was sell me disposable items. All you had it didn't to have do to be this way. Walk away. All right. Sleep till your daytime. Think, uh, do you do you think he uses his heat expansion powers to fist chicks? Absolutely. I assume you're talking about Luke. Absolutely. All right. No, we need the map. Uh, yeah, there he is. It's party time, party time. There he oh, is. Oh yeah, he, he's <laughs> he's fucking in the factory area, or the person you got to talk to is. I think he's a ninja. Yeah, just straight ahead. Yeah. Nope. Turn around. Yeah. All right. So this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Buy the marine. It's cheaper, and you can get it faster instead of waiting until next year. Yeah. The Shusha Shusha Shisha uh, marine. Isn't it a Sancho? I don't know. I don't fucking watch VTubers. Well, Sancho is. is supposed to literally mean captain. Okay. Alright. Oh. It gave me such a spook. Oh, yeah! I go to... <laughs> the dude ahead of you, he, he just tells you to play fucking basketball. This guy? No, the dude in the suit. The dude that stands out. <laughs> yeah. Baller Mondo. Yo. I bet you've never seen basketball before. We're in New York. Do you want to play basketball? No. Right. Something wrong? Don't you need cash, you bitch? Don't, don't you want to play basketball? No. Not really? Oh, yeah, turn around. She's spinning the fucking ball on her. Oh, yeah. Mm. Alright. Um, uh, Carlos. Yeah, yeah now you meet back up at the, sh at the thing. Alright. Um, nope, 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 nope. Not this way. You can't get out this way. Oh, yeah. Um, once you get out here to the street, if you go to the right, it's faster than going around the way that you've been going. Like, you see the opening over there? There? Uh, no. See it? Yeah. There yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Holy shit, is, isn't Hat J. Depp? Yes. Of course it's Johnny Depp. Crack cocaine and all. So now we fight him again. I think you have to help him first, and then you fight him again. Okay. It's just from my CEO meeting. Walk past all the missile drones to come and play a little-known sport called basketball. You ever heard of it? <laughs> <laughs> all these important CEO meetings I'm having, and I decided to play a little game of basketball. I'm not sure if you've heard of it, poor. He understands me. Oh, you know, he's the only person that's insulted you with words instead of physical violence, so yeah. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Pretty good. So, so yeah. He's, yeah, he's going over to stop a robbery. Yeah, so now you need to switch swap to nighttime, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I think uh you can you can check before you go there, you can check and see. It'll be that little skyline area I had to go yeah. to before. Uh well he said tonight, so I'm assuming Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be. It's gotta be at night. Okay. No ninja loitering. So one just fucking punts the basketball in her face. Have you watched Ninja Scroll? Yeah, it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's basically Ninja Berserk. 
All right. You mean Nim Jerk? There, there he is. Go. Okay. So now... Yeah, you just take this all the way down to the park. And this should be a lot less violent. Oh, it's going to be way more violent. <laughs> it's going to be so fucking funny. Ah! <laughs> this should be a lot less violent. Oh, they're jumping me, Chad. They're fucking jumping my ass. What did I do to you people? You, I just want to walk people. down the street. You people? My people are a fine breed. Bitch. It didn't have to be this way. You have to fucking fly to another country to get sneakers, by the way. You, you can't get sneakers in New York. You have to fly to a third world country. I'm not joking. My God. When I saw the sneakers, I was like, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh. Ken's, Ken's in that building to your left. You need a hard hat to go there. I mean, Ken's not Carlos, though. Ken, Ken is the closest thing to beating Carlos you're going to get. <laughs> That is a lot of red. That, that is a lot of red, guys. Just fucking walk past him. Ah! Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, God. Oh, one of them's Cammy. Oh, thank God. You better fucking beat that bitch fast. Yeah, Cammy's gone. Oh my god, like, no, my god. You can't steal sneakers from one of those TV heads? No, that's the funniest thing. That's what made me think of it was the, the TV heads are wearing sneakers, and I was like, yeah, you can't get sneakers until you get to the fucking, like, Middle East country. That's weird. Yeah. There we go. Ready to play 89 bucks here in the States for some J's or hit to the Southeast Asia and get it for four, for four bucks from the sweatshop directly? Hey. I think that one chick is supposed to be Roxy, that one sitting on the bench next to the Mohawk chick. Are you ready for Carlos to, to literally not do anything? <laughs> Hunt uh, for two dollars. Makima fights Pirate Cynical in color 2023. Yes. Pretty sure the guy I beat up was black. Uh, Probably. Right. Yeah, fucking Miyamoto's here to beat up the black guy Tomas. Uh, that, is, that is Roxy. Yeah. The god. The Chad, the master of the blade, the creator of doom. Carlos Miyamoto. Alright, Carlos, go beat their ass. Just, uh, just hide behind <laughs> Carlos, bro. He's got this. <laughs> Carlos. Ah! Ah! Oh, God. Carlos, kick his ass. Tomas has me. Uh. Get that bomb o'clock, get that bomb o'clock. Y'all see the Gen Z phenomenon known as Skibbity Toilet? Yeah. I have no idea what that's about. It's, it's dumb stuff. It's just like, it's the dumb, like, internet version of keys jingling in front oh. of you that every generation has. It's just this generation's. Yeah. Dick Bro told a story about, like, when he was walking around outside his place and... Yeah, those like, fucking he, kids he there that the fucking harassed him. And, 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 like, they were... Like, the way they described an, it... That was an unironic, like... I was like, that couldn't be me, bro. I would've just beat the shit out of those fucks. The, the way he described it, like, the kids were mildly annoyed to kick their ball and they puked out, like, every fucking... Just, like, Zoomer buzzword possible. Where, where they go, like, all right, rewind and, and, and shit like that. Like, every fucking Zoomer meme you can think of was... Was thrown at Dick Bro, who was just standing there like, "What the <laughs> fuck are you people talking about?" All right, so I think you, I think he wants you to meet him back at the statue again. We shall see. Uh, which means it'll probably, uh, yeah, it's this is considered a different part, and you can't move out of here. You got to jump down. It's weird. Yeah, it is very weird. That was all, Carlos. <laughs> Carlos fucking making that guy break, like break gravity, was funny as fuck though. Yeah, yeah we gotta go and, and change the time. Daytime. Uh, fun Rick show as Carlos calls Thomas the N word. Colorized twenty twenty three. Dick Bro should. Uh, Dick Bro should have beat those kids. I, unironically, I would have. Yeah. Because like, like the one kid's like, bro, did you just kick my ball, and he's like, no. Yeah, you just kick my fucking ball, man. You just kick my ball. And like they like the. What you got gotta fucking grab one of those shoots by the throat. What got me was that. He, he was talking about like how they were puking out like every fucking Zoomer buzzword ever, and it's like, 
You just kick my bra, my ball, my ball, bro. He just kicked my ball. Looks to the other kid. The other kid goes, "Yeah, you just kicked your ball, bro." And then I fucking I'm trying to think of the fucking zoomer shit that they said. Yeah, we we'd have to scroll back up through the group chat to read it, but it was like, it, it, it some of it was like I was legitimately staring at my phone, baffled when he was like texting us about it. It was like, what the fuck does that mean? We're like, I would have been confused. Where it's like, are you fucking speaking Greek? Talk normal, you fucking morons. Right. Dick bro walks back into the house to grab his replica and functional mass sword. He'll show them the true meaning of slay. <laughs> Slay, queen. You are getting old. Mm. <laughs> why the love of Christ didn't he kick one of them in the nuts? No need for words. Well, I know why you're here. Shall we begin? All right. Yum. Okay, he doesn't open up with the sword. Holy fuck, he hits hard though. Yeah. Oh my fuck! He is 14 levels of us. Carlos was literally sandbagging before. <laughs> okay, okay, I, I found, I found it. Are you serious, bro? I said what? He goes, you kicked my freaking ball. I look at him and go, no. This little shit, this shit's already chronically online because he's throwing a football with his friend, and they stop for a second. He looks at him and goes. Uh, and says to his friend, pause, comes back and says, all right, unpause. And then when the other kid missed, uh, missed the throw, he looks at him and goes, you're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. <laughs> yeah, and, and I, was re like, I was reading that shit going like, what the fuck are they talking about? You're not that guy, pal. You're not that guy. I'll kill you. I'm going to crash there the next time you're a, uh, I'm in Metro for work. I'm your master, remember? Better roll out the red carpet when I, when I grace you with my presence. <laughs> Yeah, I like that uh, whenever you talk to your masters, uh, you can fucking send them, you can just send them emojis. Yeah. And I sent for every female. <laughs> it was only hard emojis. Alright, y'all see they removed the black wandering traveler, Robert E. Lee's horse, yeah? Yeah. The horses are racist now, chat. Carlos, the chill. I thought we were. I thought we were having fun. I came to fuck. I oh, see that lady's dressed like Chun Li, motherfucker. I yeah. need that. I don't. <laughs> I wish you could beat it off of her. Okay, what challenge do I need for this? Defeat this opponent. Yeah. Plus. It is rare though, so it's possible. Bing, 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 bing. So I think I think she just gives you. Uh, I think she just gives you fucking die. Yeah. She gives you there you die. go. Like it's always sunny, but with balls instead of bikes. Oh, you can go talk to Chun-Li? Maybe she'll give you the secret to beating Carlos. You must see. She just hands you a fucking gun. She's right in front of you to the left. Or, actually, it's behind you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See that part that looks suspiciously like China? <laughs> Alright, take a left. Yeah. Level 6 character dressed as Chun-Li. Definitely a poser. Murder hobo her. We can murder hobo all we want. They won't give us clothes. Alright. So there's a crazy guy who's like part Spanish, part Japanese, has a sword, and he 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 whooped my ass. What ah. is your advice? <laughs> she gave you her phone number. That's her advice. <laughs> <laughs> Getting used to my fighting style? No. Just so you know. All sorts of people, young and old. I train children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. Certainly not an uncommon view. However, you're fucking wrong, you stupid bitch. That's why you're losing the Carlos. It's inner strength that matters. I'm sorry. Yes. However, by the way, Just grow my hair out. I bet you would. Carlos got the power of friendship buff by fighting with you. And now he's using it to kick my ass. The power of friendship is being weaponized against his friend. You can talk to her more. Uh-huh. Don't matter. It don't matter. She just gives you more abilities. More abilities that we don't really need. All you need is the spinning bird kick. God damn, Chun Li is thick. She's been that way for thirty years. Yeah, she's not gonna get any less thick. There's people just living their normal lives, their happy lives, and then you're getting fucking job by fucking Carlos Miyamoto back here. One mic for a dollar. You're up against the wall, and Carlos is the fucking wall. And uh, Junebug for a dollar. Are you guys racist? 
Are you racist? Are you racist, chat? Could right. you possibly get more thick? We can only hope. Mm. Chat member, why are you giving your money to a racist? Give well, it to us. Shall we begin? All right. <laughs> he no longer immediately opens up with the sword attack because he he's trying. However, he will do it now. Ah! ah! Holy fuck! <laughs> Carlos got legs and arms and. <laughs> He doesn't need the sword. He don't need the sword. He can literally three shot you. Pop, 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 pop. Look at those fucking heavy. Oh, oh! Look at those heavy punches. Oh, oh, oh. Thank God Kin's fucking legs are too tall to hit you. Ah! We might need a level up. You got a 30 second run back to a 5 second loss. Ow. Ah! I think we should go fight the superhero. We should probably fight we, the superhero. I think, we, I think we can take Phoenix. Where was he? Uh, up this ladder right in front of you. Yeah, right there. Is he up there? Yep. Should be up there 24-7. He's in a cutscene later on. He's in. The, he's just standing there in the back of a cutscene with uh, uh, Kimberly. Listen, man. We gotta fight. You can sell crack later. No time to talk. Fight. Punch him. Alright, now he's permanently buffed for the rest of the fight. The sword was easy mode. What the fuck? I know. The the sword was him hindering himself. It, it's it's fucking Gray Fox going. A warrior doesn't need a weapon. A warrior doesn't need a weapon. Ching ching ching. Did you just drop the sword? Oh god, he's got hands. How are you faster without it? The sword is my inhibitor. This is what happened to Static Shot after they canceled his show. He just get, he just gets jobbed on rooftops now. Yeah. So if you press L, if you do your L1 thing, I think it should stun him. If it connects, I guess. Yeah, there you go. He's done. Bye. 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 There we go. He really thought he was gonna do something there. Chat, I gotta log into my gotcha game right now, chat. Ugh. They're giving me they're giving me free things, chat. Can you believe that free stuff? Listen man, you don't understand. The guy I'm fighting is way fucking scarier than you. Free Luke, whoop his ass. Luke, show him what it's show him what it is, Luke. I think Luke scales to the level of whoever he's fighting, so he can probably deal damage to me and Moto. Porn ad, the one down playing child pornography. Yeah, I know. Or child trafficking, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so he kicked his ass. And we did level up a single level. That's all we need, bro. That's all we need. We need to find stronger people. Uh, Juan Rick for two hours. Do you lose? You need to call the boys, comic. The boys, the comic. The boys, the comic, the TV show, the video game. The TV, the boys, the comic, the TV show, the video game. We got a beanie! <laughs> what are you gonna do with that beanie? Fucking cry. <laughs> I'm gonna wet my fucking tears. Single level Carlos is laughing. <laughs> uh. Do you feel... Like a hero yet? No. <laughs> I want to see a game where the characters keep saying what they believe strength means, and you get and you get to agree or not. But if you contradict yourself, the other characters beat the shit out of you. That's basically what this is. Only, only they pe they peacefully ask you what your your idea of strength is. You give it to them, and they go, "That's a very valid interpretation." Now let me beat the correct one into you. <laughs> That's what this fucking is. <laughs> Quite an understandable conclusion. However, allow me to show you how you're wrong. Is that a gun? No matter how much you grind, Carlos will be ready to kick your ass. <laughs> Carlos is always 15 levels higher than you. Oh, if you go to that uh, apparel shop next to the thing, you can get in. You can talk to them and get in there and talk to Ken and get a fucking proper Shoto fighting style. <laughs> Alright, so apparel shop. Yeah, that one right there, that red one. Okay. 
Cray. Cairo Satiro claimed his sword was an inhibitor. <laughs> it was me! Listen, okay, fucking Carlos Miyamoto actually could back his shit up. He could back it up pretty fucking hard. Alright, hard hat. And you need to be wearing it when you talk to him. Are we feeling like heroes yet, chat? Are we are we are we winning? Alright. I don't think we're winning. We're not winning at all. <laughs> uh I think we have a transmog to where it's not showing, but yeah, we, we do have yeah, it. Yeah, as long as you wear it on this tab is what matters. Okay. So now we go back. Mm -hmm. Gotta be here. Yeah, it's that circle one. Yeah. So yeah, you need to teleport to that. All right. Yeah, you just go down here. I'm pretty sure. And hopefully, with Ken's style, we can do a lot better. He is a Shoto. I mean, to be fair, so is Luke, but he's an easier Shoto. Yeah. What metal bands would you have make a Berserk soundtrack? Uh, I used a lot of Wasp in the Berserk videos, mm -hmm. so probably them. Okay. I'm a fucking way losers. Uh, Blue56 for five fake mines. We're going to Egypt next week. I request Iggy's He's assistance. You won't be making it out. Yeah, you're, you're gonna die, man. Everyone dies in Egypt. Oh. We're some kind of spec ops the line? Yeah, let me in. As a, as a Honkai player, I can't confirm the gotcha experience is a vicious cycle. I logged into Legends. Use the 500 free crystals to, to pull a uh, multi, technically two multis, and uh, proceed to get fucked in the ass, as I always do. It's a vicious cycle. Oh god. Yeah! Safety first, bud. Safety first, bud. Carlos, this time I come prepared. It's just a hard hat. <laughs> it's just a hard hat. The time I come for big guy wow. that was close. Oh god, what happened to you? I feel like I feel like the Beast in Black is a pretty good band there. Power metal band. Uh, I like the Berserk reference songs. All their songs are Berserk references. Yeah, a lot of them are. They have like one album that has nothing to do with Berserk, and yeah. even then it's like only a few songs. Uh, uh turn around. Turn around. Where is he? Yeah. All right, go in there. You're gonna have to fight that dude in the red hat. This guy. In the red hat. Oh. No entry for low construction chickadee. See? I'm gonna kill you. I fought the Carlos Miyamoto. You think you can fucking run? <laughs> I fought Carlos fucking Miyamoto. You think I'm scared of you, cocksucker? Why do you keep letting him get his buff off? Of him? To prove a point. You have to fight Ichiban. <laughs> Ichiban in the corner working the construction site. I fuck Carlos fucking Miyamoto. What do you got? I've come prepared, Carlos. It's Gus. Gus is Walter. These people are just fucking throwing wrenches, man. <laughs> He's resorted to throwing wrenches out of fear. What a fuck you piece of shit. <laughs> he resorted to throwing wrenches out of fear. He really is just every online player ever. I fought the Carlos Miyamoto. Did you beat him? That is irrelevant. <laughs> I survived. I survived. I want, I want, I want her to be in a full body cast, and the the, the front of it just says, "I survived the Carlos Miyamoto." <laughs> uh, yeah. Go you, ahead. Take a left. Yeah. He's up on this next floor. Take a left. And take a right. There you go. Talk you to the talk. Ken. Ken, I need you for a mission. <laughs> How much for you to fight Sonic Fox RL? I'd do it for free. That'd be a fun fight. I'm gonna become your student. <laughs> I 
want you to teach me how to fight, you piece of shit. Say what? Oh. A form champ. Um. Projectile spam is truly disgusting. Mm. How would the boys game work? I mean, you just beat the boys. All right, you gotta beat me in a fight. I'm sick of fighting. Remember, Ken's all about them legs. Ow. <laughs> Ken's all about them legs. Shorty! All right, all right, except for when he punches you. You need to make sure to keep an eye on his hands. But other than that, oh. he's all legs. You want me, my fucking dick? <laughs> my fucking dick. He whooped my fucking dick! Out of my way. One, two, three, can can beat Carlos, that's where we're gonna find out. Ow. I think Carlos has a theme song like Stan Chalker's Bully from American Dad. Yeah. Stelio, Stelio, Canto, Stelio. Should over Skull Girls yet? Yeah, I'll never be over Skull Girls chat. Ow. Yeah. I fight Sonic Fox and I really can stink. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> so people were doing the, the thing where they're like, yeah, nobody in the FG, FGC likes Sonic Fox. Uh, and Sonic Fox uh, chimed in and he's like, He's like, there's no way, there's no way that that's true because of uh, because of all my friends that I've made in the in the FGC. And the first thing I thought was, man, why are you defending yourself against people saying no one likes you? Because it's literally just, it's literally just, oh yeah, you say no one likes me, but but me and all the people that I know in my head say that I'm really cool. Yeah. See, I, I, I was gonna be a dick and be like, all the guys that got out of the sex offenders. <laughs> I didn't talk to those guys. You Carlos sure? train stands bully. He trains Stelios. Ken learned well from you. Ken and Ryu train together, you silly boys. At least you're no quitter. No quitter. No to that At least you're not a bitch. You sure? You sure about that? And even sure? if I did, it looks like you're just gonna keep coming by and trashing the place until I die. This is awkward without a voice bro tag. Yeah, most things are. Yeah. That's why I like the the thing, uh, that's why I like the lion thing with Marissa, because it doesn't require you to talk. Yeah, no, it actually makes sense why you wouldn't. Yeah, your character is like, oh shit, what the fuck do I do? What the fuck do I do? This is the only good theme on the, on the soundtrack so far. Yeah, Ken's theme. Yay! Now slot, slot him. Become a Shoto. <laughs> we have no choice. Wrong menu, long <laughs> I'm never gonna get over that. Fuck. Alright. Make sure you reslot your special moves, because it does it does fucking delete. Yeah, them. it does fuck them. Uh so down to forward, okay. Yeah. That Quarter is... circle forward. Or down. Uh, trying to remember. So. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Yeah, so so a basically, bit weird. just forward, down, forward. Yeah. How well we've been doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And obviously, that's quarter circle back. Uh. That comes in handy to at the very least, uh, like throw them off. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. We need to level up to get the fucking Hadouken. I forgot about that. Yeah. Hadouken. Ah. Uh, yeah. That's easy enough. Uh, we don't have any level twos because we haven't leveled up with anyone. That is true. You can check your masters list after this, and we can see if we can't get a level two from uh, uh, from Luke. I just want to be Yuri's sex slave. Thank you, Chad. That's very nice. I'm proud of you. A PC fan going going. <laughs> that PC fan is going, huh? That's a laptop fan, Chad. Yeah. You gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta just deal with it, Chad. 
I'm sorry, chat. If you don't like it, you can go and you can and you can get it. No, uh, no, 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 no. Outside of battle. Yeah. You want oh, your fuck. drive gauge by one. I didn't read that one. Fuck. Okay. Uh, so you're going to have to... Pr yeah. It's worth it. Just Oh, no. You, you need ten it. continues. All right. Yeah, I didn't read the Very other one. Very unfortunate. Incredibly unfortunate. Holy shit. Yeah. Fuck. Why even have that be an option? What the fuck? I thought that was like a convenience thing. Laptops are just midget PCs. They are. Yeah. I know those feels. Yeah. All right. We can attempt it. Because I think it will, in fact, keep our health up. If not, we can just go and grab food real quick. Uh, Lonely Shoddy, you know what's you know what's sad about Ken? Not only is he miserable, Ruben, but Ruben Landon, Langdon can't voice him anymore. Is, does he not the voice of Ken in this? I don't think I've actually heard Ken talk. All right. I 100% know that he's batshit insane though. But he's a cool batshit insane. No, no, no. Uh, oh, well, fuck. Uh, go through them and see what different things that they offer. Oh, there's a kick strength boots. You want to do that one? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, our feet will do better. Ken would be proud. All right. We will try it, and this will be the goal for the night. We'll beat, we'll beat fucking Miyamoto, and then we'll end it. Ruben likes Trump, so he's out. Oh yeah, 100. percent I don't even know if he likes Trump, uh, but he's, he's not in the in crowd. That is for certain. He's a uh, he's anti-vax. He's also a like a fucking straight conspiracy theorist, but he seems like a nice guy. Yeah, he seems like he's actually really cool. Shall we begin? A lot of Street Fighter VAs have been replaced. I'd, I'd believe it. Holy oh my god! Yeah. yeah Holy it's an, shit! It's an insta kill now. Use your feet now, bitch. Ah. <laughs> uh. He said he believes in conspiracy and that's why he's fine. Oh, he more than believes in them. He has a fucking thing that you can call no. into and talk to aliens. Yep. Oh my god. Hope you like the salty run back, bitch. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh. <laughs> this is gonna be fucking scary. Go back to that shop that you just went to and go to her other menu and see if she has, like, health items. Well, health items aren't really the, the key here. You can use them in fights. Really? Yeah. It is arcade mode. On one hand, I can see that being useful. On the other hand, it's like... As long as you don't walk into his insta-kill, you're good. Yeah. We shall see. You said, you said the sword wasn't in hit. Yeah, you got one. There we go. We need that. Oh, God, we can only afford one. We can one. only afford one. Holy fuck. Uh Use your feet now, bitch. Cogger ugly cry. Well, you had the edit. Why did you have to make an unneeded sequel? What are you? Pain. This is the salty run back. The salty sequel. Well, shall we this right. is true love we're making. This is true love we're making. Broke ass bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. We don't have the unique anymore. Fuck. I was too used to that being a bread and butter. Oh, yeah. You need to check his fucking uniques. Ah! Because Luke has like seven uniques. Ken has three. <laughs> Ow. Hello, uh, me. Okay. Uh... Uh, Quick dash. So whenever you, whenever you do forward, forward. Yeah. Triangle R one. Uh, circle, circle R two. Heavy, heavy. Okay. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. My man almost just accepted suicide. Yep. No! Shit! <laughs> 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 
Why are you doing this, Carlos? Why are you doing this? We might actually have to just chip him to death bit by bit. What would you say to convince the bouncer to let you into the salty Splatoon? I beat Carlos Miyamoto. First try. And he laughs at you because no one does. No, that's not possible. You can't do that. But Carlos would be a cool guy and he'd just tell the bouncer to let you in anyway. Yeah. Carlos is the bouncer. Carlos doesn't pick on weak on the weak. Go punch that golden balloon. Ugh. Rising up our cut. E. E, that's pretty good. You got a sellable item so you can get money. Alright. Well, Sword dance, so baby. Well, well you don't walk into him. He's an animal. Ow! Back high punch, back high kick, back high punch, back high kick. Ugh. Or heavy punch, heavy kick. Ow! Carlos really just looks at you with that fucking white Aryan stare, bro. It'd be like that. He knows you can get good. Ah! Ah! No! Carlos runs up on you and fucking cuts your stomach open. The fuck did I do to you, Carlos? Try throwing him out of it. I just I need to know. <laughs> the insulting part is having a quick travel all the way back every time. <laughs> he does it on purpose. It's a 30 second run back for a 5 second job. Bro, just block it. You can't. It's a super. It goes through blocks and parries. Uh, Zibba Zibba for two dogs. Katsura is kicking your butt. This isn't Katsura. This is fucking Madao. Yeah. It's like, who's a useless old man now? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can punish counter. Ah! I'm fucking begging you. I'm fucking begging you. I'm fucking begging you! <laughs> Carlos beat Yujiro Hanpa and Adam Smasher at the same time. He wouldn't even need the sword. No! <laughs> he, he, he ju if he gets close enough to the edge of the screen, it becomes an insta-kill zone. You can't do anything. One more! Did we figure out if we could throw him? They're going block, but like, I, I want you to see- ah! You can't block! The only block is stay very far. We had a better fucking projectile. We might be able to chip him down. But we don't have that dumbass fucking Chun Li charge. No! Ah! No! Gave him the punish counter. He don't do even more damage. Ow. Why is this guy not our rival? Because our rival has to be gone 90% of the game. Our rival is currently being tortured to death by Jury. <laughs> Yuri is ripping his fucking teeth out as we speak. And we're getting our ass beat by fucking Miyamoto. Honestly, everyone has their own trials they have to go through. Just grab him for the final hit. You can't do anything. It's uninterruptible. Didn't supers do damage but didn't kill you fully? Am I just cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? No, they can always kill. Yeah. People like to, like, save them for end of fights just to style. Alright. Well, Apparently people are running gay ops against that horse beat. Yeah, I heard about that. Like, they're, they're actually, like, trying to fuck with her in a way where yeah. it's like, hey, this is just getting to a point of being creepy. Yeah. Yuri's putting her feet in his mouth, and he hates feet. Lies. Level the fuck up. No! That's what makes it fun. Ugh. I'm actually not used to Ken's style. It's fucking with me. No. <laughs> you spend 600 matches using Luke's style, and you swap to Ken or Ryu's, and you're like, they're wrong. Ugh. 
I don't care if their masters no. are wrong. Can we jump back? That might work. It doesn't. You, uh, if he catches it early enough, he can dash back twice, and it will get him out of there. Yeah, you you legit just have to stay away when he does it. Just gotta dash. I'm almost sure you guys should be your guy should be training somewhere else. Yeah. Like that final hit when he glows white, that's a punish counter, so you gotta dive in, but you don't want to be anywhere close to him when he does this shit. Like that, like I got fucked up real bad from that. Ow. I haven't seen you block it yet. I'm not gonna fucking try and block it. You can't block it. It is an, un it is an unblockable. Oh my god. You can't block a sword with your bare arms unless you're Zangief. Alright. Do you want to try it? Because I'm at that point, it's like, man, he's going to fucking haunt my nightmares. I didn't play Ken, I only played Ryu, so let's go figure it out real quick. Same principle with feet. Yeah, but feet are lame compared to our super cool uh, dist. Animal. Oh god. Uh, at least your character Peppy Nippy? No, it's Kagura. No! We couldn't do the full cosplay shit because the fucking clothing. The game wouldn't give us the right shit. Yeah, it wouldn't give me the right fucking shit. My man just rolled out of it. We're so short. <laughs> We're so short. Yeah. Alright, we leveled up a little bit as Ken. Yeah, he has three unique attacks. Okay. As opposed to so Luke's. <laughs> yeah. I saw that and I was like, man. Really out here just hating people for shit now. For existing. Let's do it. I'm gonna fuck you up. Uh, I'm gonna kick your yeah. dick. Oh. That was wrong. Why are you so short? I don't know. I think it's called genetics. I didn't, re I didn't realize we still have that delay. Which is unfortunate. There's ah. some real money, you can get some better fictional clothing. <laughs> they just called me a broke nigga. Did we level up? <laughs> yeah. We got residual power. Honestly. I'm gonna go talk to Ken. I'm gonna, gonna get to. my fucking. I'm gonna get my. I'm gonna get my hot up. Like, dude, you don't have a fucking choice. You've got to. I'm sick of this shit. <laughs> Everyone must face their trial. Kaguya Traki is, is Carlos's. Watches trials the Chinese healthcare system. Yeah. Many such cases. I actually, it's actually the British healthcare system. Yum. <laughs> Yum. Hey, Ken. Yo. <laughs> okay. Oh. Ken, can you just give me, just give me a fucking auto, please? We're gonna fucking die. Yeah. Yeah, make it out of the hood alive. All right, Ken. Fucking asshole. It's okay, chat. We got this. Trophy unlocked. Ten, ten deaths in a row to Carlos Miyamoto. Yeah, I deserve that. Yeah, well, we'll see. I got something for Carlos. Well, I got something, all right. At least it ain't the Canadian healthcare system. It is. It's Carlos Miyamoto. <laughs> Carlos is too strong, Lolly. 
he knows. What do you mean he can block in the overworld? Mm. This begin. Well, we <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Yeah, you can't block that. Yeah, no, you can't. As I said, it's a super move. Like, there's no way he'd be able to block it. Oh, well, he can block every other super move. It's just he has a sword. Oh! Oh my god. Carlos. Carlos, my lover. Uh. I see. Oh! Carlos wants his money, yeah. Have you heard of the movie Tokyo Gore Police? Yeah. yeah. It is dumb fun. Yeah. That's kind of broken. We're also several levels below him. Yeah. But he's also the only character in the game that has a sword. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't know what character they're planning on adding that has a sword, but... Right now, it's just Carlos. Yeah. Game, game. No words, just no fight. Words. Understandable, Carlos. Thank you for being such an incredible friend. Uh. Oh my God, he got two fuck. He got two hits in and still blocked. It. Ah, I see. <laughs> Ow! I think this is impossible for your level. Yeah. Uh. Liquid Lolly beat a game, at least uh, not even real Lolly can do that. Yeah, well, did, Liqu did Liquid Lolly actually get his VTuber GF? No? That was what I thought. Mm -hmm. You didn't fight Carlos. You can grab him out of the sword attack, okay. Holy shit, okay. That changes fucking everything. I didn't grab him out of the sword attack, though. <laughs> Lily has, like, bats. Yeah, she has, yeah. I hope to bring back Faye Longer, but I heard the Lee estate is pretty gay about Bruce Lee-inspired characters. Was that his name, Faye Longer? I thought it was, I thought his name was, like, literally Lee. Um, but he's, he's in here as a DJ cameo. Uh, in DJ's story mode, like, the first thing you, you unlock from him is him talking about how he wants to star in a movie in, uh, uh, in Hong Kong, I think, with, uh, with Bruce Lee, a.k.a. Uh, Fei Long. He can be beaten. He can be grabbed. He can be. If we get enough residual power from each ass-kicking. <laughs> can you grab? You will. <laughs> Ugh. God damn those fucking knees. That hurt box. Ah, no, I don't want to jump. I just want to move in and grab, game. I wish the parry was the old the old parry so I could just move in and press L1 to grab. Are you able to parry yet? Uh, parry does not work. We, we can, tried. Yeah, we can parry. It just doesn't work. God damn Carlos Miyamoto. Fuck the Bruce Lee escape. This motherfucker's scary. This motherfucker's scary. Yeah. Uh, you just unlock it through, like, the story. Uh, but yeah. Par parry is L2, but he literally eats through the parry. He he kills you through the parry, chat. Uh-oh. No. Put the game on easy mode. You don't understand. Uh, there is no easy mode. It's all level based. Nope. Mm, well, shall we? You can do it. It can be done. Oh, I see. No. You guys watch fun, uh, Blood Plus is a fun uh, vampire uh, anime. Yes. Yeah. It is pretty good. Oh god. 
stupid. Why does he hate? Why do you love? Because you lack hate. Jesus fucking POV, you're the meat that Carlos beats. Why don't you go level up? You don't level up like that. You got a fucking job forever. It's like it's like real life, you know? Yeah. Uh, I think you're be I think you're beating like the main story at like level fifty. If that's yeah. that's if you do everything in the game. No matter what difficulty level you are on, Carlos will be there to wreck your ass. Yeah. He does have a sword, chat. There's only one character that I've ever known survive a sword, and that's fucking Zangief. Mm, well. And we don't have access to the Russia pipeline yet. When you lay on the ground, your face looks like a newborn infant. You don't have any fucking teeth. What? What the fuck? That's because Carlos rips it out of your fucking mouth. Carlos is fucking cheap. Carlos. Oh, God. Carlos. Ow. Carlos is so tall, his fucking lows, his lows look like normals. Yep. God damn, Carlos. No, oh, Carlos, stop. I just want to use my stamina meter. Uh, oh. I just got, I just got Luke. wrong with her, but she just keeps coming back and getting eviscerated. Can't you even try to be his level? It'd take a lot of grinding. Yeah. Like I said, I, I beat the game and did, and did almost all the side missions and uh, I was only level 50 something. No. And there's only like five side missions that I didn't do and that's just because they were they're, they're like cleanup work. I was like, uh. Ew. Fuck him up! My brittle bone disease. Oh shit! Oh, oh god! I can't, e I can't even talk funny talk right now. Yeah. Uh, you read me like a fucking book. Maybe throw loop him. Uh, he'll he'll uh he'll throw cancel you. Yeah, they're actually pretty good at throw canceling. They are AI. That is usually like the thing that they're best at. Oh, okay, Thank you, game. The special is expensive and small, uh, and small size for me. I began cooking my burgers home. They're hard to heat it, but super delicious. Problem cooking the store bought fries though. Uh, you, sounds like you need an air fryer, chat. Chat, why don't you have an air fryer? I know exactly how to get stronger. Play basketball. I'm gonna play b ball. If it works, it fucking works. I'm gonna play b-ball for days. Carlos is reading your inputs, I swear. That is that is a pretty common thing that Yeah, AI just does that. Yeah. Uh, I didn't I didn't I didn't look at how to play the game. Uh, this is my first time playing the game. Ah man. I don't know what it wants me to do, but I'm just going to assume it wants me to. Ow! <laughs> Bitch. This is the only thing you can do. What do you even give you XP if you do this? Uh, I'll give me money. <laughs> and really, money is the XP of the universe, you know? There you go. I don't know what it wanted. I don't know what it wanted from me. No. Eh, leave me alone. Oh, you got your ass beat. You got jumped. These guys are the same level as Carlos. Actually, I think they might be a little bit higher. That guy is.
Chop it with the knife, Joey. There goes our ass. Still. I don't get this game's uh, graffiti aesthetic. Yeah, it looks. Yeah, do I. Like, I, I don't. It, it looks like they really wanted to appeal to the urban demographic. Yeah. Whatever they think the urban de demographic is. The the urban demographic is is I sell drugs. They think they think it's oh I'm 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 quirky I'm quirky urbanite uh, who fucking. <laughs> Gets I'm, into street fights all the time. I'm, no, I'm quirky urbanite who, who graffitis and have has creative outlets, but the the real Jesus fucking Christ! Look at all these people Miyamoto's level that I can fucking job over here because they don't have swords. I, I think Miyamoto's cheating. That's right. Uh, I'll, I'll say it. We thought he was an honorable man, but he was a filthy, sticky cheater. Yeah, we looked at the people that go to our tournaments and decided to make our game for that crowd. Yeah! I mean, I don't know that's why I said the music sounds like something you'd hear at Evo, and that's that's the fucking problem with it. God, chat, did you see that fucking face? And you only got a thousand XP for that. Chat, chat, where's our experience at, chat? Chat, where's our, where's our experience, chat? I just beat four, four Miyamoto's, where's my experience? It's not fucking worth it. Okay, the silver nugget. Oh, cool! I didn't see this on my playthrough. Oh. I don't think the ladder to get up is there is here yet. I can't believe they finally let you fight in the street. It's so poggers, chat. Yeah, the ladder ain't here yet. Now we just have to. Now we just have to spawn and and farm that one fight with those five level thirty six guys a hundred and twenty five times. They put my, they put street in my fighter. I know, chat. Would it even be the same guys? Like, I mean, that that level distribution was pretty lucky. Have them all be yeah, like level thirty five. Yeah, it'll be the same guys. It's because that that part you're supposed to access that later in the game. Oh, cool. Mm, well, <laughs> shall we? Attack! Great, Carlos. Oh, God, <laughs> they gotta wipe me. Ow. Very well, get kids. Very well, I have a one night stand. Carlos really just opens up with a fucking haymaker to your, your shins. He doesn't know what to do if that doesn't kill you, because it always does. <laughs> just surviving a single punch throws him for a loop. He's like, that doesn't, that that's not how that works, though. You'd be on the ground. Pink. Miyamoto's death stroke. Yep. Miyamoto knows knows your soul. It is a weak soul. I am weak. I, I am weak. weak. I deserve it. You do with that gun. Metro City dedicates its thing to this. You're going up against a brick wall. A brick wall that punches. A brick wall can bleed, chat. Yeah, bitch. Who do you think you are? You ain't shit, Miyamoto. You ain't shit. You wouldn't do it to us! <laughs> <laughs> You wouldn't steal a car. <laughs> you wouldn't waterfowl twice in a row. <laughs> you hate. Ah! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop. Look! 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 <laughs> Luke didn't even bother showing up, bro! <laughs> <laughs> you ain't shit. <laughs> Moments before the test. <laughs> you ain't shit, judgment cut. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos the Karaoke Gensai of Street Fighter. <laughs> oh, 
I got something for him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too weak to fight, so I gotta beat up random people on the street. <laughs> I gotta beat up randos on the street. If you use command grab and Hadouken, apparently you can choose them. We don't have Hadouken yet, though. <laughs> we don't have Hadouken. We only have access to a handful. No shame. I was going to say, I, I, I was uh, noticing that uh, we start the fucking Miyamoto fight at full health every time, so. Yeah, I think it's because it's a specialty fight. Yeah. We level up Ken. Ken. All right, Luke got the text and looked at it and said, nah. He really did. I'm getting my ass whooped mid-combo. Oh god, they swapped our starting our starting position. Why would you do that, chat? Again. Why the fuck would you do ah! that? <laughs> oh god, I'm back. This shit ain't funny. <laughs> Just grab him, please. Two Kentucky white guys get fucked by a Japanese Latino in the middle of the street. I've got the victory, chat. I've got the victory. Yo, kick his ass. Kick him, master. Holy shit, he actually does pretty good damage. Yeah, like I said, I think he scales to, to his level, to whoever's level you're fighting. So if you cheese it over and over again and just build up meter, you can just throw Fucking him. Fucking grab, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have the path to victory. It's called call the big brother to make him do it. Ah! No! <laughs> you wouldn't hit him. You wouldn't hit him. Give him. Oh, I can't. Uh, fuck you. Okay. I like my crushing arts too much. There is a legitimate strategy now, though. Kagura cosplayer gets manhandled by real Yato stud. Oh god, he is of the Yato clan. He <laughs> thirsts for battle. He thirsts for death. Your big, your big brother got his ass kicked too. Nah, big brother was laying down the pressure. Uh, this will, this will be the yeah. Back dash out of the sword combo, punish him after. Yeah. Yeah. It's a matter of if I'm currently in an attack whenever he starts the sword combo up. What's up, Steve? What you got going on up in that head there, Steve? You ain't got shit going on, Steve. Why? Cause I got you in the corner. Ugh. Why can't Miyamoto just lay down like Steve? God damn. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Bit by bit. Bit by bit. Every 500 experience. That, nice. that level 20, like 18 dude gave me 500. The level 34 guys, like five of them gave me a thousand total. Yeah. Back on, I'm back on the player two side again. Oh god. You what? What a bitch. He's just fucking mean. Just take your dream card away, bro. Steve was on his way to see his kids, and we needed the experience. Crap. Oh, okay, well. Yeah, no, once you're oh. dedicated, you're dedicated. I leveled up. I gained 200. I gained 200 life. <laughs> Alright, well, it doesn't matter because I yeah. still take damage. Uh. Back to Raz. Back to Row. Every game should allow you to call in TJ Combo as an assist. Call the Migran is easy ass, easy win. Call the Migran is ass, easy win. Yeah, you would say some shit like that. Taiwan! You keep getting one shot. Yeah, we know. It hurts. It hurts a lot. Listen, Taiyun, ain't nothing personal, but fuck you. I'm, I'm taking my frustrations out on you, Taiyun. I'm sorry. Fucking goofy ass Korean names. I thought you were a jab. There you go. You can play an XP challenge. Thank you, Ken. You're safe today, Cory. But not you, Antler. All right, never mind. You oh my God! <laughs> never mind, you got. <laughs> but not you, big. Well, oh. well, well, <laughs> you just caught my fist. All right, never mind. You caught me in my head. There you go. 
Not the Migra! Not the Migra! Uh, bitch. Uh. This is real footsie hours, chat. <sighs> Holy shit. No! Why would I press that? Ow. The worst part is, you had the fucking meter to call him in. It's fine, the meter rolls over. It does. But, I'm noticing... Luke isn't there. Okay. Why wouldn't Luke show up to the fight? No. You're attacking randoms on the street. I'm not gonna help you. <laughs> Bro. It's fine. I was already lost. Okay. Luke. Luke didn't get the call. Here, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna give her some. I'm gonna give her a shot. I want to adjust some stuff. Okay. <laughs> the name isn't Tai Yoon. It's Thai Goon. Thank you. It was like watching domestic violence. Feels like domestic violence. All right, so 900 per fight, meaning if we do about a few fights, should be enough to at least bump us up a little bit. She's just watching domestic violence. Yeah, chat. Yeah, yeah, and you like it? You sick fuck. All right. Uh. Damn. I understand is he a Latino wants to be Japanese or a Japanese wants to be a Latino. That is the ultimate mystery. Alright. Oh, he's just a massive Hagar fanboy, okay. You know what? I will fight you. I'll kill you. <laughs> Alright. And he has three chances at XP, so let's see. Uh, defeat without taking damage. Defeat with 75% or less. Uh, defeat with 40% or less. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay, so he immediately can't do no damage. Ugh. Uh. Mm. I can't believe this hog is beating up Austin Bolt. Sir, what the fuck does that mean? Alright. Fuck it. Grab the antler by the balls. Yeah. You gypped me, you fuck. You fuck, you fucking fuck. Fuck. Okay. Let's try again. Uh. Back to roll. Back to ride. Throw a lot more uh, worse than Peter ever did. I don't believe you. Uh. Your hand smoke because you do good. There we go. There we go. Okay. Couldn't get everything I wanted, but could, uh, should at least be a decent payout. Yeah, there we go. Hey, it looks level 10. Yeah. Okay. And this is level like one Fuck. and three quarters. Almost there on another level up. Uh, Find a job. Victor. There's another person where we gotta fight like right now. What was that one? From the wall jump up on his in fight. Okay. Would you rather have Heelys or soap shoes? I've never heard of, of soap shoes, but Heelys were cool. Yeah, Heelys were interesting. I never knew anyone that actually had them though. 
I had them for like a day. Pink. Guts doesn't understand what pain is because he'll never have to fight Carlos. I know. It really is the truth of the universe. Okay, he's fucked up. That really is our most damaging attack. Yeah. It's useful. Just pop that eight times and then call in, call in uh, Luke. Listen, we gotta fight like right now, Jennifer. Oh, she's got a uh, uh, Lily's fucking stance. Fuck you, Jennifer. Uh. There we go. Uh, she's fucked up. Soap was the shoes that can grind on rails like Sonic. I've never seen them. Okay. So, level 25. Now, let's look at our... I was say, I... I was just... Yeah, we don't have a level 2. Uh... Damn it. So, you can level up that thing up, the, up there on the top left, or the middle left. Yeah, I really fucked up there. Yeah. Okay. Um, drive stall while moving. I just slowed down time outside of it. Uh, that makes people less likely to chase you down. So, I, but neither of those matter. So, you can just yeah. pick one and hope that one of these two costs the not nine. <laughs> uh, you want that? Yeah, we for want sure. that. Uh, we want this. Yeah. All right. I will try it. Jennifer. Lose some weight, Jennifer. What makes you think you're so good? You're gonna sit, oh, sit, oh, sit down at home and read your big boy at the bedtime story while it sucks on his thumb and kisses your belly by? Ah, oh, horse shit. You're telling us we're some kind of street fighters or something? <laughs> it's so slow, does no damage, and the Hadouken's easier to pull off. I don't understand its purpose. It's mainly there to distract them. I guess it's gross. It doesn't understand what the FBI does, and they claim the film loosely fetishes, uh, lustily fetishes the kid. Right also claims the people in his audience were fetishizing the kid's suffering. Oof. Wait, what is this in reference to? Uh, I think it's in reference to um, uh, fucking the one movie that just came out. Sound of Freedom. Yeah. Cause no, that's not, yeah. that's not what they do. Yeah. Like I've actually fucking seen the movie. No, they don't do that. They just make it clear like this is what happens to children in real life. Yeah. This is what happens in real life. We have, we have the proof. We show real footage in the movie. My God. It is almost four in the morning. We just gotta take the L. We gotta take the Carlos L. Unless you can just range them out and do that 30 times. Crap. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I mean, with some kind of street fighting or something. Ow. You know what? We're taking the L. In in true Gintama fashion, there is no happy ending. The hero's fucked up, and, and now they look stupid. None of... Gintama's never won a fight in his life. Gintoki's never won a fight in his life. There we go. Kagura got her ass kicked. There was no lesson learned. Kagura never earned her name. She is now Makima. Yeah. There was no lesson learned. The training arc ended with them ripping off Dragon Ball, where it's like, go find a rock with my name on it. And then they reference facts like that was in Dragon Ball. It's like, oh, that's right. And then, and then you find out like, oh, wow, there was no training arc. We fucked up. We fucked up for good. They want to bitch about Sound of Freedom just telling on themselves. They really do. Yeah. That's it. I've seen the movie. Like, the whole idea of it fetishizes the kids is like, okay, what the fuck are you talking about? Not only does it not fetishize the kids, if you're saying that, that would fucking imply that you're sexually attracted to scared children. You are exactly the person this movie is saying is evil. Rename <laughs> the stream. You ain't safe and shit. Well, it makes sense, because uh, they don't manage to save the Shogun either. <laughs> he yeah. fucking dies. Cheating arc failed. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. You couldn't cheat hard enough. You right. You right. Uh, your character is a saint. She'd be able to beat Carlos five times over at this point, but they're not. 
They're a Yato, which is like kind of a Saiyan, but not as strong. <laughs> we got our fucking dick kicked in. We got our fucking dick kicked in. But we gotta do what we gotta do. Because we got shit in real life we gotta do. We can't spend all night trying to fight this motherfucker. Bosch is long dead at this point. You're right. Yeah. Bosch is dead as fuck. Oh, fuck, yeah. Bosch is, de Bosch is dead. <laughs> Luke's been running PMC covert ops trying to find find a way to get the Bosch when we've been throwing our fucking skull up against Carlos Miyamoto. <laughs> Bosch is just Yuri's husband now. Yeah. And he's, not he's by Yuri's consent. Thing. Not by consent. It's like, oh, boy. Poor Kagura. She's going to have to start a paywall for her OnlyFans. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh man! You know, if this is if this is how long it took me to do the main story the first time, it would make what happens. The Bosch would made a would have made a whole lot more sense. <laughs> it's like holy fuck! Ah, uh, we did not learn mu we did not learn much in our journey. All we learned is a lot of violence. This really was an invincible moment. <laughs> have you seen the Twist Metal TV show trailer? Yeah, I fucking hate Sweet Tooth. Mm -hmm. I fucking hate what they did to Sweet Tooth. Yeah, he should not be like Marvel Quip guy. He should all he should be like Michael Myers. We have Anthony Mackie. Of course, he needs to be quippy yeah. guy. Anthony Mackie can do quips, not when he's getting his ass kicked. <laughs> yeah, Sweet Tooth can't be doing quips though. So I was editing the review of Sound of Freedom, and I looked up the article from some guy for the review. So I looked up Miles Clee, and he seems like a porn addict and doesn't understand the FBI procedure when it comes to CP. The podcast he did after his article had backlash. It was really gross. Uh, and he claims that the Colombian cartel doesn't traffic people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was re Like I said, I, I read the Wikipedia page about uh, the fucking movie before I went to go mm -hmm. see it, and it was saying shit like, "Oh, they might have traumatized some of the kids in the raids they performed." It's like the raids to get them out of brothels. Right. I'm pretty sure they had harder, like th they had worse problems to worry about. Right. Yeah. You know? Like you know, they're 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 shit like, oh, you know. I assure you, the raids wasn't what traumatized them. It was getting fucked in the ass by people. Yeah. It's like, holy fuck. If you're a monster, if you're against the right to strike to see people who wanted the Canadian government and the military to stop truckers striking a few years back. You're not wrong. Uh, people are actually bitching about the field skills in Xenoblade 2. Like, oh my fucking god, the thing that encouraged you to explore the world? Right. It's like, holy shit. People need to bitch about everything. They bitch about everything in regards to Xenoblade 2. It's like, oh, too many anime tropes. In a fucking JRPG? Like, none of you people even understand what the fuck you're angry at. No. I, I'm just upset that I have to watch my, my favorite streamer play the game longer. Yeah. Even though it's like, motherfucker, it's, it's actually not that bad. Yeah. It is actually not that bad. They removed that part about traumatizing kids and consensual sex works because they knew it was they knew it made them look bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, imagine so. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, that was another claim where it's like, oh, well, they don't know. Some of those people might have been there consensually as sex workers, even though no. they make a point in the movie of going, a lot of the prostitutes that get into these fields have been doing it since they were literally children. Yeah. This is not consensual support sex work. You are exploiting traumatized people that don't know any other way of life. Yeah. It's like, yeah, it's, it's a pretty fucking bleak movie. Uh... Fuck these people, children went through worse seeing the SWAT operators bursting with guns, drawing those cops or angels, those kids. Exactly. Like, if you want to make the argument of, hey, it's irresponsible and some kids might have been hurt, you know, that's one thing. Like, physically hurt, they could have been shot. You know, that's one thing where it doesn't matter how right the raid went. That's always a thing to factor in. Uh, but don't say shit like you might have traumatized them. Because at that point, I'm just starting to think you might have been paid off by a cartel. Many such cases. They keep using the argument, people who see Sound of Freedom think they're stopping child trafficking. Like, what? Everyone knows they're not stopping it. It's the fact of, like, hey, this is something that actually happens in real life. It's not like... You, we all know that we can't stop trafficking, so we should just let the cartels have as many children as they want. Yeah, exactly. It's like, well, you're not doing anything, and? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Because it sounds like you actively you're don't want to do anything. Yeah, you're actively defending pedophiles right now. I think you should be killed. Yeah. He said he thought the MC was a pedo for the first part of the movie. He's just a fucking piece of shit. He was not paying attention, though, because, like, he's talking about the very beginning when the guy's working at Department of Homeland Security and they arrested uh, 
a guy who was part of the pedophile network. Like, he would actually sell the CP to people and, and had a collection of it. And he did pretend to be a pedophile to manipulate him into giving up information. It's like, yeah, he sounded like a pedophile because he was trying to get into this guy's head. Mm -hmm. They make it abundantly clear. It's like, no, that dude, that dude was not paying attention. He was projecting like a motherfucker. Uh, the con on the pedo to not only get him, but a buyer and save a kid. Exactly. Like I said, I saw the fucking movie. Yeah. Well, did you? Cops save those kids. What the fuck are they talking about? No one was willingly doing that shit other than soft fucking westerners. Exactly. Like, it's why once again, anyone that talks about, well, legalize it, legalize it. It's like, you don't understand what you're fucking funding, man. You don't fucking understand it. Like, uh, we, we get so drunk off our OnlyFans and easy access to porn thing, like, we, we have no idea the fucking, like, darkness that's involved in those industries. Punisher was right. Yeah. Punisher Max, Slaver's Arc, that was one of the most bleak descriptions of sex trafficking. That was also one of the most just not in bullshit. Sex work isn't OnlyFans. Exactly. Like, they want to lope it in as like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm a sex worker. I sell booty pictures on the internet. It's like, nah. You got no fucking idea how bad that rabbit hole gets. It's fucking horrible. Remember when Vice Simp from Maps and proceeded to bitch and moan about Sound of Freedom? Yeah. There's another thing people are pointing out. It's like, why are you pushing the consensual pedophile thing? It's like, yeah. Nobody was consensual. Yeah. Yeah. Let the world burn with a flaming sword. Alright. So, we had some fun. Mm -hmm. Street Fighter 6 is definitely flawed. Like, too much a cell phone game. Too much a cell phone game. Yeah, too much a cell phone game. Not a good, uh, not a very good fighter to begin with. Yeah. Uh, does not, all the characters feel, like, wrong. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah. You've been playing a, a game series for 20 years, and then they come out with a new one, and everything just feels wrong i am fully willing to admit i've not touched street fire game in fucking years so i'm just not used to it if you like if you get the game for 20 bucks it's not that bad uh but you'd have to you'd have you'd be banking a lot on there's a character in the game that you actually like playing yeah uh and at that point you might want to just wait for all the dlc characters to drop and then fucking wait until it drops 20 bucks and play it then yeah this game looks a bit less fun than xenoverse 2 xenoverse 2 at least like let you do a lot of crazy stuff. Yeah. Uh, GTA 6 hire who leaked 90 clips last year reportedly not be found guilty due to being mentally unfit for trial and serve no prison time. <laughs> he did it, boys. He beat the allegations. Yeah. This is a huge win for, for the mentally unfit. Yeah. AKA GTA fans. It's pretty fucking good. Pretty fucking good. Mm hmm. But it's almost 4 in the morning here, so we gotta wrap it up. We got, we got shit yeah. to do and we got, we got sleep to get, so. Thank you to everybody who showed up. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot, a lot of fucking fun. So, really fucking cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I definitely will say, like, if you put enough time into it, this game could be a lot of fun. But, you know, just haven't put enough time into it. Uh, still, you know, good shit. Mm. Good shit.
Bye.